Hey everybody, we're playing another Pokemon game. We just finished Leaf Green, basically 99% of the game. And I thought, okay, let's go to another one. The plan was to play Pokemon Emerald, but I thought, you know what? Let's try to go up a generation and Pokemon X and Y seemed perfect to me. So we were playing Pokemon X. Um, I've got everything ready. I've got all my controls set. So we should be basically good to go here. So um, yeah, let's jump straight into it. Um, so unlike Leaf Green, I actually have not played this game myself. I own it. I do own it on the 3DS, but um, I didn't play it. My sister did. So I played, like I picked it up for like five minutes, but this will be a new, um, like a new adventure to me. So it, it'll be pretty interesting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I am Augustine Sycamore, the Kalos region's very own Pokemon professor. The world of ours is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. These mysterious creatures can be found in every corner of our world. Some run across the plains, others fly through the skies, and others yet swim deep in the oceans. We live together with these Pokemon, lending our strength to one another to live and prosper. Let's get started with some quick questions. Are you a boy or a girl? Um, we are a boy. What do you look like? Um, probably... Metal guy? I don't have that blonde of hair. Oh, I see. Would you tell me your name? Um, ooh. Um, I didn't actually think about... Oh, I'm like, whoa, why isn't it working? Okay, I'm like still trying to get used to the buns. I didn't think about what name I would put. How do I... Okay. Let's go ahead and, um, let's use my real name. I don't do this very often with games. But let's go ahead and use my real name. Yeah, David. So it's David then. Did I get that right? You sure did, bud. David, what a fantastic name. Your adventure begins now. You're about to enter the beautiful Kalos region. Go and meet many Pokemon and people and fill your life with rich experiences. Now let's go visit the world of Pokemon. Let's do it. Once again, I have not played this game, so this is going to be pretty new to me. Most things, at least, are going to be pretty new to me. Although I do know the Pokemon themselves, because I play Pokemon Go a lot, so the Pokemon aren't going to be new, but just like the region and places and gameplay is going to be new. Okay. Okay, so I know how to move. Okay, that's my bag, apparently. So up is bag. Alright, and I got some of the 3DS things down there. There's me. Can I go in my... Okay, no, no closet. Alright, let's go down. Morning, David. You sure slept well. I'll rest it up from... David, you look like you just rolled out of bed. Go have a look at yourself in the mirror and change out your pajamas. Alright. Um... Do I just do it in the mirror? Okay, I literally do it. So I don't go to the mirror. I don't go to the closet to change. I go to the mirror to change. And change... Alright, we changed out our pajamas. Pretty epic. It's about time you get going. Why don't you step out and say hello to the neighbors? Alright. Is there a Fletchling? Is that the family Fletchling? I think that's its name. I'd hope so. Welcome to Vannyville Town. My name's Serena. I'm your neighbor. And I'm Shauna. Glad... Great to meet you. Guess what? We've come to get you. The esteemed Professor Sycamore lives here in the Kalos region. I was told he has a request for five kids, including us. 
but I'm a little surprised he knows who you are. You did just move to Vannyville after all. We'll wait for you in the next town over. And you know what? We're going to get a Pokemon. Come on, hurry, let's go. Alright, there's a Rhyhorn. I really want a Pokemon, though I can never get what I want. I wonder if there's anything in the neighbor's houses that are actually useful. You must be the new young man. Uh, we, it was uh, Serena. Yep, yep, weirdy. Um, can I... I guess I can't steal anything from you, can I? Um, I know it's a little useless, but I will explore some of these places. Just, again, I haven't played the game yet, so... There's nothing here that sucks for me, I guess. Okay, so we can go this way. Or, no, we can't. What about... Okay, no, we literally can't leave the road. Okay, fair enough. Hello? Science is amazing. If you can, if you use communication technology, you can play together. Okay. Basically, just promoting the Nintendo system. Um, okay, lots of cool towns. I bet. Would you look at that? You've got a pair of running shoes, my young friend. I can't see a pair without thinking of the old jingle they used to play in their commercials to dash 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 in a flash oh okay well actually i needed that i can dash they gave us the running shoes off the bat hey everybody real quickly i know it was a little bit of a weird cut um i got a new download of the game i was having really weird little stutters so new copy of the game obviously nothing really changed but um this one should not have the stutters like the other one did. Um, anyway, we are here on Route 1, which, fun fact, is the only Route 1 in Pokemon history to just not have Pokemon. That's literally it. This is Route 1. Bang. Now we're here at, um, Aquacore Town. Hey, David, this way, over here. And this time, no, uh, no lag, which is really nice. Hey, David, this way, over here. Oh, they're probably at the tables, aren't they? Um, I know I don't want got I don't gotta talk to that dude. Yeah. We were just talking about you. Come on, have a seat. This is the meeting place, David. Here, let me introduce you. Everyone, this is David. Wow, Shauna's description was spot on. So David, this is Tierno. He's got some serious dance moves. And this is Trevor. He never misses a single question on his test, but he's a little shy. Alright, nice to meet ya. You know, I'd feel like we're a closer crew if we call each other by nicknames. Can I call you D Meister? What? No way, he's it's a little D for sure. What do you think, Trevor? What? You want me to nickname someone I just met? Shawnee, you shouldn't put people on the spot like this. Well, how about something low key? Maybe something like Big D? Why don't you decide what we should call you? Um, <laughs> let's do Big D. You want us to call you Big D? Yeah. Okay, Big D fits you perfectly. I'm sure we're gonna be great friends, so I'll call you that too. Hey, can we see the Pokemon now? I want to meet my new partner soon. I know, right? It was such a cool feeling when Trevs and I met our Pokemon. Hope you feel the same way we did. Choose a Pokemon. Ooh, a little stutter there too. Interesting. Um, well, obviously we got Brokey. Chespin and Fennekin. Now, here's the deal, right? If you guys watch Leaf Green, you know my favorite Pokemon is Starmie, and I plan to have another Starmie in this game also, this time a shiny one. Literally, we hit, we get the good rod, we hit Route 8, we're getting the shiny Starmie, and I'm not leaving until I get that shiny Starmie. Saying that, I will not need a water type. But saying that, Froakie is still definitely the best starter here. So we're gonna get Froakie. Um... And once we get Starmie, Froakie might not be in our team. But I love Froakie, so we're still going to choose him. I really don't like Chespin or Fennekin, so... Would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? Uh, nah. So you're not going to give your Pokemon a nickname? No. Okay, my partner's Fennekin. Wow, we go great together. The two, the two of us are just way too cute. Nice to meet you, Chespin. I'm Serena. Because of you, I can be a real Pokemon trainer. Thank you. Uh, pardon me, but I have something for for you from the professor as well. I have something that will help you understand Pokemon on a much deeper level. Pokedex. 
I'm surprised the professor itself doesn't give them to us. Hmm, so you see, the Pokedex I just gave you is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. The reason you get one is because the professor wants us to go on a journey with our Pokemon and complete the Pokedex. To put it another way, it's an important mission from the professor, I'm sure of it. Don't lighten up, Trevs. You're way too serious sometimes. Um, Big D, please take this with you too. It's a letter from the professor. He said you should give it to your mom. Alright, we're done with our errand for the professor. I guess Trevs and I will go look for Pokemon. Let's go, Trevs. In Kalos, kids are chosen to carry a Pokedex and go on an adventure. But you need to give that letter to your mom before you go. Alright. Let's really run past the sh Ooh. Big D, wait. You're gonna be my opponent in my Pokemon battling debut. Okay, little Fennekin, it's our first battle. Let's win it with style. Classic. Before we can run and do anything, we gotta battle first. Alright, we're battled by Trainer Shauna. It's again, first Pokemon battle. A little bit of lag there. Might have to fix my emulator settings. Try to. Apparently the new copy didn't fix everything. Alright, so we can have bag run Pokemon. First we're gonna fight. Probably we get bubble right away? Why do we get bubble right away? Okay. I thought, you know, we always started off with um She got a critical. Started off always with like a pounder or tackle, and that was it. Also, usually the rival gets the opposite the opposite, you know, so they're super effective against us. I wonder why they gave us bubble right away and a super effectiveness on the enemy. So that's pretty interesting to know. Brokey gains his work speed points. And yeah, what I will do right after this first episode, I'm gonna do a little bit of Googling and I'm gonna optimize my emulator. But we got broke to level six. He did Pokemon Trainer Shauna. Hey, I wasn't done watching my little cute Fennekin yet. And we received Ash money. You're amazing, Big D. Here, let me fix up your Pokemon. Say hi to your mom for me. Alright, bud. Down Route 1. Back into Vanderbilt Town. Up the back around. Past the Rhyhorn and into the house. What did you and the neighbor kids end up doing? Wait one second, David. Is that a Pokeball you have there? You got your own, your very own Pokemon. Lucky you. How about that? You're a Pokemon trainer now, too. Congrats. Huh? A letter for me. It says it's from somebody named Sycamore. What could it be? A love letter? Wow, what lovely handwriting. Hmm, what do we have here? A request. Oh, I see. David, we've barely unpacked and all kinds of exciting things are happening. Okay, let's get you and Froki ready for the journey. Oh, that was fast. Here, David. An e I even packed a change of clothes. My, what an unexpected turn of events. It's just like a sudden last burst of speed from a racer in a Rhyhorn race. You made friends, you met your Pokemon, and now you take a lap around Kalos. Oh, and don't forget this. Town map. Man, this game is spoon feeding, man. It's super effective. Bubble right away. They just like hand us the town map, man. Back in my day, we had to go find the town map. What in the world? You know how to use a town map, right? Um, yeah. Ask my boy. Select a town map for your bag whenever you want to use it. I don't know what this Professor Sigmar wants to see on your trip, but taking a journey with your Pokemon is a really wonderful experience. All right, later, skater. I'm off to. Rhyhorn wants to say hi before we go. Oh, what a card. I guess Rhyhorn just wanted to give you a big send-off for your journey. Well, it is it was it has known since it has known you since English. It has known you since you were born after all. Good luck, David. Go for broke and don't worry. You'll have Pokémon by your side. So you'll be fine. Thanks, Rhyhorn. Appreciate you, big dog. Alright. Let's um head back into town, I guess. I don't I don't know where we get the Pokeballs from. Okay, so they're gone. Hey, 
This potion is for you. Feel free to use it. Thanks, bud. Well, potions can heal Pokemon. Alright, so, okay, we can enter... I don't know what I can and can't enter. Welcome, we only sell the best potions. Do you only sell potions? Okay, we don't need potions. Um, considering the game so far, it seems like it's very spoon-fed and easy. So likely I will not need many potions. Likely. I'll probably keep a few on me, but what's more important is the Pokeballs. Come see me anytime you're probably doing it. I'll take care of them. Um, because, obviously, and you guys notice this leaf green, my main objective in any Pokemon game is really just to, ironically, just collect them all. Um, so I'm going to need, a, and there are so many more Pokemon in this game than leaf green. So I will need to keep a lot of balls on me so I can catch everything in every route. Hello? Welcome, this is a specialized shop that sells only Pokeballs. Okay, that's perfect. Give me 200. Say less. Give me 15 of them. Yeah. Because I know... Oh, and he threw in a Premier Ball. What a nice guy. I know I'm going to need, like, literally, like, five right off the bat. So, you know, that 15 is not going to even last me that long. Okay. Down here... I could probably fish from over here, right? Later, I could probably f come back and fish. Hey there, looks like you found somebody at home to help you pack. Make sure you bring a lunch of a bunch of Pokeballs of potions, alright? Say less. Hey Pokemon trainer, if you set foot in tall grass, a wild Pokemon will pop out. You'll, you, you'll be fine because your Pokemon partner will battle with you. Thanks, bud. Alright, we on Route 2? Alrighty, Route 2. And here, we can find... Quite a few Pokemon already. We got six to collect. So we're going to be here for um, probably a hot moment. Hope it doesn't lag like that every time. Again, I have to play with the emulation settings. But um, right off the bat, starting strong with a Pidgey. So I'm not going to bubble it because I don't want to kill it. Um, okay, perfect. Actually, I probably could have used the bubble there. Um, let's, let's pound it again. Don't crit, please, Froakie. Alright. It would have been nice if it went into the yellow, but it's really not that big of a deal. We're gonna go and reach into our bag. Pokeballs. Alright, let's throw a Pokeball at it. Hopefully catch it here. And yeah, like I said, um, I really like whenever I hit a route to try to catch everything there right when I get there. Just so at the end of the game, when I'm filling up my Pokedex, I don't have to run back to anything. I just caught them all, you know. Obviously, with things like, um, we don't have the Super Rod right away, so some will have to come back, but preferably not too much. A common sight in forests and woods, it flaps its wings at ground level to pick up blinding sand. Um, and of course, I'm gonna be very tempted to use a lot of the Pokemon that I like from Kanto. So, like, I would die to use a Pidgey right now. Um, but I'm not going to because I just went to Leaf Green. I had the Pidgey the entire time. I'm not gonna play this game and keep, you know. I feel like it's such a shame to play a new game, a new region, and then just use Pidgey again, you know? Get Star Me Pidgey. Well, that's like 50% of my team, you know. So I will not be using Pidgey. Um. Yeah. But um, once again. Killed it, are you kidding me? Um, this game has many more Pokemon than Leaf Green does, so um, the nice part about that is we'll also have many, many more options. Um, so I'm literally just going to stay in this bush. I know it's going to be a little boring, but I'm going to sit here and try to catch everything. Okay, so Bunnelby's next. Let's go ahead and try to... I won't use another Bubble, because Bubble killed the last one. Alright, it's already in the yellow. Likely, I will kill it if I hit it again. So let's go ahead and just throw a Pokeball at it. And I'm just hoping since it's such a low level that we just won't have to deal with it escaping too much. You love to see it. Alright, Bunnelby was caught. Alright, so we got Pidgey, Bunnelby, four to go. And a lot of you guys might be kind of 
actually, let's go. Uh, they use their large ears to dig burrows. They will dig the whole night through. A lot of you might be wondering why I chose X and Y to play next, like from Leaf Green X and Y. But honestly, XY has is one of the biggest generations with all the Pokemon. Um, I think it's right in between that newer gen and old gen. It's like right in the nice center. It has all the Pokemon that I like. Because, you know, in the newer gens, so many Pokemon were cut. This one doesn't like, this one doesn't do that. You know, there's Zigzagoon from Gen 2. There's Pidgey from Gen 1. Um, and then they added in some of the other Pokemon in between. So I just, I really, really love that I will be encountering so many of the Pokemon from other gens in this game. Unlike the other games where they should have just cut the Pokedex, you know. Um, honestly, I would have loved to play um, like Legends Arceus or basically any of those games, but I googled, they do not have Starmie. And I'm gonna just be, I'm gonna keep it 100. If the game doesn't have Starmie, I'm not gonna play it. Like, I just. I don't, I don't want to. That's, I know that's like, in a sense, like, maybe petty, but I just, I don't have to play the game. But this game, with a ton of Pokemon, again, right in that sweet spot between gens, and it has Starmie. So you know what, this game I will play gladly. It walks in a zigzag fashion, it's good at finding items in the grass and even the ground. Do you have a nickname? You know? Alright, so we just need... Dude, I already, like, forgot what I had. Bunnelby, Froki. Okay, so I still need Fletchling, a Scatterbug, and Weedle. Yeah, there are six Pokemon total. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's keep searching for them. We got, again, it's a great part about this game. There's so many Pokemon to get. Route one, and we have to catch six six new ones already. Let's just use a bubble. Hoping bubble doesn't straight up kill it. Problem is, we're also okay. We're you know we're level seven. We're gonna be level eight soon. We're actually gonna start maybe one shotting these uh, Pokemon. So I'm gonna go ahead and just throw a Pokeball right away. It's in the it's not in the red, but again, one more shot will end up killing it. So. Alright, there we go, we got Fletchling, so now we need the Scatterbug and Weedle. The, the, these friendly Pokemon set signals to one another with beautiful chirps and tail feather movements. Mm, nope. Again, um, just like Leaf Green, I will not be nicknaming Pokemon. I'm just not a fan of nicknaming Pokemon, I don't know why. Um, I just don't like it. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. All right, can I please one shot it so I don't hit it twice? Ah, of course I can two shot it. That's fine though. So far, we've been pretty lucky about like encountering a different Pokemon each time. Um, but now I have the feeling I'm gonna probably need a few encounters to catch to find what I need, especially the Weedle and Scatterbug, but I also don't mind maybe giving Froki a few levels while we're at it, so I don't mind that either. There we go, Quick Attack. It's gonna be pretty useful for the very early game. Not so much later. Zigzagoon, I already got you, Zigzagoon. You can go away, I don't need ya. But you're level 4, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and bubble you. Bubble bubble. Alright, and I'm pretty sure uh, uh, probably a quick attack will kill it. I also probably need to heal like already. I'm gonna just quick attack it. There I go. I don't know. I was hoping to just meet them, but I should probably cut until I find them. Let's try one more. One more encounter. And if I don't get it this one, I will probably cut. Hey, okay, here we go. Scatterbug. New Pokemon. Um, am I gonna kill it? I'm scared I'm gonna kill it. Do you just use a quick attack? Okay, good, good, good. Because uh, I, I think... I, I don't memorize the power of each move, but I think quick attack is a little less than a tackle. If I remember correctly, but I could also just be a hard trip in, and that is very, very likely. 
Alright. Well, we got Scatterbug. Only one we'll be looking for is Weedle. And of course, um, just like any other game, there are some version exclusives. Um, as far as X and Y, another reason why I love these games is the exclusives aren't horrible. You'd expect with like 500 plus Pokemon, you get a lot of exclusives, like the percentage, but it's actually very low. When under attack from bird Pokemon, it spews a poisonous black powder that causes paralysis on contact. Like, there aren't a super amount of exclusives. Really, in each generation, there's like a bug exclusive, some a couple of water type exclusives, and like one pseudo legendary exclusive. I know, as far as the only thing that is like detrimental to me that I don't have in this game is, um, hold on. Is really just, I'm not gonna be able to get Tyranitar. Tyranitar is in Pokemon Y. Um, as far as what's in this game, I have Aggron, which I actually I kind of like Aggron better than Tyranitar anyway, so it's really not that big of a deal. Other than that, it's, like I said, we're gonna get the Weedle. Um, like, Caterpie is a Y exclusive. I don't really mind it that much, you know? Oh, Froakie, level 9. So that's another thing that makes me quite happy about this game is the exclusives aren't super detrimental like they were in Leaf Green, in my opinion. Oh, no, hey, finally, here we go, Weedle. All right, I love, I love that added detail of having a slight shadow before, kind of like an old show where, what's this poke? I, I love that. Um, The thing is, if I hit it, I will kill it with just about any move right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just Pokeball it without actually hitting it, because I am scared of fainting it, and I've already gone through enough encounters for Froakie's level 10, so there we go. Perfect. All right, and I did use a, just a quick potion on Froakie in the meanwhile, just because his stuff was getting pretty low. Often found in forest and grasslands, it has a sharp, toxic barb of around two inches on top of its head. Um, nope. Yeah, to box when he goes. All right, and okay, there is all the Pokemon for now, so we can probably keep moving on here. Oh, hi, Big D. Come learn how to catch Pokemon with me. Serena's mom and dad are amazing trainers. That's why she knows so much about... Bro, oh, I... I'm already ahead of the game. Well, mom and dad may be good, but that has nothing to do with me. Okay, now watch carefully, you two. I don't... Dude, I just... I just caught six of them, bro. I just got her Fletchling out. Is does she do? Okay, well I'm gonna like literally pull out my phone. We'll let her show us how to catch Pokemon. Although I don't want to poop on it too bad because like, look, if this is, it genuinely is your first game, not fair. Enough. You might not know. Um, but I do. So it's gonna go on uh, Reddit. I say that as I go on Twitter, but I hate Twitter. So. I just follow a bunch of esports teams to see what's going on. Alright, you good? Wow, the Pokemon went inside the Pokeball? Almost like you have one already in your hand. Shauna, what do you think? <laughs> okay, maybe it's not so bad. Here, I'll share some Pokeballs with the two of you. I mean, I already wasted all my money on some, but I'll take some more. I'll take some more Pokeballs. Pokeballs, do you think I can catch Pokemon with them too? No. Sure, you can catch the Pokemon around here just by throwing a Pokeball near them. Okay, if I find a cute Pokemon, I'll throw lots of Pokeballs at it and then we'll become friends. When you catch a wild Pokemon, it makes your Pokemon stronger too. Good luck. Dude, I already caught all of the Pokemon on this route. So... I don't know, I guess let's just run through it. I already, I already caught all of these. Again, maybe, maybe I uh, jumped the curve a little bit here. Um... Yeah, I think I, I jumped the curve on the on the the Pokemon in here. But let's go ahead and stop right here because we've already done quite a bit today. Where is my menu? Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and um do a quick save and we'll continue our adventure next time. 
going into the Centulanoon Centulun Forest. Uh, that's the one. And we'll be getting some Pan Seers, Pan Pores, Pan Sages, and a Pikachu. We'll start off with that next episode. Hey, how's it going, everyone? We're playing some more Pokemon. Um, been a few days since I last played, but um, yeah, let's pick up right where, right where we left off here. Um, when two trainers' eyes meet, a Pokemon battle must begin. So this is actually the first technical, technically like trainer battle of the game. Obviously, we faced our rival, but yeah. first little actual battle here going. Alright, we're going to send out Froakie, and Froakie is pretty over leveled right now. Yeah. <laughs> Considering we hunted every single Pokemon in Route 2, so we got him. We got him a couple levels. So um, this really probably should instant knock it out. Oh, it didn't. Also, excuse me. I'm gonna get my my silent keyboard out, and I'm literally gonna do that mid episode because I don't really care. I totally dropped everything on the floor. Alright, here we go. In a battle while getting my son. My son, the keyboard's already connected. Here we go. YouTuber things, am I right? I've got a loud keyboard and a quiet keyboard. Alright, let's go ahead and move into, I think, the forest, right? Yeah, Santa Loon Forest. Alright. This is like very much like um, that first forest in Leaf Green. I wonder if this is like a thing. Wait up, let's walk together. I feel like something exciting will happen if I stay by you. I'll hear your, hear your Pokemon whenever too. Come on, man. I gotta make it so easy. We even got a portable health station. All right. I guess it's the beginning of the game. They gotta hold our hands for a little while longer. This is like literally, it's not, it's Viridian Forest. I was, I was gonna say Vermilion Forest, but Vermilion's a town. Alright, but we actually do have uh, quite a couple Pokemon to catch, so let's go ahead and look for those. That is Panpour. Let's go ahead and quick attack it and see if it kills it. Okay, good. It did not kill it. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to our bag. Let's throw a Pokeball. And we do have to catch Panpour, Panseer, and Pan Sage. So we do have to look for all three of them. Alright, here we go. And then we caught a lot of the other things, so it's really mainly just those three. Um, but we do have to get a Pikachu and a. Yeah, it's just, just a Pikachu. The water stored inside the tuft on its head is full of nutrients. It waters plants without. with it using its tail. Keep moving. Let's see if we can find something in this corner over here. Wow. Gathering some Pokemon. Alright, Scatterbug. We actually already have one of you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, pound you. Call it a day here. I'm surprised Froakie's not killing. It's very surprising. But that's alright. We can go ahead and do a quick attack and call it a day. Oh, bop. And again, I think we're just looking for the other two pans and the Pikachu. Right, another potion. Now these are like not very expensive in the shop, but they are pretty good to grab now because as of this moment, we're gonna be spending a lot of money on Pokeballs. So, all right, there's our Pan Sage. And actually, I really like the idea. Of the Pan Sage, Pan Seer, Pan Four, right at the beginning of the game. Um, in a lot of other games, you often have um, types missing in the beginning of the games. Um, because, of course, you only get one starter. So I really like how in this game they gave you options for the other two. Um, like, you know, in Leaf Green, one of the main problems is if you do not pick Charmander, you will not get a decent fire type um, or a fire type. For a very long time, until like more than halfway through the game when you can get like Volpix or the Arcanine. Um, 
So it's really nice, you know, right off the beginning of the game, they're giving you a Pan Sage or Pan Poor or Pan Seer, so you can get, you know, kind of get that coverage. So that is one thing that I do appreciate. Um, now, I am not a fan of either of the pans, so I will not be using any of them, but I like that they added them in. Um, Alright, it shares the leaf on its head with weary looking Pokemon. These leaves are known for leaf stress. Very epic. So now we're just looking for Pan Seer. Pan Seer and a. Oop, I already walked that way. And a Pikachu. Also, I can run, so let me do that. Okay, antidote. Um, okay, that is literally the way we came. Okay, we go this way. Is there an item in here? Alright, Pampor or Pikachu? No, Panseer. I said the wrong name and it gave me the right one, so maybe I'll start doing that more often. Go ahead and pound it. Bop. Alright, scratch. I'll do a little bit, but not too much. Alright, let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball at it. So now, all we need is that Pikachu, which is a 6%. And then, it might be a decent idea to grab the Kakuna. Um, but there's really no reason. We can just evolve the Caterpie. Um, actually, wait a minute. Um, very intelligent. It roasts berries before eating them. It likes helping people. Um, actually, no, we do need to grab that Kakuna because that is the other one, so, um, never mind what I said, we actually do need to grab it. Okay, so Pikachu and Kakuna, that's what we're looking for now. There's no item over here, right? Okay. So, so first, I'll observe a battle... Love how they're still doing the tutorial, even though I'm, like, way past any of that. Hang on a sec, Big D. Look what I found, Big D. I'll give it to you. I love puzzles, so I watch everything more closely than you might think. Paralyze heal. Okay. Interesting. Alright, another probably battle here. Come on, Scatterbug. Let's powder this punk. Alright, bud. Youngster Joey. Dude, how does he not have a Rattata? He's Youngster Joey. Um... I'll just give it a quick pound here. Ah, so close. Ouch. Let's go ahead and give it another quick attack. So I should probably keep my phone on me. Just in case I get a text from uh, someone important. Alright, Fletchling, switch my Pokemon. We'll just keep battling. Alright, probably. We'll probably do another bubble now. There you go. Cheer up, Scatterbug, we lost this time, but we'll get the next one who comes along for sure. Me, your $72, kid. Okay. Do you have any Pokeballs? Here you go. Oh, dang. They just, just give me stuff? Dude, why is this game holding my hand so much? They're giving me Pokeballs? They're a free heal? Come on, man. Yeah, and I... Look, I appreciate things like the Pansier Panpores, you know, giving you strategic things you can do in the beginning of the game to make it easier. I just... Come on, man. You're giving me a heal inside of the route. Why? Um... I'm gonna do a bubble. Wow, I'm surprised the bubble didn't kill that. Ouch. Don't paralyze me. Thank you. Alright, quick attack. I'm guessing that's probably why they gave me that paralysis skill right then. They were like, yeah, this kid's definitely gonna get paralyzed by that thunder. Oh, I'm sorry, Pikachu. I'm 
defeated last anime. I was the one who got shocked and gave me that hundred and twenty dollars. Dude. Weedle? I think I have one of those. Yep, I do have one of those. I'm gonna just pound in, we should be fine here. But we will not leave the forest until we get ourselves a Pikachu and Kakuna, so. We're just gonna keep walking like normal, but we won't leave. Oh, you have so many Pokemon. I yeah, sure do, bud. The best part about Pokemon battles is that they can't happen anytime, anywhere, with anyone. Indeed. The last lease. Lice? Lice? I don't know how to say her name. Fight. Pound. Bop. Bunnelby? Alright, Bunnelby. Definitely gonna bubble you. I'm gonna bubble you out of this planet. Bonk. I've gotta keep battling and training up my really awesome Pokemon. Alright, what's over here? Honestly, not even mad. I'll take a Pokeball. Like I said, we've got a lot of Pokemon to catch this game, so... I really want to catch a Pikachu. Oh, they're even telling me what's in the forest. Come on, man, where's the surprise? I say that as I'm looking at a spreadsheet of the Pokemon, but... But, yeah. So it's a 6 and a 4% chance, so it's not a very high chance. Um, well, we'll have to hit it. Alright, and Seer. We do not need you, bud. So I'm gonna go ahead and just bubble you out of this. Bubble you into the stratosphere. Give bubble. Oh, hey, there is a Kakuna. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Finally, one of the Pokemon. It actually took a little while here. I'm gonna guess this isn't gonna kill it, considering Kakuna's high defense. Fence! Oh, <laughs> that was close. Alright. Bag. Pokeball. Here we go. Bonk. Here we go. Also, it seems like the catch rate in this game is really, really good, or I'm extremely lucky. In Leaf Green, I did not have this amount of luck. Level 13. Seems like even in the beginning, all of the Pokemon took a few Pokeballs to get. And this one, I don't think I missed a single one the first throw, so. Almost incapable of moving, this Pokemon can only harden itself to protect itself when it is in danger. Nope. Alright, last Pokemon then. We are looking for the Pikachu. Let's see if I can maybe get it, like, right now out of sheer luck. Nope. Okay, here we go. Keep, keep, keep looking for that Pikachu. Surprised I really haven't hit it yet. I've hit two Kakunas, which is a 4%, but I haven't hit a single Pikachu. It's gonna be right now. I'm sick. I'm actually sick. Alright, well, here's now the problem. I really don't want to kill it. So, we're gonna check a Premiere Ball at it. Hopefully it stays in there. One. Oh, let's go. Alright. Got ourselves a Pikachu and a Premier Ball. Alright, there we go. That's what we needed. It raises its tail to check its surroundings. The tail is sometimes struck by lightning in this pose. No. Oh, cool. Got ourselves a Pikachu. Finally, leave the forest. Not without at least one more encounter, though. Little scatterbug. Why do you... Do you really just want to, like, just get beat? Why? Why do you do this to yourself? You know that's not a good idea. Alright, let's move on through to Santa... Santa something city, man, I don't know. Route 3? We're on Route 3? What are y'all going to do? Why look for Pokemon, of course. The professor did ask us to complete the Pokedex, after all. And furthermore, 
different Pokemon prefer living in different places. To put it another way, it's a chance to find different Pokemon than the ones in the forest. I'll bet different Pokemon will use different moves. I sure want to see lots of moves. What are you going to do, Serena? I'm going to the San Santa Loon City's gym and challenge the gym leader. See Pokemon trainers find out how good they really are by challenging the leaders in Pokemon gyms. Wow, you sure know a lot. It's because mom and dad taught me so much. Here, I have something for you guys. Adventure rules. I wrote down 10 different tips every trainer should know. Here's one for you. Alright, we got the rules. If you're puzzled about something, try looking in these rules. Oh, this is great. I'm going to spend some time getting to know my little Fennekin. What are you going to do, Big D? Um... I'm gonna... Catch Pokemon. I think that's kind of our answer. So, hold on. We got surfing. Okay, so there are a couple Pokemon we can get. Now, we do not have any of the rods. So, I think what we're looking for is we're looking for Bidoof, Azumarill, Burmy, and Dunsparce. That's what who we're able to find. But, of course, we'll have to go through a few trainers. Mommy told me that I should battle anyone who greets me. Eh, I don't know if that's really good advice. My preschooler, Oliver, he's in preschool. Bro, this world has some violent preschoolers. Yo, let me take my bug and try to hurt your bug. A little weirdo. Alright. Alright, Azuril, which... We will be looking for one of these Azurils in the forest, or in the grass, I mean. Pound. Pound. Wow. This Azuril has a little higher defense than I thought it would. That's alright, we'll just go and quick attacking. Call it a day. Bonk. Alright. Mommy told me to be polite, especially when I lose. Nah, that's a good lesson right there. Pokemon battles are really hard. I just let Pichu do what it wants. You're challenged by preschooler Ella. I don't know if that's a wonderful idea, but... I'm absolutely gonna just water pulse it. Level 5, okay. Well, again, a little over... Interesting. That was not the editing software or the video. That was the game. Pichu, did we lose? Hopefully, it doesn't do that every time. We. I think it might. I don't know if it does it the first time we do it. Oh, coming through. Oh, we need to cut this, right? Okay, we don't have to cut. Um. All right. Well, I guess let's let's do a few encounters. See what we can find in the grass here. Said so we're looking for quite a few new ones, so. Bidoof is one of the new ones. We're definitely gonna... No, actually, I think we could quick attack it without killing it. Okay. We're getting very close to the point where we're gonna kill it, so... Noted. I might not want to do that with the other ones. I'm gonna chuck a Pokeball at it. Thought it was not, I thought it was going to escape him, like, really, out of all the Pokemon that we caught, the one that escapes our Bidoof. Alright. With nerves of steel, nothing can perturb it. It is more agile and active than it appears. Bidoof is fast. Okay, one more encounter and then we'll move on. And then come back if we needed to. Burmy? Okay, that's one of the 10% spawns, so that's good to have. I can definitely quick attack this without killing it. Protect, okay. That's fine. Not sure why you would do that, but fair enough. Woo, that was close too. Right, let's go and chuck a Pokeball at it. So really all we need is Azumarill and the Dunsparce. Everything... Ooh! Alright, first Pokemon to get out of a bowl, and it's out of all of them. Burmy. Very interesting. Ooh, 
Okay, here we go. Burmy had a little bit of fight in him. Good for Burmy. What does the Pokedex say? The shelter itself from cold, wintry winds, it covers itself with a cloak made of twigs and leaves. Alright, let's uh, keep moving and we'll definitely have to go through some more. I'm guessing that's Santalun City. Okay, so we'll have to check out the rest of Route 3 over here. The best way to learn about a move is to have your Pokemon use it. Or you can just read on its stats, either one. Schoolboy Brighton. Hi, Schoolboy Brighton. You have three Pokemon, so it's gonna take a hot minute to get through you, but... Uh, probably a Water Pulse would still be better than the Pound, to be honest. Yeah. Even though it's not effective, it's powers more than Tackle, even without it being effective. Okay, and Seer. Nah, we'll... We'll, um, keep... We'll have Froakie doing most of the work for probably a little while until I find Pokemon that I, I actually want to use in my team. But so far, there's nothing super... super exciting that, like, intrigues me. Again, I really love Pidgey. But I don't want to use Pidgey. Um, just because I used it in my lead game, like, you know. Wow, that move packs a punch, alright. Okay. Anything down here? Another Burmy. Ooh. Um, let's go actually run from it. I don't, I just don't feel like dealing with it. Super Potion. I'd love to see it. Alright, let's go to Santalin City. Let me go ahead and just turn... I think I accidentally turned up my desktop volume, so I turned it down a little bit. Um, What's up in this town? Walking through tall grass is great fun. All kinds of Pokemon jump out at you. Okay, sorry. I'm, like, losing my head. We still have a few Pokemon to catch, so... Um, let's go ahead and run through this grass until we find... Not you. Until we find Dunsparce. And... Mm, Azuro. Oh, okay, here we go. Azuro. That's what we were looking for. Um... Will a normal... Will, will a quick attack kill it? I really hope not. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Water gun. That did literally nothing. Alright, cool. Alright. We will have to probably buy some more Pokeballs. We only have like 14 left, so... Whoa! Got out! What a nutter. Alright, here we go. Another Pokeball. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright. A Pokemon that lives by water and moves quickly on land by bouncing on his big tail. Alright, all we're looking for now is a Dunsparce. So, maybe we can get the Dunsparce now? Oh, we just hit level 16, and apparently Froakie evolves at level 16. So, that's pretty cool. Okay, first time hearing the evolution music. Very similar to Leaf Green. Here we go. Congratulations. Your Froakie evolved into a Frogadier. Very epic. Um, you know what we're gonna do, guys? We're gonna end the episode off here. We're gonna catch the Dunsparce 
next episode, we're going to start with that and go from there. See ya. Hey everybody, we're playing some more Pokemon. Um, we're almost done with this route. We just need Dunsparce, which we spent a good chunk of last episode looking for. I'm hoping we can maybe grab it, and then once we get Dunsparce, we can move on to St. City itself. Um, but first, first we need Dunsparce. So I'm going to give it one more encounter, and if I don't find it in my next encounter, I'm going to go ahead and cut. Um, because this is... Okay, I'll be back. Oh, okay! Here we, here we go, finally. Um, According to my recording, it's been 15 minutes. So I've been looking for this Dunsparce for 15 minutes, which doesn't sound like a lot, Um, but you have to imagine that I'm a busy pharmacy student. That 15 minutes is going to cost me. So, Dunsparce, I hate you, and I never want to see you again. I'm glad you don't evolve, because I don't want to touch you. Oh, gosh. I was starting to think Dunsparce wasn't here. Honestly. Alright, when spotted, this Pokemon escapes backwards by ferociously barring into the ground with its tail. Alright, now get out of my sight. I don't want to look at you ever again. You took way too long to find. But, that is all of the Pokemon Route 3. Now we can finally go to... Santa Luna City, the rest of the actual game. Hey there, Big D. Are you here to get your Pokemon healed too? Pokemon Center sure are great. You can talk to the lady at the counter and have you, her heal your Pokemon. You can even, de even deposit Pokemon you've caught in that PC. Know how Pokemon are sent to the PC when you're caught more than you can carry? That's where they go. Thanks, bud. Oh yeah, Big D. There's a Pokemon in the back of the Pokemon Center too. It's a good idea to stock up on Pokeballs and potions and stuff at the Mart too. I. I'm guessing this is a rechange, right? Um, okay. Blah, blah, blah. What are you up to, my guy? Pokemon are easy to catch if you sleep or paralyze them first. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and buy some Pokeballs first. I don't actually surprisingly don't have that much money. Let's just buy five. Yeah. Okay, let's just buy five of those. We don't have any more money for anything else, but we don't need anything else. All we need is Pokeballs. Good evening. Uh, yeah, let's, sure, let's go ahead and uh, let's do that. Um, but yeah. As far as my Pokemon, we can go ahead and basically put them all away. Um, deposit. We're gonna deposit everything, because we're not gonna use any of them really. Um, yeah, that's fine. Just box one, deposit. Box one, deposit. Box one, deposit. And then we'll grab something out later if we want it. Like, honestly, that, um, Fletchling, I might actually use a Fletchling. Oh, wait, did I, like, heal my Pokemon? See, like, Fletchling is one of the ones that I might actually use, but... Oh, wait, I totally did this, didn't I? I have no idea. Whatever, man. I... Short-term memory loss. Alright, here we go. Hope to see you again. Sure. Okay. She got the rest of... Is there a building here? Okay, there's two buildings. Let's go check out inside of both of these buildings. The gym leader is a fantastic photographer. I'll have to go find some bug pipe if I want. Okay, so... Um, you wanna hear about them? No. Um, oh, why is my eye so itchy? Um, okay, so she's a bug type trainer? Interesting. Um, very connected, okay. Okay, so we can stop it. We can stop evolution with the B button. That's good to know. We're at the town center here. Um, okay, so there's a trainer school we can attend. We want to know stuff, but um, I don't, probably don't need it. Um, how about it? Why don't you train my... Get a bundle bee for my far fetched. Actually, we will do that. We will actually do that. Um, if you know if you. Okay. Oop, I don't want to do that. Wait, there's nothing to shop. Then go each yourself some gym. Okay, so items are based upon gym badges. That's very interesting because that's not how other games used to work. Okay. 
Alright, we gotta go remember to get a Bunnel B. So I picked up lots of Great Balls. Hey, Mr. Champion, so I'll share them with... Great Balls. Dude, actually, that little kid's goaded, like, for real. Thanks, kid. I don't mind you in the slightest. Okay, so we can buy stuff there. I'm guessing that's the... G no, okay, that's probably the gym. What is this? Route... Route 22. Okay, there's something there. There's something there. Okay, which... Okay, what's over here? Okay, well, they're just like insta-swap seats. Can I enter? Okay, this is a, just like a restaurant. Okay, what's over here? Oh, you... You're one of the kids you got from sick... That frogadier you got looks pretty happy. Must be a good trainer. In that case, go over to the Pokemon gym. Okay, so we can't, won't let us leave whatever is over there. Wait, what does it say? First Pokemon to your battle will be the one in the... Oh, okay. Alright, cool. Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back. I need the Bunnelby in my box to later evolve. Let's go ahead and grab another Bunnelby right now. So we're back at the route. Bunnelby? It took so long to find you, and now you just pop up... Oh, done sparse you. Oh. Oh, okay, here we go. Bunnel be finally, dude. Watch me kill it. No, I'm not I'm not gonna even attack it. I'm just throwing balls at it because if I if I kill it, I'm gonna cry. One. If I have to throw like seven balls at it, then I'm gonna start swinging. Just stay in the stupid ball. Don't don't screw with me. Thank you. All right, Bunnelby. Appreciate it. Now let's go ahead and just give you away instantly, so I can get that juicy far fetched. No, I do not want to give you a nickname because you're gonna go far away in just a hot minute. All right, let's go ahead and do that trade, and then we can go ahead and um. Go to the gym and beat the gym. Alright, bud. Let's trade. Um, we... we uh, yes. Alright, go ahead and you can take my bundle B. And again, I'll keep the other bundle B so I can evolve it. Beautiful. Let's trade our precious Pokemon to one another. Later, bundle B. You were good for the 20 seconds I had you. Zoom, zoom. Surfetched isn't in this game, right? Surfetched is like later. Cool. For Quacklin. I like Quacklin. This is your bundle beat. I will take good care of it. Alright, thank you. Find a bundle beat just about everywhere, but sure, man. I'll definitely. Take your oh, I'll definitely take your far fetched. This is the school, isn't it? Uh, tight matchup. So water is good for fire, and fire works well for grass, and grass is good for water. All right, I am not gonna read everything in there because I, yeah. Hey, stranger, isn't cruising around town on your roller skates the best thing ever? Wait, do you mean that you don't own a pair of roller skates? Then how about this? If you beat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll give you a pair. I can never say no to a contest, not me, so how about it? Do you want a battle? Yeah. Whether it's Pokemon or roller skates, speed is important. You're challenged by Roller Skater Rinka. Zigzag. Only a single Zigzagoon? Alright. And I'm gonna blast it into the stratosphere, but yeah, why not? With my new Frogadier. You wrapped up the battle before I could reach my top speed, before you could do much of anything, to be honest. Wow, that was amazing. You might even be stronger than the gym leader. Alright, here you go. One spiffy pair of roller skates, just as promised. Question, do I need to put those on? Um... Okay. Ooh. Okay. So, 
What if I just want to walk? Okay, apparently walking is no longer an option. So I will solely be using roller skates. I think there's there's a different buttons. I'm pretty sure I could take them off if I really wanted to. I don't see why I would need to take them off, though. Can I, like, take them off? Ah, whatever. doesn't matter. Um, you actually could do, though. Let me check my controls. Control. Okay, everybody. Let's go ahead and, um, enter the gym. Santaloon City Gym. Why is there... What's the hustle, little crustal? Welcome to Santaloon Gym. So, future champ, this will be your first challenge in a gym, huh? Are you thrilled? Are you pumped? You should be. No worries here. You've got Pokemon on your side. And really, they're going to be the ones who are going to be doing all the battling. Am I right or am I right? Right? Jump on the pole there and you'll be on your way to meet the gym leaders waiting for you. Whoop, but wait, before you go, I'm supposed to tell you something. Everybody in this Pokemon gym uses Bug-type Pokemon, got it? Alright. Shouldn't be a problem for my overleveled over -leveled Frogadier anyway, so... Ooh. Okay. Interesting use of choice of sound. Sounds very wet. Hey, are you a challenger? Come on, show me your Pokemon. And I will probably have to defeat a lot of these people. Oh, youngster David, that's me. I will need to defeat a lot of these people because I need the money. To fund my Pokeball addiction, I will need to beat them, so... I'm gonna use a pound. I don't know how good water is effective against bugs. Comet Punch. Ah, uh, that didn't do anything, okay. Oh, it's hitting him multiple times. Okay, let's go ahead and try to use a... Uh, water Pulse instead, that might help. Like I said, I need the money, so... Usually I would maybe just kind of go through them. And, you know, because I don't need the levels, but I do need the money. Oh, I'm guessing the water is, like, where I need to go? Or is it just... A way to track where I've already gone? Do you have any idea how quickly Bug-type Pokémon evolve? I do, actually. They evolve stupid quick. Spupa? What the heck is a Spupa? Is that the evolution of Scatterbug? It looks like a Scatterbug. Yeah, I was playing Leaf Green, and Caterpie and Weedle were the like, one of the last Pokemon to I had to evolve. And I, like, I evolved them basically in two fights fully because I, I was on the victory road. Um, okay, so that's how I get to... Oh, actually, if I can get to the main person over here. Hee hee hee, such weak prey, you've been caught right in my spider web. Is she gonna use a spinda? Or, not a spinda. I was, what are those spider thingies? I forgot from Gen 2. I don't know what they called. Alright, Kakuna. About to get water pulsed. Oh. I wonder why they put the Kuna as one of the last fights, because it's just gonna harden, right? So, level 17, here we go. Combi? Okay, we haven't seen a Combi. And what's really cool, guys, is, like I told you in the beginning, I didn't play a lot of these newer games, so seeing them in 3D is actually pretty new for me. Now, obviously, I've seen them all in 3D on Pokemon Go, um, but you know. Is different. That determined expression, that glint in your eye that says you're up to the challenge. It's fantastic, just fantastic. Is this your first time challenging a gym? Whether it's tears of frustration that follow or loss or the blossoming of joy that comes with victory, they're both great subjects for my camera. This will be fantastic. Now come at me. My lens is always focused on victory. I won't let anything ruin the shot. All right. Versus Viola. 
All right, let's go. Sir Skit. All right, it's the first time we've seen one of these. We're gonna bring our handy dandy Frogadier. Gonna water pulse it. I pretty wait. Is Sir Skit a water bug Pokemon? Might be a water bug. Yeah, but we confused it. <laughs> Suck. Um, right, let's go and quick attack it, and that should be enough to take care of it. Yeah. Alright, well, we got pretty lucky there. I mean, it wasn't gonna kill us, but hey, you know, we can save some hit points. Viv Vivillion. Vivillion? That's the third evolution of Scatterbug, right? Maybe? I don't know. Again, I don't really know the Pokemon in these games. Alright, tackled me. Gonna water pulse it again. Not a bad fight. Not a bad fight at all. Level 18, here we go. You defeated Leader of Viola. You and your Pokemon have shown me a whole new depth of field. Fantastic! That was a lot of money. I'll take that shmoney. Young trainer, you... It wasn't you alone. You and your Frogadier have shown me a whole new depth of field. Fantastic. Received the Bug Badge. With that Bug Badge, Pokemon up to level 30 will listen to your orders in battle. Yep, even if you get them from trades. And here, this TM com commemorates your win against a pro photog like me. Infestation? I don't have... I'm not going to be using any Bug Pokemon, but... Thank you. Using a TM like that lets you teach your Pokemon some new moves quicker than a shutter. Um, okay. Now, uh, it's, it's probably now. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Wait, did it say it won't let them escape? I know I was like, I should have just probably listened to her the first time. Oh, no, okay. I was like, it's that's an OP move for the beginning of the game, especially if you like find a shiny or something. But no, it's not what I thought it did. On something else. All right. Well, that was quick. Oh, would you look at that bug badge? Nice, very nice, future champ. I bet that schmancy pants professor who gave you your first Pokemon would be amazed to see it. After you heal up your Pokemon in the Pokemon Center, why don't you head up onto the Pokemon Lab in Lamoe City and show it to him, huh? All right. Um. Yeah, let's go heal our Pokemon. Super, super. Super, 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 super quickly. And then we can head over to where that dude said. Yeah, it's gonna get, uh, it's gonna take a second to get used to the roller blades. Because I think I will be using them as default, because, like, why not? Fast is good. Whoever tells you fast is not good is lying to you. Um. But yeah, you know, I, I just love going fast. And if I just kind of, like, get used to them, we'll be speed, we'll be speedy. Okay, so this is round 22, and then, what is this way? Ah, uh, you're one of, yeah, um, I'm Alexa, the gym leader you just faced. Viola is my younger sister. I worked as a journalist myself here. Why don't you take this to celebrate getting your first badge? That's exactly what I was looking for. I was wondering, I was going to Google it after this episode, where we get the XP shared. If you have an XP share and you turn it on, all of the Pokemon on your team get XP points, even if they don't appear in battle. I hope it helps you with your training. Um, I work at the big publishing house up in Lumi City. Feel free to stop by any time if you have a next big scoop to share with me. And this is another thing that I actually, like, highly appreciate with these new games, is the XP shares applying to everyone on your team. That was such a hassle in Leaf Green. So here's what we're going to do. We will actually be grabbing... Um, a couple Pokemon now because we have the XP share. So now it is actually I do want stuff. Um, XP share. Okay, so right now it is on. So if we do this, we turn it off. So we want it on. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put Pokemon in my party that can I actually do need to evolve. Okay, someone. So we're gonna go ahead and deposit the Farfetch because I don't need the Farfetched. Okay, now we can go ahead and withdraw. So, um, let's see, 
Um, pan pour evolution. Does it evolve by stone? Yeah, so those are by stones. Well, then, might as well. Let's just go ahead and grab the Weedle. Um, what else can we grab? Um, Kakuna? Where, what is Kakuna? Okay, Kakuna is a Weedle. Okay, so we won't grab... Wait a minute. Okay, actually, let's just go ahead and withdraw the Kakuna. I don't know why we would with withdraw the Weedle. Um, that's a stone Pokemon. We could probably grab a Bunnelby, Pidgey, Bidoof, and Zigzagoon. So those Pokemon will be good to level up and get those kind of out of the way early. Then as we evolve them, we'll get rid of them and, you know, go from there. Okay, so, what route is this? We still haven't figured out what route this is. Route 4. Okay, so, my question, Route 22, can we actually do anything here? I learned all my Pokemon battling techniques from Viola, the gym leader. Why? Rising Star Louise? How strong are her Pokemon? Did, did I make a mistake coming around 22? Why are they so weak? Um... We didn't kill it. Okay, so I think this is one of those places... A special racing arena. Okay. Well, I guess we can try to grab the things that are here. A Bunnel B3, Pidgey 4... Yeah, we're gonna get a lot of these for the rest of the game. No, okay, Lilio, that's kinda cool. Actually, Lilio is one of the Pokemon we can catch on this route, too. I'm gonna give it a Water Pulse. Ooh. On this route, we can catch a Riolu. Oh, on this route, we could also catch a Farfetch'd. Um, didn't have to trade for it, but we did anyway. Alright, lots of things to press. Okay. Alright. We might, we might be even stronger than... Well, we just beat her, so we probably are. So we need... only thing we need is a Litleo, Psyduck... Litleo, Psyduck, Riolu. Come on, Goldine, let's show them what we're made of. Okie dokie, bud. And again, seeing a lot of these animations is pretty cool. Like seeing the Goldine actually move. I like it. It's very nice. Smack you in the face. Um, didn't kill you, but that's alright. Defense fell. Gonna use a quick attack. Bonk. So actually. Litleo is a pretty cool Pokemon, and so is Riolu. So, maybe I'll actually... might keep Riolu on my team, like, as my actual team. Um, but we'll decide that later. Um, we'll probably just catch it for now and kind of decide later what we actually want to do with it. But I definitely want to catch one. It's a 5% though, so it's not a very easy catch. Again, the dust parts itself took me, like, 20 minutes. The 15 minutes this episode and the 5 minutes, maybe more than 5 minutes last episode, but... Yeah. Alright, Cocoon level 6. They're all, they're all gonna level up pretty easily for a little while here. Goldine, Maril, I'm so sorry, I'll get you both healed up right away at the Pokemon Center. Wait, what? Yellow flowers? What the heck is a yellow flower? I don't know what that means. We'll probably figure it out later, though. So there's a few trainers here. I definitely want to get whatever that is up there, though. Oh, I need cup for that, don't I? Okay. 
And Bidoof. I do not need you, Bidoof. I need all of your other buddies. I'm just gonna go ahead and run. A lot of these fights aren't even worth it now. Oh, we fought you, we fought you, okay. The trick to raising a lower Pokemon is to keep it on the top left spot in your party. Then, as soon as you go into it, quickly switch it out. Not if you have an XP share. Um, famous Rhyme Racer. I even went to the faraway regions to watch Rice cheer on. So yeah, if I want to give it all to that one, then yeah, that's or a bigger share, I could do that. But honestly, I've got to evolve multiple Pokemon at once. I might as well just disperse it. Is battling Pokemon just a hobby to you, or do you want to become a pro? Nah, I just want to catch them all, to be honest. My right, Rising Star Loi? Loi? Alright, a Riolu. We can find one of those on this route, if we get lucky. Let's go on a Water Pulse it. Bonk. Yeah, Riolu definitely is in contention for one of the Pokemon I want, just on my team. Um, But, again... I don't know. This game has a lot of cool Pokemon, like a lot of them, so, you know, I'll definitely have to decide that at some later point. You know what this is, right? It's the beginning of a Pokemon battle. Nah, man, I th thought we were about to have a TCG battle. I don't know, man. I'm... Dialogue. Water Pulse. Uh, Frogadier. Let's get an email. No, nothing important. More levels. Metapod. I like Metapod. Metapod is pretty litty. I'm gonna Water Pulse the poop out of you. Yo, am I tripping? Did we never get a Caterpie? Yo, yo, real quick. I think I must be tripping. Did we never get a Caterpie? I'll have to double check my box. All right, here we go. Actually, that didn't take as long as I thought it would. All right, I can't believe I almost forgot you, Caterpie. That is my mistake. I always get Caterpie confused with Weedle. Because what I was looking at is, I, I saw that they weren't version exclusives, and I was like, Kakuna? Because I caught a Kakuna and a Weedle, thinking the Kakuna involved into whatever Caterpie was supposed to get into, and I'm like, wait a minute, that is not the case in the slightest. For protection, it releases a horrible stench from the antenna on its head to drive away enemies. Okay, we will... Um, also... Evolve Caterpie later. But, um, we just have to really quickly go back and grab it. Alright, let's go back to Route 22 and finish up what we were doing here. Now we're getting, we're getting pretty solid with the skates now. I'm, I'm kind of feeling it. Alright, we were right, we were chilling right here. We fought that dude. Let's go ahead and fight the rest of these guys. Go, go, bundle me. We'll do this as a team. Alright, school goal. School goal. Boy. School girl, Mackenzie. Single bundle be. You love to see it. I love it when they have a single strong Pokemon, because, you know, one water pulse and I get that catch. I don't like it when they have, like, five weak Pokemon, because. They're easier battles, and they just take longer, you know? I like the... I say that as a hard battle, but obviously it's not gonna be hard, but, you know. Uh, Pidgey level 9. Learn Gust? Okay. I'll tell you the truth, Bunnelby is the only Pokemon I've got. That wasn't much of a question, to be honest, but... Hello? See, uh, you can jump over it. That's a, if you Okay, so that's a one-way. I care less about battling than just showing my awesome Pokemon off. Oh, oh, he only hit, only has one. Okay, well, baby, that's a new Pokemon. Very cool. Let's go ahead and um, I think it's a Grass type, but we'll just use Water Pulse. 
Okay, cool. Sorry, little baby. Level 19. Here we go. And the rest of the team got some XP. Oh no, Flibaby, are you okay? It's all my fault. Man, it's a little, it's a little your fault. Alright, so here we can come back when we can serve. Okay, over there is probably the building or... Okay, so let's quickly go back and we have to catch the rest of the Pokemon from here. And once again, that includes... Um... Not you. I'm looking for a Psyduck, Litleo, and Riolu. So I will be back when I see one of those Pokemon. Oh, we got the one that we wanted right away. Look at that. I was—I just pulled out my phone. This is literally the second encounter. Alright, let's go ahead and... Um, this one is the one we're going to want to throw the Great Ball at. Um, I'm not really going to play around this Riolu. I don't want to kill it. Whatever, that's alright. I would expect Riola to be a little harder to catch. And again, I could definitely hurt it, but I just don't want to deal with it, to be a hunt. And I did get a bit of money from that gym, so I could just buy more Pokeballs if I needed. Not like I'll need potions or anything. Okay. This next one will get it. Oh, for sure, for sure. No problem. Alright, hopefully it doesn't take too many because uh, as I said that I, as I said I can buy more, but I don't particularly want to. Riolu, bruh, come on. Just stay in the ball. I mean I like that it has a fighting spirit, because I'm probably gonna be using it in my team, but chill. Here we go. All right. Thank you, Riolu. Thank you. I, li I like the feistiness, though, so that's perfect with me. All right, Riolu. It uses the shape of auras, which change according to emotion, to communicate with others. No, we will not give it a nickname. And once we evolve something, it's probably going to be one of the first ones that we take out. I think I'll definitely try to evolve the Kakuna. Another Riolu. Two five percents in a row? That's pretty nuts, actually. Hey, if I don't kill it, I'll catch another one. But we did kill it, so I don't know. Alright, well. Ooh, Kakuna level 8. I think Kakuna evolves at level, like, very, very low. Like, 9, right? So, it shouldn't... We should probably get uh, Beedrill very, very soon. Azumarill. hit it, I'm gonna kill it. So let's just throw some Pokeballs at it. And call it a day. One. Two. There we go, Litleo. I've been... I've been pranked. It's alright, we'll go, we'll go into it on the next one. One. Two. Three. Good. Alright, thank you, Lilio. He pranked me a little bit on that one, but... Sorry. Alright, so now we just need... We got Riolu, Litleo, we just need a Psyduck. The stronger the opponent faces, the more heat surges from its mane, and the more powerful flows through some about its body. Alright. Thank you for the Litleo, and... Tell me if I'm wrong, but the female and male Litleos are different. Psyduck, okay, I'm like, I think that Psyduck's Reflection. Pretty sure that is. Alright, we actually found the Pokemon on this one not too badly. Alright, 
Ah, you dummy. Why'd you have to do that? You were so close. Alright, Psyduck. Stay in the ball. And I'm definitely gonna have to go buy some more now because I've used all of them. Partly on the Riolu, I threw like five or six of them. Come on, Psyduck! I actually don't have many balls left. Please don't escape too many more. I only got five. One. Ah, there we go. Alright, Psyduck was caught. Very cool. And, guys, I think this is where we're gonna end off the episode, unless something evolves. Um... It constantly racked by a headache. When the headache turns intense, it begins using mysterious powers. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, next episode, we will go ahead and... We will go to that racing thing. Okay, and here's the far-fetched. If I didn't trade for it, this is what I would need to get. But I don't need to get it because I traded for it. Um, but next episode, I think there's some form of racing track over here. Um, so we'll end up doing that, but... Um, Next episode. Hey everybody, we're playing some Pokemon. We just got through Route 22. There's something over here. I don't know what it is though. Where do you think you're going? Listen up, taking on challenges may be important, but as far as what lies beyond, you're not ready. Okay. The gate is changed to Victory Road. Oh. So we can't go past here. Okay. Alright. Well, it's Route 22, so I kind of expected that. So I was wondering, you don't want to just go from Route 3 to 22, so... And I'm I'm pretty sure if we go over here is how we get to that racing thing that I was talking about. Alright, well, cool. Then we must head back to the city, which is actually completely fine. Because I actually need more Pokeballs anyway. Let's go ahead over to Wonderful Sight. Let's head back into the town. Let's get some more Pokeballs and we can continue on to Route 4. May I help you? Yes, I threw all of my Pokeballs. We can get the great... Okay, but I think I'm just going to buy more Pokeballs because I don't have that much money. So, 20 Pokeballs? Yeah, that sounds about right. Maybe... Ooh, and we got a Premier Ball. You know what? Let's not buy the Great Ball now. Let's go ahead and... So now we're going to Route 4, right? So let me just quickly open up. There are many new Pokemon to get here. Looks like we got Ladybuff, Lebebe, Skitty, Bidu, Combi, Ralts. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, those are from the flowers. Okay, maybe that's a mechanic that we'll learn. I'm like, I don't know about no flower mechanic. And we'll learn it very quickly, I'm guessing. It's not the mechanic, it's, you know, the, okay, so now hold on. It talked about getting certain Pokemon over here from certain flowers. I didn't see any different color flowers, I'm, so I'm very confused on what it's talking about. Maybe it's somewhere where we don't have access yet? Ooh, Pokeball. Super Potion. Okay. We'll actually take that. What did it mean by... Okay, I guess it doesn't particularly matter. It said we could catch some Pokemon over there through some flowers, but I didn't see any. These are all yellow. This is yellow and red. Okay, so... There are different Pokemon we can find in each. The really rare one... Okay, so the red Flabebe are... Hmm... Red and yellow. Do you think the yellow and reds are pretty easy to find? The hard one is the orange and the whites. Those are really hard to find. All right, but let's go ahead and start catching some of the new Pokemon. We've got a lot to catch, so one by one. Again, man, this game is just amazing, being able to find so many new Pokemon, like, so quickly. All right, will a quick attack kill Skitty? I'm pretty sure it will. It won't... Oh, that was critical. Okay. Um, yeah. Like, in Leaf Green, you know, there was, like, a one, one or two new Pokemon per route. This is, like... Five, six new Pokemon per route, which is absolutely insane. There we go. Alright, Skitty is caught. One out of, like, the nine Pokemon we have to catch, so... 
Yeah. Alright, let's see some Pokedex. It can't stop itself from chasing moving things, and it runs in a circle, chasing down its own tail. Alright, cool. Skitty. Um, I don't know if I'll, like, take the time to try to get the rare Flabebes. I don't really particularly care about getting rare ones. If I get it, I won't say no. But honestly, I'm gonna look for a single Flabebe and probably call it a day. Um, so right now we're in the yellow. Let's see what else. Okay, there's the Flabebe. Okay, and the yellow clout, the yellow one is pretty common here, so that's normal. Not one of the rare ones, but we have to look for a lot of other Pokemon, so the chances of encountering one of the rare ones is there. And you know what? If I see it, I might catch it. You know, especially the white one. If I see a white Flabebe, I'm definitely catching it. Um, just because the white one is the 1%. The orange one is a 4%. So they're both rare. But the white one's definitely a... Oh, you dummy head. But one of them is quite a bit rarer than the other one. 4 to 1% is like four times the chance, you know. I don't think it's how math works, but I'm pretty sure that's how math works. Alright, here we go. Alright, cool. There's our Flabebe. It draws on and controls the hidden power of flowers. The flower Flabebe holds is most likely part of its body. Cool. Let's see what else we can get. Alright, there's the Ladybug. Alright, I'm scared I'm gonna kill it. Well, let's hit the quick attack anyway. Whew, we're right on that cusp of killing it. I'm glad we're not, though. Let's go ahead and uh, take another ball. One, two. All right, there we go. All right, let's go, Ladybug. When the weather turns cold, lots of ladybug gather from everywhere to cluster and keep each other warm. Alright, let's keep looking for more Pokemon, but really quickly, I gotta respond to the text. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, keep searching for things. Maybe something new? Oh, the Ralt, the 5%. You absolutely love to see it. Now, please, this is the Pokemon I really don't want to kill. It's 5%. No, it's the 5%. Why'd you crit? Frogadier, you absolute dummy, dude. Why? That's the 5% Pokemon. No, dude. Why would you do that? Oh. Mm. Okay, we got another combi, but it's another male. If it doesn't get killed, I'll... Okay, I'm gonna catch it just because it didn't get killed. You know, we might as well. Um, but I definitely want to be looking for a female one. So I could get Vespa Queen. Or Vespa Queen? Vespa Queen? I think it's Vespa Queen. So once again, we're technically looking for now either a rare full baby or a female combi. We have both of the dex entries, but we might want to be looking for those just for you know, completion's sake, I guess. The trio together is together from birth. It constantly gathers honey from flowers to please Vespa Queen. It is Vespa Queen, okay. And once again, we will need a female for that. But I'm pretty sure the females are much, much rarer than the males. We already have a ladybug, right? I'm pretty sure that's one we already caught. Okay, so we're gonna run. And I definitely think I know what grass Pokemon we're gonna be using on our team, and it's actually here. Um, so when we find it, I'll tell you guys what I want to use. But, like, again, there's already so many cool Pokemon that, like, I want to use. Um, like, that Ralt, having a Gardevoir would be amazing. Um, 
I want to use a one Pokemon that I won't say until we find it. Um, that Riolu I want to use already. Okay, another Fubeo, but it's yellow. White flipping the one percent. All right, we definitely have to catch it. It is a one percent flabebe. Maybe a premier ball for the premier Pokemon. All right, please stay in the premier ball. No, why? Why did he always have to play with me like that? So close. It would have been really cool to have the white Flabebe and a white Premier Ball, but whatever. But you have a normal ball. If I'm, I'm gonna kill it. Honestly, I probably won't kill it if I hit it. But I just, it's a one percent, man. Like, do you really want to risk right now? Out of all times, do I want to risk it on the one percent? I'm gonna keep throwing Pokeballs at it. I. I'm gonna, like I said, my budget, my budget is Pokeballs. Please. Dude, why are you so hard to catch? Like, you're just the Flabebe, you really shouldn't, this shouldn't, this shouldn't be the case. Come on, please. Holy, man. Alright, but that's fine. We got ourselves the rare Flabebe. That's all that matters to me. We got a we got a poopy Flabebe, and we got a rare Flabebe. Anyone evolving? No, okay. Alright, anyone evolving? No. Okay, so now we just need the Ralts and Bidoo. Flabebe, but yellow. Another Ralts. Okay, well, we can't kill it this time. Okay, we can't kill it this time. So, oh my gosh, dude, 13 Pokeballs already. We run out of Pokeballs so quick. I mean, partly because the last three Pokemon have each taken like five balls. I'm hoping Ralts, yes, just a single ball. That's all we need. I remember seeing a couple episodes ago that oh, Pokemon are so easy to catch in this game. Psych. All right, we got ourselves a Ralts. It, if its horns capture the warm feelings of people or Pokemon, its body warms up slightly. Slightly weird, but okay. Okay, so all we need is two more Pokemon. Um, actually, just one, because that's exactly what we need. That's exactly what I was looking for. Um, because really, um, the only other one we need is a female Combi, and I don't even know if I can find it here. I'm just gonna be completely honest. But we have the Rolls, the Flabebe, the Bidu, the Skitty, and the Lady Up. The Lady Buck. Alright, and there's the Bidu. Alright, we are actually kind of cash here. We don't have any rods or anything like that, so. Um. Yeah, we're good. That is actually all the Pokemon, and when it feels the sun's warm touch, it opens its buds to release pollen. It lives alongside clear pools. Now, hey. If I can find a female combi kind of while just going through the um, route, that'd be cool. Um, very quickly though, I'm, I have to go heal Frogadier because he took some hits from the Flabebe. And actually, I should probably buy more balls too. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need more balls. I mean, I have like 10, so I'm not in like dire need, but um, I definitely should get some. So let's go ahead and um, do that. Bing bonk. Let's go over to here. This man has gotten so much of my money, it's nuts. Oh, I forgot that we had no money. Alright, well, that means we have to go get more money. I can't catch a bunch of Pokemon and not do any of the actual fighting. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get through the... Through here. Now, there's mazes and stuff where we can... Oh, so fast. I needed you to slow down there, 
buddy boy. Okay, maybe I can use my... I gotta go on T. Gotta slow down a bit there, bud. Yeah, and plus, I don't need to spend any money on potions, because if you guys have seen the amount that I'm finding on the ground, I basically don't even need them. I do want... So, if I'm gonna be... Oh, Great Ball, that'll come in handy. For one really pesky Pokemon that I'll have to eventually get. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this patch here, although I'm... Oh, there's like nothing at the end there? Okay, Lady... Lady Buff. I do not need you. I do not need you, but that's okay. thought there would be something at the end there. Apparently not. Do we have to really go all the way, like, back? Okay. Well, let's just walk through here. We're definitely gonna encounter... We didn't encounter anything. Okay. Well, that's an easy one to grab. Ooh, and a repel. That might be useful for later, because, again, those are pretty expensive overall. Well, I could have just done the other route, but, hey. A, f a f red Flabebe. Now, here's the thing. I'm not gonna catch every color of Flabebe, just because they're... Look, there is not really much of a point, let's be honest. Like, I'm gonna try to, like, 100% the game in the Pokedex, but, like... Maybe I'll do that later. I don't know. But right now, as of currently, I do not need every single color for Bebe. But I will need to fight that guy for the shmoney. For sure. First, we get ourselves an antidote. Which, once again, I will take any items, including an antidote. Right, I'm gonna need you to come back up. I'm warning you, youngster. My core fish here has some sharp pincers. You are challenged by Gardener Wheaton. You got a gardener? Ooh, that's a cool core fish you got there, bud. Wish I could steal it from you. Alright, um... I know it's not gonna be super effective, but I'm hoping we're just strong enough to maybe kill it. No. Oh, Bobo's definitely not gonna hurt me that much, that's for sure. Frogadier, go to level 20. Smoke screen? Um, no. Yes, I don't I don't need smoke screen. Oh, he cut us right down to size and $640. You know we take those any day of the week. Let's go back to my walking controls here. Alright. Well, we got some battles, and once again. A little low on the funds, so... I love Pokemon battles, they're even better if you don't stop skating. Dude, no. Roller Skater Kalita. We got a Fletchling. Alright. Mm, a Water Pulse will be perfect. Quick attack. Don't do that. Do not do that. Alright, we defeated Kalita. Thank you, Kalita, for your money. Alright, where's your other- yeah, I need to fight you too. The bet I battle just like I skate, non-stop victory is the only way for me. Is it though? Ronald. Alright, what do you got? Pidgey? I like your Pidgey. I like Pidgeys. Pidgeys are pretty fun. Alright, Kakuna level 10. When does Kakuna evolve? Is it 12? 12 or 14 or 16? Wow, I've got some crazy Pokemon there. Mind if I put some roller skates on them? No, you cannot put roller skates on it evolves now. Apparently, it's ten. I, I thought it was nine. Or, I thought it was nine. Apparently, it's ten. Okay. Fair enough. Well, that's one Pokemon we kind of cross off our list. All right, we get ourselves a Beedrill. Why do my hands are like that? 
Congrats, your Kakuna evolved into a Beedro. And you learn Fury Attack. Very cool. Um, Where are we going next? Is this still the same route? Oh, this is the same route, isn't it? Alright, well, for the sake of... I know this is like almost like... I'm trying to save every piece of XP. Let's go out and trade out Kakuna right now for something else. You know what? Let's go ahead and grab Fletchling. So, first... Yeah, let's just grab Fletchling. That's fine. We can go ahead and get that. If we can get a decent level of Flyer, honestly, that wouldn't be the worst thing on the planet. So, Oh, and I probably should have healed while I was there, but honestly, not the biggest deal ever. Alright. So, we got a few more fights. There's nothing over there. I love my Pokemon. I love my Pokemon. Challenge my Polka fan on yes. I love how she has a full baby in her hand, but like, oh, she probably has a full baby here and um, in her three Pokemon. I'm hoping a pound of, of course it protects. Your butthead. All right, pound it. Nice. Alright, Zigzagoon to level 10. Burmy. Oh, no, I do not want to switch Pokemon. Different type of Burmy. Okay, so this battle is meant to show, hey, by the way, there's different types of Burmies. That's pretty cool. Now, I know later in the game, the Pokedex gets split up into three, like the Coastal, the Mountainous, and the Central. I wonder if you find... Um... Do you find different Burmy in those three climates? I think that's kind of the deal, right? Alright, got the... What's in level four? And then probably the last form of the Burmy, right? Yes, the... I think that's probably... I don't know which one that is, so I'm gonna stop talking, but... It's one of them! Is that the... No. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna... I'm, I don't know, so I'm gonna stop talking. Fletching in a level 5. You and your Pokemon look like you have something stronger than mere love. No? <laughs> nah, I don't like them that much. I'm just gonna be 100%. I don't really like them that Not that much. Alright. Po found a poison barb. What the heck does that do? Hold on. That could be decent. Is that... Can we... Is that like... Prevents poison? Oh, boosts the power of poison types. Okay, well, we can put that on, um... Probably a Badoo. I can tell by the look on your face that you just love Pokemon. Ooh, Pokefan Gabe! He's got a little child of him. In a Pancham costume. Alright, Pichu, you're about to get water pulsed, my friend. level 6. Quick attack. Pikachu. No, we'll, we'll keep off Froggadier. Well, Froggadier is going to be our main Pokemon, really, up until we can get Starmie, so. Which, we got to get the Super Rod. No, Good Rod. Not the Super Rod, just the Good Rod. I don't know when we'll be getting that, but hopefully soon. Hopefully I didn't just, like, miss it. But we haven't really gotten to, like, a water area yet, so... You really do love Pokemon. Okay, so I think if we go this way, we probably... Ooh. Hey there, have you heard of the Pokemon called Flabebe? Oh, I see, it's registered in your Pokedex. This is what I would expect from one of the professor's hand-picked Pokemon trainers. Flabebe is now brace yourself with Fairy-type Pokemon. Fairy is a new Pokemon type This turned... Huh? And we've been battling Fairy-type Pokemon against other types of Pokemon at Professor Sycamore's request. My name's Cena. It's a beautiful name for a beautiful lady. 
on Dexio. Two years ago, Professor Sycamore trusted me with a Pokedex. You could call me a Pokemon Voyage veteran. If you'd like, I'll show you the way to the lab, so come along now. No, not yet. Oh, well, don't be shy. Okay, come talk to me. I'll go to the lab. Okay, I have not finished battling the people in here, so not yet. I will go in a second, but I gotta fight these children first. Hey, listen, I'm gonna win this battle. Probably not. Pretty school in Mia. Oh, yeah, Bidu. I Bidu. I should probably, um, use one of my own. Um, I probably won't kill it with Pound, but... Oh, we will. Okay, cool. Alright, got some Pidgey level 13. It should probably go into Pidgeotto pretty soon, actually. Come on, no fair, you weren't supposed to win. Eh, that's not how it works, bud. Alright, where's that other child? Okay, I beat this person. I need to beat this child. Check it out. I just traded for a cool new Pokemon. Alright, let's see how cool it really is, Adrian. Bro, my man's got scammed. He's probably like, hey, you got a, you got a Riolu? Yo, let me get that Riolu for this uh, cool new fish Pokemon. Everyone everyone loves him. Everyone, everyone's talking about him. Saying that, it actually survived my pound while the Badoo didn't, so... What does that say about Magikarp? Maybe Magikarp is the true, true winner. Alright, Badoof to 11. Splish Splash, Splish... Hey, hey, you know what? He loves his Pokemon. And to be fair, what more can you ask for? He loves his Pokemon, right? Alright, um... Okay, Skates. Maybe the Skates are not the way to go up in here. Alright. Nope. Let's go back to get off my skates so we can go through these. Ooh, an Aether. That's gonna be useful later in the game. Right now it's not super useful because all of my moves have like 30 PP, but later when, you know, I get like a really strong one that has like only 5 moves, it will be. Behold these glorious moves that have been honed and perfected in the garden. A gardener Fabian. Another Corphish. Why do gardeners like Corphish? Seems like a really weird Pokemon. Yeah, I like Corphish. It's a water type. Why don't you get a grass type? You're a gardener. Get a... Is Corphish a grass water type? I don't know. I don't know. At this point. Oh, no, because it's using bubble. I mean, maybe I get it. Corphish has pincers, so you could, like, trim bushes? Maybe that's the angle they're trying to get at, but it seems like a really weird angle to get at. Frogadier to level 21. And I do gotta be careful because it can only go up to 30 before it starts disobeying me, so I gotta be a little careful here. Um, no. We, we don't need big dull eyes on Ziggy Zagoon. Looks like your combination with your Pokemon is even more honed than mine. Thanks for your money, guy money okay so now we gotta go up in here for an item no there's one more battle we gotta take against this guy Barter way is famous for these head okay I don't I can't read what you're saying speak English all right Grover what do you got another core fish again is it the pincers that cut Trim hedges, is that what the pincers are about? Let's see how much a water pulse would do compared to a pound. Oh, epic. Alright, I'm pro when it comes to gardens. You're a pro when it comes to Pokemon. Thanks, bud. Netball? That's is that for birds? I think it's for birds specifically, not bugs, right? Or, no wait, it's for birds, bugs, and something else, I think. If I remember correctly. I, a lot of these bowls I've never seen before because I haven't played these newer games, but... Hey, um, yes, okay. We are all good here. The only thing we didn't get is a female combi. But I don't even know if we can get one of those, so I'm honestly, like, not even mad about it. 
No, I wanted to talk to that guy. Um, okay. Here, take this TM for return. Okay. You'll be in Limio City. Go on already. Wait, I want to talk to this guy. Um, oh, okay. Can you give me something? Okay. Let's go through the light, I guess. Alright, this is the big city that I've seen in, like, trailers and stuff, so that's kind of cool. Oh, and it's, very, it's a little trippy as far as its angle. Because I know you can go both ways, right? Go on ahead and wait in front of the lab for you. Follow her that way to the lab. Okay, so that's the lab right there. Very cool. Do I have to go that way? Okay, I can go both ways. Ooh. Ooh, there's one of these things. Skiddo. Ooh. Can I just walk? Okay, I'm like, man, that skating was a little too much. Sorry, this black guy can't go any further. Okay, so it'll it should have just stopped us from going this way. Okay, will it switch me around? Hello? There we go. I'm like, what in the world? Little movie place? Welcome. Um, it's just a restaurant. Okay, so we can't go in here until we dine. I don't particularly want to dine. Maybe we'll come back and do this later. I don't particularly know what we have to do there. Okay, this is the park. Will it let me not to go there yet? Okay, yes. It won't let me until I go to this stupid lab. But it won't stop me from checking out all the places. Pokemon Miles, you can get those points by Street Pass. Okay, well, I'm... Um, not on a Nintendo, so... I was playing Pokemon and me, a Pokemon of someone I passed by came in and play with us too. Okay. Nothing super useful there, that's for sure. What about in here? Um. Okay. That's cool. Nothing too useful yet. Can I go up? Where does this take me? Alright, we're gonna go to two. Let's go to, let's go see what's up in two. Hmm. Hello, I'm a garbage collector. I'm your trash can over Kalos. Okay, I should go home now. Why well, jumped here? I hope that's correct. I don't know. Don't speak. Um. Okay, whatever. These guys are all boring. I don't even know why I came up here. Yeah. Okay. Um. Fair enough, I guess. Um, so we went there. Is this a door? No, that's not a door. What do you, why do you look so weird? Okay. This building is a Sycamore Pokemon lab. Let's go inside. Can I go somewhere else first? I don't want let me go that way. Can I go in this door? This is, oh, this is the Pokemon Center. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and buy some more Pokeballs while we're here. We'll buy, like, three Pokeballs, or Great Balls. And then the rest, we'll just buy Pokeballs. Yeah. Once again, we need a lot of those, so. And let's heal our Pokemon while we're here, too. I don't know if I healed them already. for waiting, no problem. Um, okay, 
There's a lot of routes outside of this city, so that's gonna be a lot of random places. Okay, so, yeah, I'm guessing, no, you're not gonna let me lose your blackout. I know, I know, leave me alone. And I'm not gonna check out this orange place, because I know it's probably just like a movie place. I don't really need to see it, to be honest. You traveled a long way from Vannyville, but you're finally here. The professor can't wait to meet you. You can find him on the third floor, so hop in the elevator. Welcome. Okay. What about you, kid? Right. Is the third floor the only place we can go? Okay, well, let's go to the second, and then we'll go to the third. Thank you. Thank you for the luxury balls. Yep. Luckily, I'm not very, not super new to Pokemon, so. Always researching the heal stations? Okay, so I have to come. I'm guessing I'll probably have to come back later and deal with something later. To the third floor we go. Bing bong. Hey yo. So we finally meet. Fantastic, you're here. Come this way, won't you? We will. Next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, we're playing some more Pokemon. Ooh, starting off a little. Okay. Um, we're about to go talk to Sycamore, but real quick, I just want to appreciate this music in the background. Um, very much reminds me of Bravely Default. I don't know if they like stole the track, but um, beautiful. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Also very similar to Bravely Default, but um, anyway. Um, so we... Oh! Hey! That's actually extremely useful. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, that's a really useful move, actually, so I'll... Okay, let's just, like, skirt. Alright, Sycamore, what's going on, man? Many thanks for coming all the way to Vannyville Town. I'm Professor Sycamore. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. How's your Pokemon journey going so far? Have you met many different Pokemon? Fantastic. Let me have a look at your Pokedex and see. Hmm, so you've seen 39 kinds of Pokemon in Central Kalos, then. The pages are getting filled in. It's starting to look good. Well, now... We do have a certain, um, I know how to say it, it's just, man, I'm not French, man, leave me alone. I have a good feeling about you. At first, I was thinking of choosing only one child from a town, and I was deciding who to give a Pokemon to. In Vannyville, it was going to be the child of the veteran trainer I know, and then I learned that the Rhyhorn racer Grace and her son were moving there. Here in the Kalos region, you're far away from everything you used to know. It really hit me right there. Then it hit me, I should give you a Pokemon and have you tra travel around Kalos. Oh, it's Shauna. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Fantastic. Now let's all have a Pokemon battle. Your opponent shall be me. Alright. Let's do it. Just so you know, I'm not that tough. You're challenged by Professor Sycamore. Alright, Bulbasaur. That's pretty cool. Pulling out the, the Kanto favorites, huh? Alright, well that's a bad matchup for sure. But not... not particularly that big of a deal. Leech life. Okay, leech seed. Well, it's gonna take some life away from me. Um, hopefully not too much. Oh, it actually was a good bit. That's a little, that's a little scary. Hopefully water pulse can do more than half. Yeah. Alright, we should be able to kill it next turn without a problem. It is a good amount of life, though. Alright, we should be able to kill it with another pound here, though. Problem is, I think it's gonna leech life until, even after it dies, right? I think it leech lives into the next Pokemon. Alright, Fletchling, level 10. Squirtle. It's gonna keep battling. Mm. Let's just do another water pulse because it, it's gonna do more than the pound, even if it's not effective. So, yeah. 
Oh, we even confused it, which is nice. Alright. Defense Rose. Yep, it's still gonna steal some from me, which is fairly annoying. This is actually not that easy of a battle. I'm surprised. They, they kind of stepped up the intensity of the battle pretty quickly. Which is actually very surprising for me. But so far, the rest of the game has been pretty easy. But in its confusion, it's hit itself, so that actually helps quite a bit. Alright, about Ascendant Charmander. This is definitely the easiest one. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a Water Pulse. Bonk. Super effective. Alright, cool. Pidgey to level 14. Haha, <laughs> you're too much for me. You really are something, aren't you? And I received 1400. I think I've about figured it out. Figured what out? David, you're an interesting Pokemon trainer indeed. It'd be fantastic if you took another Pokemon with you. Here, pick one. Alright. This is a pretty easy decision. So look, y'all know... Squirtle is my preferred starter. I love Squirtle. Squirtle is what I picked in Leaf Green. But, because I picked in Leaf Green, I do not want to choose Squirtle. But, y'all also know that I don't very much like Bulbasaur in the slightest. I I just don't like Bulbasaur. It's, Bulbasaur's never been my thing. So, we're left with Charmander. And honestly, just, I like Charmander too, so really not that big of a deal. So yeah, Charmander is what we're going with. You pick Charmander then, I see, that's simply wonderful. Um, oh, we gotta literally send one away. Um, crap. Alright, Zigzagoon, go away. Received Charmander. Would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? Nah, I'm good. Oh, I see, you're not going to give your Pokemon a nickname. Then. Since you chose Charmander, I'll give you this Mega Stone. Charizide X. Come now, you two, pick your Pokemon. I don't know which one to pick, it's so difficult. You'll be together for a long time, so just take your time. Well, I've got a feeling everyone will show up soon. Hi, Professor Sycamore. What's this, everyone is already here? Wonderful, everyone's all here, so now that we're all here, I'd like to say a few words. Be the best trainer you can be. At the same time, remember to have fun traveling with your Pokemon. Also, I want to ask for your help in solving the Kalos region's biggest Pokemon mystery. The secret and potential of Mega Evolution. A new kind of evolution that occurs in battle. That's why I gave you that Mega Stone just now. It's an important clue. Mega Evolution, what should we do about the Pokedex? Trevor, my lad, if that's what best trainer means to you, then I want you to go out there and complete the Pokedex. If you're investigating Mega Evolution, why don't you check out a campfire town? The town has a lot of history. You might find a hint there. Now listen, if you visit many places to complete the Pokedex, you will see Pokemon with many ways of living and meet people with many ways of thinking. First, accept the ways of living and thinking that sometimes conflict with your own, and think about what's really important. This will truly broaden your horizons. Mastering evolution will definitely set me apart from other trainers. Now listen, okay. So, Seri is Serena our... Is Serena our rival, or is she? Well, anyway, I think we can basically skedaddle, right? We're good? Peace out, Girl Scout, right? Let's get out of here. Um, so definitely, I'm going to play really the route of catching them all. That's what's important to me. So I will be able to meet them soon then. Yes. The children chosen by the professor. I wonder what potential they have. Ah, here's one of them now. That's David. David, come here a sec. Oh, you received a Pokedex from the professor then. How wonderful. This is a wonderful thing indeed. You are one of the chosen ones. I am Lissandre. I have tried to learn as much about Pokemon as I can. Help build a brighter, brighter future. Professor Sycamore has taught me so much. Oh, I see you have a hollow caster. Knowledge is powerful after all. Put it to good use. Now listen, is a it is vital that this world become a better place, and the people and Pokemon chosen to make the world better must work tirelessly to achieve this goal. Well, I'll be off. Please give Professor Sycamore my best. My desire is for a more beautiful world. Still, I wonder what kind of beautiful world uh, Lissandre desires. 
Is this a great big Kalos region? There are, in this great big Kalos region, there are many different Pokemon. I hope getting a Pokedex gives you a chance to learn about them. I hope so. Big D, there's a place I want to go check out. So, I'll see you around. There's something I want to talk to you about. I'll be waiting for you in Cafe Soleil, neighbor. I wonder what Serena wants to talk about. Why couldn't she just use the Holocaster? No clue, but it seems hush hush. I am curious about what's going on, but we should probably stay out of it. Hey, Big D. To get to Campfire Town, leave the lab, turn left, and go straight. That cafe Sir was talking about is the is that way too. Okay, so leave, go left, and go straight. Limoe City may be very large, but if you stay on the main streets, you shouldn't get lost. I'm gonna go on a little walk. The streets sure wind and wander here. Oh, just so you know, Camp Fear Town, Camp Freer Town, and Cafe Soleil are all over this way. Okay. South Boulevard. Alrighty. Big D, check this out. You can make trainer PR videos here. Alright, um, I don't really want to do that. Alright, what's over here? I guess that's where we get our haircut, right? That's probably to Route 5? What is this? Oh, I just saw it. This is the haircut place. I don't need a haircut, so that's fine. Did you come here for a sec? Sure, I guess. If you want to grab some coffee or something. Oh, it's Lissandra. It's Lissandra. Lissandre? Lissandre? Yeah. And is that Diantha? Just so you know, neighbor, Lissandre is the head of the Lissandre Labs, which created the Holocaster video messaging device. You already, you already know who Diantha is, right? She's one of the most famous movie stars in the world, after all. I wonder what the two of them are doing together here. You played a young girl so wonderfully in your debut on the silver screen. Wouldn't you rather remain young and beautiful forever and always play such roles? What a strange question. Why would I want to play the same old roles forever? Youth may be beautiful, but it's not all there is to life. Everything changes. I want to live and change like that too. So I look forward to playing different roles as I get older. You were chosen to be a movie star, correct? Isn't it your duty to be forever beautiful? Everything beautiful should stay that way forever. I would make this world unchanging and eternal so all beauty will last forever. I can't stand the thought of, a, of the world becoming uglier. Oh, hello, David. This is Diantha, one of the most accomplished movie stars in Kalos. She moves in magnitudes with her excellent acting, which is to say, she dedicates her life to making other people happy. Oh, if only everyone was like her. What a beautiful world this would be. You'll excuse me. And who are you two? My name is Serena, and this is David, right? I heard Lissandre call you that. You both have lovely names. Oh, and you're both trainers. Don't your Pokemon look happy? I'm a trainer myself in my off time. I look forward to us battling someday. Cool. Hmm, I guess if you're a Pokemon trainer, you battle everyone, no matter who they are. Well, that's right. I have something to ask you, neighbor. Would you be willing to compete with me? Compete with me to see which one of us will become stronger. I know we set off on our journey just after we arrived in Vannyville, but we are neighbors, and I think it would be fun to have a competition with you. Just so you know, I won't lose, though. Alright. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Do I not get to fight you? Um. Okay, apparently she didn't. She wants to fight, but not now. Alright, that's fine, I guess. Later. Alright, so now we can continue left. What is this? Is this another cafe? Okay, apparently it's another cafe. Um, long. I literally have no idea what he's talking about. Um. Alright, whatever, man. Let me actually see what the little kid wants. Um, okay, I'm fine, actually. Wait. Okay, I was gonna say... I don't think I can do anything like that. Real quick, I haven't saved in a hot minute. I should probably save here. Oh, it auto-saves. Never mind, I'm a dummy. Okay, I'm guessing I still can't go in this direction, right? Yeah. It's not gonna let me go towards the middle for quite a while, it seems. It's completely understandable. 
now we have Route 5 earlier, so we can still go there. Wait, Route 5 is where we came from, no? No. Okay. Okay, so that is a new place. What happens if we keep going this way? Okay, it will not let us go this way, right? Sorry, this is Black Cow, you can't go any further. Okay, so I'm guessing then we have to go down Route 5. And that'll bring us to the other towns. So I guess that's fine. Let's go ahead and go that way. Hello, clip received. So check this out. I'm on Route 5 right now, and I'm just hopping with wild Pokemon. Hurry and come check it out. Well, I'm trying, bud, but you called me. Let me let me go. Alright, and we actually do have a lot of new Pokemon here. Hey. Nice to meet you, friend. They call me Mr. Bonding. Ever heard of O Powers? The expression of yours tells me you haven't. Don't worry, I'll tell you all about it. O Powers are mysterious forces that have all kinds of useful effects. They can make your Pokemon stronger or even help you get more money. Any friends you have nearby will also benefit them. They truly are mysterious powers. Let's get started, shall we? It's bonding time. Can I use attack power and defense power? Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I can use those considering I'm not connected to the Nintendo platform, but. Um, let me make sure these guys don't have anything to give me. Okay. Into the town we go. So. Ooh. That's a. That's a whole Lucario there. Wait, Lucario! Sorry about that, are you okay? I was just doing some special training with my Lucario and all of a sudden I dashed off. Hey Lucario, what's going on with you? Did you get drawn in by this boy's aura or something? Well, it seems like Lucario likes you. Lucario can read people auras. I guess something in your aura has made this one take a liking to a stranger. The Sucario is always getting worked up in battle with the other one. Maybe it's just been waiting for a trainer to appear who's strong enough to challenge it. Oops, sorry. That was such a role. I forgot to even introduce myself. I'm Karina, the Shaller G City Gym Leader. If you're collecting gym badges, I'm sure we'll be battling sooner or later. I look forward to it. I hope you know how to roll with the punches. Alright. Coolio to me. Alright, so quickly... Okay, so there's standard walking, there's purple flowers, and there's horde battles. Okay, so I don't know the difference between them, to be 100% honest. But, what is this? Oh, this is literally like, skate park. You like, practice. Can we do like, a grind? Okay, apparently I... Oh, I need to- Oh, I need to hop up on it, don't I, Gongs? How do I hop up on it? Can I? Sick. Alright, so I was like, wait, I can I can hop up on it, right? That's pretty cool. Alright, so we got a so we got a couple of bushes and we got a couple of fighters, but Alright, ooh, Pancham. 10%. Another very, very cool Pokemon that I want. Um Probably won't end up fighting with it. Also, I hope I just don't kill it with a quick attack. It shouldn't. Yeah, okay. I was like, these Pokemon are a little stronger than the ones before, so I didn't think I would kill it. I just really need Frogadier to not uh, crit, like he seems to like to do when I'm catching new things. Okay. Well, we got in the red, so it should be pretty easy to catch now. And we've got a... we got... Ooh, we got a lot of balls, actually. I forgot that we got, like, a random net ball, a couple of luxury balls, so... We do have, you know, things lying around to catch stuff with nowadays. Alright, there's our Pancham. Alright. And we got plenty of other Pokemon to catch, so we're nowhere near done. It does its best to be taken seriously by its enemies, but its glare is not sufficiently intimidating. Chewing on its leaf is its trademark. Cool. We love Pancham. What is down here? Okay, there's literally nothing down there. 
Oh, we can do a few more encounters because there's going to be, again, a plethora of new Pokemon. Alright, a Skiddo. Skiddo is very cool. And I know it has some, I think, other uses in the game, actually. If I pound it, it won't die, right? Okay. Alright, tackle me back. Um... Pokeballs. Yeah, let's go and send out a Pokeball at it. One. Two. Three. Don't. Ah, thank you, Skiddo. Alright, Skiddo is a homie. And it didn't mess with us. Surprised we haven't seen a Bunnelby yet, but hey, we'd love to see it. Thought to be one of the first Pokemon to live in harmony with humans, it has a placid disposition. That's cool. Skiddo's a homie. He's a real homie. Alright, we got... Who else we got? Frufru. Or Furfru. Not Frufru, it's Furfru. And this is the one Pokemon that, like, we can, like, change its hairstyle and stuff, which is pretty cool. Ooh, has some strong defense, it seems. Now, will my pound kill it? You know, I'm not gonna... Let's, let's just do a quick attack it again. Especially if, you know, he crits on accident. Let's go ahead and go to the bag. Pokeball. Throw a Pokeball at it. Ooh, Fufu. Didn't even take a chance. He jumped out of that boy so quick. One, two, three. Thank you, Fru Fur Fru. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it Fru Fru for the rest of my life, but it's actually Fur Fru. And also another thing that I like noticed is you actually get XP for catching, which wasn't the case in Leaf Green. If you catch something, you don't get XP. Trimming its fluffy fur not only makes it more elegant, but also increases the swiftness of, of its movements. Cool. Alright, let's maybe do a couple more encounters and then we'll probably head off. Another Pancham. Alright, well we don't need another Pancham, so let's go ahead and just uh, run away. But, let's go ahead and... Probably do some double battles here. People say we're like two peas in a pod. They say we're two halves of a whole. Now, I don't know who my second Pokemon is. Twins, Faith, and Joy. Minute and Plus. I don't know who my other one is, so... Oh, Bunnelby. That's who that is. Alright, Bunnelby. You're actually fine. He's level 12. We're gonna Water Pulse. Plus hole. And we can go ahead and uh, double slap the mine in. Quick attack. Oh, and I was like, that does a lot of damage, but it just critted, so that's fine. Bonk. Easy. Level 22. There we go. Alright. PG level 15. I'm pretty sure it rolls at 16, right? So. Bonk. Ooh, that, like, does nothing. Okay. Fair enough. A water pulse. Ooh. Now, question. Will it water pulse the wrong thing? I didn't think it would. It's a child-friendly game. Even if I clicked the wrong place, it would, it would go to the right one. I'm gonna be level 13. Um, do I want to learn Mud Slap? No, keep old moves. Yes, I don't want to learn Mud Slap. That's fine. Again, not like he's going to be a Pokemon that I'm going to be using anyway, right? So. Charmander level 12. Aww. I'm sorry. Okay. Nothing down here. And there is the guys. Gulpin! I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to say it. I want to say it, but I'm not going to say it. Alright, I'm going to pound the Gulpin. Hopefully not kill it. Okay, good. Ooh. The game did a little... Did its thing again. Alright. Poison gas. Oh, don't poison me, you butthead. Why? 
Why would you do something like that? I'm gonna have to use an antidote. I'm gonna pound you again. Alright. Um. Hopefully, he gets caught in the first ball just so I don't have to deal with the poison for too much longer here. Alright, gulping. One. Oh! Critical catch. Cool. You'd love to see it? Um, no. That's fine. No, well, keep old moves. That's fine. We don't need agility. Agility's not that useful. It has a small heart and brain. Its stomach compromises most of its body with enzymes that can dissolve anything. Alright, we actually caught a surprising amount of the Pokemon. We have most of them. But there's another one that we need. And then, all we have left is really the rare ones on this route now. Which is the Abra and the Plusle. Those are the only ones left. But they are the 5%ers, the hard ones. Um... Alright. Oh, I did not de-poison Frogadier. Alright, well, remind me to do that, guys, in the comments. Um, let's see, I'm trying to see if there's anything... We can find Scraggy in Hordes, but I don't particularly know how to do Horde battles, so... I'll have to figure that out in a minute. Alright, another Pokeball. Ourselves a Doduo. Epic. A two headed Pokemon that was discovered as a sudden mutation. It runs at a pace of over 60 miles per hour. That is very fast. Alright, oh, wait. I told you guys to remind me in the comments. Um. The antidote, use. And then let's also have a super potion. Use. Right, there we go. Just so I don't want to go. I don't want to like go back and heal. All right. Only thing we're looking for now is Abra and Plusle. Now both of these are five percenters, so it's gonna take a little bit. This is one of the rare Pokemon. All right, here we go. An Abra. Now here's my deal. I don't know if it's like the original games. Does it? Does it do the dash the second it doesn't get caught? Let's figure it out, I guess. Psych. We won't have to do that. We'll just catch it. Yeah, I'm scared. It's it's just like the originals where it dips the second you don't you know. Catch it. We'll have to figure that out another day, though. It sleeps for 18 hours a day. It uses a variety of extra sensory powers, even while asleep. Cool. I love Abra, and I love Alakazam. Funny enough, um, I took like a just a 10 minute break in between this episode, or like between the clips, and um, what I was doing, I was beating Giovanni in Pokemon Go, and the the second character was Machamp, so I used an Alakazam to counter that Machamp, so I do love me myself a little and oh, also the, you guys are probably watching these months, but um, the Mega Raid just came out for Alakazam, so um, that's another thing that is happening. Okay, so really quickly, um, the only thing we need is Plusle and Minin. Now, I'm pretty sure I can get those from Horde Pokemon, if I'm correct. Ooh. So, really quickly, let's go back and grab our Combi. Which, I think has that. So, let's do that.
for now, let's just go ahead and put away Bidoof. And let's grab Combi. Sweet Scent. Okay, yeah, Combi does have Sweet Scent. Now, I wish I could grab a female Combi. Um, but I will deal with that in the future. Let's go back to where we were at. And see if we can uh, hoard a plus alarm mine in. That might be a much, much easier way to grab both of them, basically, both at once. Because we have every single other Pokemon. Yeah, this one wasn't actually too bad. And also, we need the horde Pokemon for... See, but now, how do I use it? Do I have to... Is that how I use it? That is, okay, cool. Alright, that was the first time using it. Who do we get? Scraggy! Hey, we love Scraggy. That's actually one that I need, so... Um, yeah. Alright, is it gonna intimidate me? Okay, it's not. Well, let's go ahead and, um... Let's chuck a Great Ball at one of the Scraggies. I have to fight every single one of them until... Okay. Well, it looks like I got to kill four of them before I can catch the one, so that's fine. Oh, quick attack doesn't kill it. Oh, dude. Alright. This is gonna take a hot minute. Because every single one is gonna hit me. Oh, this is kind of bad. Okay. Let's... This is gonna be bad. Am I gonna get my, like... I'm gonna get my butt whooped by five Scraggy? This is bad. I have made a mistake, apparently. Okay, there we go. I hit one of them. Alright, now I just need to hit three more. More pocket sand. Another low kick. Those low kicks are gonna start to hurt. Oh, and it was a crit too. All right, let's go ahead and water pulse this one. So much sand. Why is there so much sand? We'll get there. We'll get there. Don't worry. We'll get there. Alright, come on. Please don't miss. This is actually unfair. This is actually unfair. Dude, he keeps avoiding it! Am I gonna die? There we go. Although, I'm kind of setting myself for getting low-kicked and dying here. Alright, Charmander to 13. Don't low-kick me again. Alright, perfect. Okay. I should probably heal myself here. Um, Super Potion. Alright, there we go. I won't die from a low-kick. Amazing. I would have died from that. Alright, cool. I just need to fight a few more of you. Yes, yes. Just keep using your leers and sand attacks, you absolute buttheads. I'll get through each of you at some point. Because I do not have a move that is hurts all of them just yet. And also, I wouldn't want that because I don't want to kill all of them. I only want to kill a few of them. Last one, please don't. Dude, this is gonna kill me. There we go. Alright, last Scraggy. Now I can finally catch it. He's gonna just do one more low kick just to be like that. Alright, Pokeball, here we go. Skirt. 
one. Critical catch. You love to see it. All right, well, there is the Scraggy. Very nice. So now all we need is plus soul and mining. Its skin is rubber elasticity, so it can reduce damage by defensively pulling it with skin to its neck. Very epic. Alright, so, question. Do I just do that again? Do I just uh, use move sweet scent? Just keep using sweet scent? And we just get a different Pokemon each time? Oh, no, no, no. I don't need any of y'all. So I guess I'm gonna keep doing that until I get kind of get what I need here. Okay, I was like, please don't make me battle all of these Scraggy again. They're gonna... No, I didn't mean to walk. I mean, I guess I can get a plus hole this way. I get a plus hole this way. Alright, there we go. I'm um, Actually, that wasn't a terrible thing that I did that because... Uh, now, I don't need to find a plus hole in a horde, I just need to find a mine in a horde. So, actually, thank you, David, for making a mistake, actually. One, two... Ah, you butthead. Alright, Frogadier. Let's go. Oh my... Come on, man. So I just need to find that stupid mining after this, which shouldn't be that bad. Neither of these evolve, so they're kind of useless Pokemon, but gotta catch them all. Come on, man, you're a you're a plusle, dude. How do you keep escaping the balls? You shouldn't be this strong. You gotta be kidding me, man. They're gonna, he's gonna make me run all the way back to the center just to get that paralyzation off me. Alright, thank you. That took only forever. But, we should be able to get mining and horde battles, so, well, we can get that one too. Um, what does round do? Sixty. What is this? Forty. Forty. Oh, th these are both forty. Well, let's get rid of Pound then. Yeah, whatever. They're both forty. I'd rather just quick attack at that point. All right, we learned round. All right, and Pidgey should probably evolve here, right? It chews on friends with pom poms made of sparks. It drains power from telephone poles. Pidgey Evolution? No. Okay. Well, anyway, do we have a Paralyzation Heal? So I don't... Okay, we, I do. I'd rather not have to go back for that. Alright, well... So we just need a Sweet Scent for... Mining, basically. So let's go ahead and do that. And hopefully, again, we need that Mining. Mine? Oh, Okay. Hey, we have a mining in between. That's really all that matters. I'll just kill the rest. Doesn't matter to me. All right, let's kill all the other plusles. I just need the mining. As long as they don't paralyze me. I'm hoping they don't. All right, Fletchling to 14. I'll beat to 10. No. Of course, the first thing it does is paralyze me. Wow, well, that's fine. That's not that big of a deal. Cool. Alright. I'm gonna fight through the Paralyze, and hopefully I can kind of just... Uh, what did that do? Man, 
this is gonna... I feel like this is gonna take a long time with me being paralyzed the way that I am. And if they keep using this play nice thing, dude, come on. There we go. Alright, we got a water pulse off. Wonderful. Down you go. Alright, water pulse. I need to make sure I don't water pulse the mine in or I'm going to be extremely sad. Hey, there we go. Alright, one more attack and we're, we'll be handy dandy here. Charmander to 14. Alright, water pulse. Gotta make sure we water pulse the plusle, not the mining. Okay. Water pulse. Plusle, yes. Alright. A little bit of a hippity hoppity. Bonk. Alright, we just got the mining. And then we have officially caught everything on this route. Let him bag it. Pokeballs. I'm not gonna bother hurting it because I just don't feel like going through all that, so. Thanks. I'm glad I stayed on the first ball here. Okay. There we go. Exposure to electricity for minor and impulsive promotes blood circulation and relaxes muscles. Cool. Alright, guys. Um, that is enough for that. We've officially caught all of the Pokemon on Route 5. Now we actually have to... I think our, our friends are over at the other end. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and heal and then we'll go back there at the start of the next episode. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, we're playing some more Pokemon today. Um, we just finished most of the Route 5 stuff. I very quickly just healed. And then also, I should probably show you guys, I put away a couple of Pokemon. I put away Charmander just because I'll go ahead and evolve him later. Um, but I went ahead and grabbed the Caterpie so we can evolve that. And I also grabbed the Badoo. And actually, the Badoo, we're going to go ahead and give um, the... Where is it at? The... Charizard at X? Okay, that's pretty cool. Yo, where in the world is... Oh, the Poison Barb. Okay, I'm like, what in the world? I know I have it on here somewhere. This video is a uh, Poison Grass Pokemon, so hopefully that Poison Barb will help it as we slowly get it, you know, up. Um, connect to the internet. Nope. Um, Roserade is one of my favorite Pokemon, so it's a pretty high likelihood we'll be using it for a little bit of a long time but anyway um we kind of we caught everything here let's go up to see our friends and see kind of what they're up to my goodness pokemon hordes are certainly intense yeah they're just like a dance teammate of pokemon aren't they funny enough we started using them last episode hey tierno do you ever think about anything else besides dancing nope even during pokemon battles i'm always checking out their moves and then my feet just start moving too i can't help it you know like with sword dance i love it i guess that's why i can never win Hey, it's Big D. Do you know Pokemon know do you do your Pokemon know any sweet moves? Show me in battle. Okay, I guess we're battling them. You're challenged by Pokemon trainer Tierno. Corfish? Why do you have a corfish, dude? You're not a gardener. Put your corfish away. Um Alright, let's go ahead and round kick it. Bonk. Easy. Alright, the rest of your team gained XP. Caterpie's gonna gain a couple right here, so just uh, bear with me here. <laughs> that was some nice footwork. And we got that shmoney, thank you. Good to see you, David. Excuse me, I meant Big D. It really does seem as though Tierno can only think about dancing moves. When Horde of Pokemon popped out, he just stood there watching them. Coming up with the world's best Pokemon dance is my dream after all. I was born to dance. I won't ever stop. Not with moves like this. Seems like he would like TikTok nowadays. That's indeed a perfect dream for you, Tierno. I guess I should show you just as much dedication to my dream of completing the Pokedex then. Oh, Big D. Take this honey, won't you? Taint honey. 
you see, using honey will encourage Pokemon hordes to appear, though if you're going to challenge a whole horde, you may want to use moves that can hit multiple targets. I grabbed Combi for that, now I just have the honey. I kind of wasted my time a little bit, but that's fine. No! Okay, I was like, no, don't go back in the grass. I haven't been able to sleep very well for days. I don't know if I'm up for a battle. Okay, well, considering you Hamish. Oh, he's got a little Kadabra running. All right. That's a little exciting. You absolutely love to see it. Water Pulse it. Bonk. Bunnelby grew to level 15. Um, no, that's fine. I, I don't need. Again, Bunnelby. I'm not using him, so I don't. I don't really need his move set to be like good. Um, oh, we don't need Whirlwind either. That's fine. Pidgeot. Once again, for like some time, I would love to use Pidgeot, but um, I used him in Leaf Green. I'm not gonna use the same Pokemon again, you know. We do level nine. We do level ten. And he learns Spurt. Sure, sure, sure. I knew it. I really got to get some sleep. Actually, maybe same. Okay. Woo, a little bit of lag. Nope, I will not be using the internet. Not right now. Um, what's over here? Okay, those are like fast, fast track lanes, right? I'm working on some synchronized tricks to my Pokemon, but we can't get our timing right. Let me practice against you. Alright, by Roller Skater, Winnie. He's got two Pokemon. Alright, let's go on a Water Pulse it. I wonder when we get the good rod. Alright, when he's about to send out Skiddo. Um, do I want to switch my Pokemon? Nope, I don't. Okay. So apparently... Uh, it's not going to be for a little while. So, fair enough, I guess. What, I didn't kill it? Is the Skittle that strong? I'm going to quick attack it. In the face. Frog here, level 24. Hope oh, we gotta go to a gym soon, because right now level 30s are capped, so we gotta be a little careful here. Caterpie 7, and Caterpie, I'm pretty sure, is gonna evolve right here. Yeah. I knew he evolved at 7. I think he evolves to his third at 10, just like Weedle, so. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Caterpie. We're all waiting. Your time to shine here. Metapod. Very cool. Yes. Learn Harden. The most important move in the game for sure. What is this way? Oh, these are purple flowers. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is still the same Pokemon. Um, yeah. Um, I just really wanted to check if there was an item in the little bushes here. Oh, nope. I like, totally forgot my button layout. Like, I love that when I've been using the same button layout for hours now and I just like randomly forget it. All right, there is a Pokemon ball. That's what I was looking for. And honestly, I don't mind a couple of extra encounters. I know they can be really annoying, but at the same time, I'm just gonna treat them as shiny checks, right? You know, maybe it's gonna be a shiny. You never know. I found an X attack. Very cool. Let's see if we can find a shiny. Shiny paint shiny would be pretty sick, actually. And it's safe to say, if I ever find a shiny, uh, more than likely I'm probably gonna use it um like i know i mean i you guess it's pretty obvious but whenever we can get to a route where we can find starmie i probably won't end up leaving that route until i get a shiny starmie because i want to use a shiny starmie the rest of the game so we're i'm gonna probably be there for like a couple days like in real life a couple days not for you guys 
um, because I will not be leaving until I get that shiny star me. Luckily, um, this game has uh, chain fishing, so it shouldn't be, it shouldn't take me a crazy long time. It should take me like a decent amount of time, but not a crazy long time. Now, I'm not gonna actually do real shiny hunting until very late in the game when I can get the shiny charm and, um, and get like a foreign Pokemon so I can do eggs with and stuff. Um, so basically, the only guarantee is we will get a shiny Starmie, and um, and then of course if we find any in the rand in the wild for random, we'll use those obviously. But yeah, you've been bonked. But you haven't been identified, which is kind of sad. Let's go ahead and quick attack it, so we don't have to deal with anything. Bonk. Very nice. Okay, Metapod level 8. Thanks, Tyson. For your money. Alright, let's, I guess, go back up to see what these guys are doing. The rules of Pokemon Battle are simple. Rule 1, you battle. Rule 2, you win. Alright, Florin. Got a Doduo. Doduo's pretty cool. Honestly, any Pokemon from Kanto, I'm gonna be like, yeah, that's a cool Pokemon. Just because I'm that guy. You have been water post. Hi, Florin. Thanks for your money. Now, I want to jump on this thing. What did that do? Okay. I want to jump on this. Jump, 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 jump. There we go. Home claw. I don't know if that's any good, but thank you. What is home claw? Mm, okay. Cool. I'm surprised Metapod can't learn infestation. That is very weird. Hello? look like a season traveler. I bet you're good at battling, too. <sighs> Just that, my guy? I mean, Sentrits are pretty cool. I like Sentrits. Level 16. Does Fletchling... Um... Does Fletchling evolve here? Badoo 12? You're just as good as I thought. No, apparently he doesn't. Okay. Hi, well, I don't know why I always wear shorts when I walk through tall grass. Why do you wear shorts when you go through tall grass? Uh, Kieta? Pan Sage. Okay. I wish you had a Pan Seer. That'd be- that'd make the fight much easier. No, was a roundhouse. You in the face. With singing, apparently. I still don't understand what that move is, but fair enough, I guess. Alright, Metapod 9. Because they're comfy and easy to wear. The absolute classic line. Okay, that's a tree over there, which I cannot cut yet. So we are in Campfire Town. Holo clip received. Thank you for using the Holocaster. Lissandre Labs developed the Holocaster to make the lives of Pokemon trainers richer, fuller, and more convenient. We hope you'll continue to enjoy the fine services the product provides. Okay. Okay, um, alright, here we go. Let's, I guess, first things first. Go ahead and heal our stuff. Bonk, 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 bonk. 
I love how it shows them on the screen too. That's pretty cool. We, I hope to see you again too, Nurse Joy. Right, who we got? Hey there, I'll give you this. So tell all your friends to come to Camp Your Town, okay? Say less. All right, what do we got down here? All right, just the star piece. But it's not just this item we can sell for a lot of monies. I like monies. Okay, got got to go over there. Right, look, we have enough time in the episode. Let's just check out every building. Welcome to the hotel. Um, I'm, okay, so he does everything in here. Um, take this with you. A full heal. I will gladly take a full heal. Thank you, my friend. Let's swap chairs. Okay, well, I guess we have to see what's upstairs, right? It's like a law. I think it's, a, I think it's like a full law. Oh, nice bed. Oh, uh, nice bed again. I thought I saw an item over at the corner, but... Hey, how's it going, friend? I'm Mr. Bonding, the expert of all powers. Let me ask you, just in case, do you... Um, no. Oh, you received an O-Power. Thank you. Alright, um... Thank you, Mr... Mr. Bond. Um... Uh, blah, 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 something about hot springs. Alright. I should probably have checked that plant for an item. Can I... Okay, I don't know if those hold items in them, but... Is that it? Alright. That whole thing was for Mr. Bond. Alright, then let's go see what's... Popping. It's about time again, huh? That lazy lug will be back. Ooh. Take this, thief. Oh. Thanks. Appreciate it. You can target... Okay, if we... Uh, okay. Cool. Maybe? Can I? How's it going there? I'm Cassius. Check this out. I'm keeping the... No, seriously. Bill over in Kanto asked me to come here and run things for real. Enough with the introductions. Get out there. Catch some Pokemon and put them in the PC. Yo, you got something you want to ask me? Wow. This guy... Oh. This is the guy that runs the servers? Out of Camphier Town. Interesting. Dude, okay. Please. Welcome, welcome. Berry juice. Thanks for the berry juice, friend. I do love me some berry juice. Today, dragon types... Um... Okay, I do not have anything. So we have to bring him certain types of Pokemon and he'll give us stuff, so that's cool. Ooh, that's an Esper. Dude, this town is sick. They're giving me, like, so much stuff. I love it. Every single person I talk to, they're just giving me things. Hey, um, leave without... Okay, so I, I can't leave until I go to the castle. Fair enough. Hi, Big D. An acquaintance of yours. Two visitors to the Shadow Castle. I can't remember the last time we've been so busy. This castle's chateau, if you will, was a manor house of the noble family. It may be a little run down, but that's because there's history to this place. During that history, the owners of this castle gave away a lot of their stuff to everyone. So that's why it feels so empty. That's it? Don't you have anything related to Mega Evolution? That's it. What in the world is Mega Evolution? back again. It's that time of year already? Well, there's nothing I can do about that now. I need to go to Route 7, but please take your time and look around. Alright, Route 7 is, seems like where we gotta go. Alright, but is there anything to find in here? Alright, left side first, I guess. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter what side we go to. Alright, escape rope. Okay. Mm. 
Anything in the doesn't seem to be anything in here. Okay. Let's go down the other end. Yeah, doesn't seem like anything too exciting. Actually, wait, let me just make sure there isn't another dialogue. Alright, Route 7 is apparently where we're going. Alright, we are now on Route 7. Woo. Okay, so let me just quickly open it up. And there are, as expected, um, many Pokemon to find here. Um, annoyingly enough, one of them is Roserade. But that's okay, we'll keep raising our own Bidoo. Okay, so, wait. That's Route 7 above, 6 is that way? They said they were gonna go this way. Oh, six is that way. Seven's this way. Okay. Got it. Hey, mister. This way. This way. I know this is an unexpected request, but I need you to take care of my berry field. Berries are great. One berry can produce more berries. I assure you that you'll f love field work. Sure. Oh, great. Your name's David. Thank you, David. Hooray. I must teach you how to take care of the field right away. Please follow me. Plant a berry in the soft soil. Check the soil if you want to plant a berry in and choose the berry from your bag. Oh, I know. I should give you some berries to plant. Alright. Oh, I might as well give you these berries, too. If you find a berry in front of a huge tree, come here and plant it. Once you plant a berry, the next step is watering. Here, this is for you. A sprinkle a tad. Check the soil where you planted the berry, and if it's dry, water it. Take a care of it, you'll get more berries. Well, David, take a care of field. I'm so relieved my back has been killing me lately. I just can't garden like I used to. We live in a house at the corner of the field. Cool, so we're just gardeners now. Is there anything I could actually benefit from right now? Miracle seed. I should probably stick that into the ground. I don't even know if I can wonder trade. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Let's plant a berry over here. Whoa, too fast, too fast. Yes. Um. Oh, we have a lot of berries. Okay. Yes, I guess let's water it. Alright, so funny enough, I should probably plant all of the berries. But I'm gonna just be 100. I just don't feel like taking the time to plant every single one of them. I've got a, I've got a life to live, so. It's a Snorlax, a big D, what is it? Can I catch it? Here we go again, it's sleeping so loudly. The end of the world wouldn't wake it. Look, it's practically a mountain, right? It's blocked in the road. Come on, Nestor, use the poker flute. Wait, do you even have it anymore? Nope, I handed it over. Or you could say it was taken by the owner of the palace. Huh? What's a polka flute? Basically, the polka flute is what we need to wake up Snorlax, but the polka flute is currently a Parfum Palace. Oh, that's it? All we need to do is go get it then. Come on, Big D, let's go. The Parfum Palace is past Route 6, and maybe at a place like that we might learn something about Mega Evolution. Alright. Do a little skirt. And... Wait a minute. But I want to catch stuff. Will it not let us catch... Oh, there are no fields in Route 7. Okay. Well, then it looks like we first need to look at Route 6. Oh, and Route 6 has some pretty cool Pokemon. Alright. Um, can we go just... Okay, we can just go to the tall grass. Um, this lane actually has two different faces. One is the easy stroll, now there is well, I guess you'll find out about that on your way. Okay. These are all battles? Oh. So we can go the battler route or the Pokemon route. Challenged by a tourist Harika. Well, we'll do both. I do have to fight these people because I do have to, you know, get the shmoney. Um, so we'll do a little bit of both. But this person has three Pokemon, so... 
indeed. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Pikachu. I'm with you. A lot of battles. We'll just keep hitting them. We'll keep hitting them. Oh, no, I actually do not want to switch out Frogadier. Yes, water pulse it. I don't think it will kill it. Scratch. Oh, I should probably just use a quick attack instead, but... Oh, his head. Yeah, his head hurts. Alright, Vunnel B, level 16. Pidgey 18, Metapod 10. He's definitely gonna evolve here. Um, yes. Let's get rid of Grow. And Mega Drain's a pretty good move, so. 880? I'll take that. Free 800. Ah, here's goes. Well, actually, I have two evolutions. Well, Pidgey and Meta Metapod, actually. Also, I'm just, I'm just taking a look at Reddit while we're chilling. All right, we got ourselves a Pidgeotto. Very nice. And we also have ourselves um a Butterfree, which is also very very cool. Free. Very cool. And we should probably swap it out for something, but I don't know if I should I don't know if I want to go back right now. Um hmm. we'll, we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and take on this trainer here still. Why do I travel? Why do I battle? Allow me to demonstrate. I tourist Erico. There's that battle. So, in the tall grass of this area, we can find some really cool Pokemon that, like, Oddish, Sentra, Esper, Honej, Ninkata, Kecleon? There's some pretty radical Pokemon. Ooh, I didn't mean to go in. Alright, Parfum Palace. We'll probably check that out next episode. But first, we do have to catch a few Pokemon. Um... Will you not let me? Let me go through your tall grass, bud. Do I have to walk through it? Why won't you let me through your tall grass? I'm so confused on why you won't let me walk through your grass.
I want to go to your grass. Oh, okay, so apparently I need to go to like over here. That's so weird. Oh, there's some... Okay, I'll fight those people probably next episode. Let's just try to find a few Pokemon. And we'll probably call it a day here. Alright, Oddish. That is one of the new ones. Let's go ahead and give it a little quick attack and hopefully not kill it. Okay, good. Sweet scent. Let's go ahead and throw Pokeball at it. Bonk. Yeah, there are some really cool Pokemon in here. Specifically, that Hone Edge is really, really cool. Ah, there's the Oddish. During the day, it stays in the cold underground to avoid the sun. It grows by bathing in moonlight. Alright, let's catch another one or two, and then we'll... Ooh, Fletchling is evolving. We'll probably, yeah, try to catch one or two, and we'll probably be good for today's episode. I also gotta go to my fiance's house, so... Yes. I'm having a lot of fun playing Pokemon X, though. It's, um, surprisingly fun. Again, you guys know I'm a Gen 1-er, so... It's fun, I like it. Alright, we got ourselves, uh, Fletchinder. Very cool. Um, yes, I do wanna... Let's go ahead and get rid of Growl. One, two, three. Bang, Growl is gone. Thank you. Alright, let's maybe try to catch... Maybe one of the rare ones? Maybe not an Oddish? Ah, you dumb Oddish. Get out of here, man. Alright, come on. Let's do... No, we could probably do at least two more. There we go, a Sentry. We can do that. Very good. Fight. Let's go ahead and do a little quick attack. A little bonk. Oh, you what? Why did it die? Bro, we're not that strong. Come on, man. You gotta be kidding me. We ain't that strong. Game, why do you do this to me? I guess I kind of did it to myself when I hit the send trip, but... Come on. An Esper? That's pretty cool. Um... Don't kill it, please? Okay. Confusion, that's fine. I'm throwing Pokeballs, I don't care if I'm confused. Let's throw a... Just a normal Pokeball, actually, yeah. The Great Bulls are still a little above my pay grade, just currently. Plus, I've just got... Oh, you stupid. I've got so many to catch. I, like, you know, I can't afford... I mean, it also, I guess, depends. You know, if I'm throwing more than three Pokeballs, it might have been better to just do a Great Ball. But at that point, what if it escapes out of the Great Ball? Every Great Ball is technically three Pokeballs. So, like, you know... Economically speaking... You know, it all depends on chance. Alright, cool. We got ourselves an Esper. Let's maybe try to go for one more Pokemon, and then we'll probably end off the episode here. Bidoo to Fort... Does, B Does Bidoo evolve here? The organ that emits its intense psychic power is sheltered by its ears to keep the power from leaking out. I have a suspicion that... Okay. For some reason, I thought Badoo... Is it by Leafstone? Alright, here's the Sentry. In the next episode, we'll catch the other three. 
let's go ahead and just try to throw a great ball at it and call it a day here. Is it worth three Pokeballs here? Thank you. All right, not a waste of a ball. Alright guys, Butterfree to level 11. When acting as a lookout, it warns others of danger by screeching and hitting the ground with its tail. Let's go ahead and uh, do up a quick save and we are going to call it here guys. Um, so thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next episode. Hey everyone, we're playing some Pokemon. Um, we just left out on Route 6, and we're still looking for Hone Edge, Ninkata, and Kecleon. Um, but we do have a little bit of time to find both of those. We might as well just take these battles as we go. Har har har, I can see it on your face. I can feel it in the air around you. Your trainer who loves his Pokemon. Alright, let's do a battle. Now, I don't think I have a decent second in my party. Um, but that's alright. Ooh, we got two Furfrus. Yeah, I got Bunnelby in my second slot. Um, that's fine. Honestly, I would love to give Bunnelby a little bit more XP just so we can, we can get that evolution in and, you know, call it a day after that. Um, why don't we do a Leer? Nah, let's just do a quick attack on Fru on the other Furfru. Okay, that... <laughs> Alright, did nothing. Alright, thanks Bunnelby for absolutely nothing. Although, these Furfurs have some strong defense. Don't, okay, I was gonna, are you gonna headbutt the same Funnel Bee? That is not very nice of you. Why don't we hit him with a... Double Slap? Yeah, let's do that. I don't think it'll kill it. But hey, we might as well try, right? Okay, that's... Aw, oh, come on. Actually, that... Oh, the lowering of attack kind of sucked. Okay, um... We're really going to quick attack that for Fru. Oh, let's do two quick attacks, how about that? Oh, you... Butthead, dude. Sorry, we're going to kill the one that didn't have a... Dude, do I just suck at battling? Hello? Why are these Furfrus so strong all of a sudden? Alright, let's bring in uh, Pidgeotto. Yeah. Why are they so strong all of a sudden? Alright, Water Pulse. That Furfru. Hopefully we can go ahead and gust the blue one. Yeah, it's mostly just said that Water Pulse doesn't actually kill them in one shot. Alright, come on. Alright, Pidgeotto, level 19. And then, um, we might need to go and revive the, um, the Little Bee. Because I do want him to evolve, so I need him alive. But I might. Mm, Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just let other people get some XP. Oh, actually, we need to... Um... We need to actually give back Butterfree also. So maybe we will go back super, super quickly. Dude, Butterfree. Dude, stop. Jesus, man. Now I'm head over heels for your fantastic Pokemon. Alright, we got some sh money for it, too. Alright, I'll be right back. Let me, uh, just, uh, heal and get some new Pokemon. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and withdraw Sentret. Um, let's see. Sentret Zigzagoon? How many more do we need? What about, probably, we could probably, oh, yeah, actually, Bidoof. And Ladybug. Okay, those are the Pokemon that will evolve. Um, I put away both birds because they're gonna need like level 30 something, and I'd rather just do those later in the game when it's easier to get to 30. Um, and then I put away Badoo because that evolves by happiness, and I'll do that later. 
And then I put away, obviously, Butterfree, because it's fully evolved, so... Um, yeah, there we go. Got a new batch of Pokemon to evolve here. Alright, let's go back and keep exploring. Um, I might have to take off my, uh, skates here. Um... Oh, they're... Let's start a secret battle in the tall grass. Okay, I did not realize there'd be people in here. You're challenged by Buji Bridget. Esper. Okay. He's a pretty cool Pokemon. Let's go ahead and fight. Give it a nice little water pulse. Bonk. No. Out of levels. Butterfree. Well, we'll keep in, uh. Keep Frogadier in. Really, because. Hey. Bugs. Long morning. Who else are we gonna put another in the Frogadier? I mean, I should probably train up Badoo's uh, happiness so I can get a Roserade. But I could also just catch a Roserade, so. Eh, you know, doesn't really matter. Oh, you're very strong. What a surprise. What a surprise indeed. Okay. Jump off this way. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. What is that? Oh. Oh, it's a berry. Okay, I'm like... Is that like a stone? Hey, kid. Zoom, zoom, with my short set, I can run like the wind. You're challenged by youngster Tyler. Do he love his shorts? Benipede, that's pretty cool. I like its evolution. Um, water pulse it. Ooh, boy, you guys got to excuse me yawning. Shaggy. Alright, let's use another water pulse. You may have defeated me, but it's not going to stop me from running. Zoom! Bro, only gave me $280. Alright, we still need to find a couple Pokemon in here, so... That is one of them. Phone Edge. Very, very cool Pokemon. Alright, I'm going to hope I don't quit. I don't kill it with a quick... Oh! Oh, it's a ghost. I totally forgot about that. Okay. Well... If I do anything else, I'm gonna kill it, so let's just chuck a great ball and call it a day. You butthead. How many times has a Pokemon done that to me? Uh, let's throw one Premier Ball, huh? I think having a Hone Edge in a Premier, Premier Ball would be kinda cool. One. Bro, like move my that can, dude. Like, why would you do that twice in a row? There's no reason for you to do that, right? Other than not wanting to be enslaved by me for the rest of your life. All right, I was like, third time. Hello. We got ourselves a Hone Edge. Another Pokemon that I'm very tempted to use, actually. I, I do like Hone Edge. Apparently, this Pokemon is born when a departed spirit inhabits a sword. It attaches itself to people and drinks their life force. Okay, bud. I don't know if that's one we should keep in the party, considering it wants to drain me of my juices, but... I mean, hey, fair enough. Alright, give me an Esper. 
I already have an Esper, but I like Esper. But I'm gonna go ahead and like Dipski here because um I need other Pokemon. Sentra is not one of them. I have a Sentra that I'm trying to evolve, but I didn't I do not need this Sentra. I think there might be something in the bottom right corner, so I'm going to dig through it and look for stuff in the meanwhile. Of course, like I say every other episode, we need the money. I am going to fight all the trainers, I do need the money. Catching Pokemon ain't cheap. It's $200 a catch, you know? That is not, and especially, you know, with the Great Balls, it's even more expensive. But, another home edge. Alright, well, I don't, I like you, I don't need you, so I'm gonna just run. Hopefully we can find something else. Okay, oh, and this gets me back up, okay. Well, let's go now on the other side. Because, I want to see if there's any trainers or items back here. Very weird that I decided to have the entrances to here like the way it is, but I'm here for it. Alright, an antidote. Pretty useful considering I don't want to buy them. Whoa! Tall grass taller than I am. You're telling me there are Pokemon lurking in here? You're challenged by backpacker Jerome. The fleshling. That's all you got, bud. Well, that works for me. Not need any of these. Alright, thanks, Jerome. And we get $560. Defeat a man at the peak of his happiness? Think again. Bum, 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 bum. Only one Pokemon. Okay, the whole beat. The critical Pokemon you got there, bud. Alright, let's go ahead and give it a quick attack. Alright, Frogadier. A little defeat like that won't get me down. It should. Alright, there's probably a few more other things down here. Not what I'm looking for. I ain't looking for you, Centret. You know, go ahead. Get out of here. I'm looking for your more rare buddies. Nope, no, that's not that the one. I'm looking for Nincado or Kickleon, bud. Show me where your friends are. I want to steal them from you. Today is the day I begin my path to becoming a champion. I'll start off things by beating you. That's unlucky. Alright, Jacob. Krogunk. That is a cool Pokemon. Krogunk is another one of my favorites. That I probably won't end up using just because there's so many other cool one, but I do like it. Fury swipes. No, no, no idea. You don't need fury swipes. B drill. We got one of those. Very cool looking Pokemon. 
with the drill. So I thought we were going to kill it. Alright, level 27. We gotta be careful, we hit level 30 and we won't be able to control Frogadier anymore. Maybe I should start tomorrow. Uh, oh! Badoof is evolving. Alright. I didn't know he evolved this early, but I'll take it. Let's go, Badoof. Alright. We give ourselves a good barrel. Oh, man. A good barrel. I love the barrel. I wish I had a shiny but shiny Bidoof. Um yeah, let's um defense crow. I want I want a shiny Bidoof. I think that'd be uh or Bidoof. I think that'd be pretty cool, personally. Alright, very nice. Still looking for the two. Not you. I'm looking for your buddies. Also, Apparently, we can find an Audino and a Venipede in shaking areas. I don't know what that particularly means, to be 100% honest. Um, but we'll figure it out eventually, I guess. Okay, is there... Let me go in this corner to see. I don't know if there's anything to the sides. Come on, man. It's at 15 and 10%. I don't think it's that nuts to hit them. Or 10 and 5%, making a total of 15%. Ooh, there is more stuff, okay. Venom Shock. Something for the fellow bugs that I currently do not have any of. Oh, well, let me go back down. Are you serious? Oh, yeah, blue butthead. All right, well, we gotta go back in here because I still have not caught an encounter with Kekman, so no matter what we do, we still have to go back. Um, we can't get out of it that easily. So, back into the forest we go. Was that a guy or... I don't, okay, hold on. There was something in the top of that that I'll have to check on. Oh, that's a guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, we fought him. I'm like, huh? Also, let me get my walking shoes out. There's something here in this area? No, nothing? Okay. Then I guess... Oh, there's an item there. Let's just run through the grass. Don't know what we're looking for. And I'm just gonna run... Don't need any of you. Speed? Not particularly important right now. Although, I don't really know. I don't know if, like, X items are good. I always have them in every game, and I never end up actually using any of them. I don't know if they... I feel like you need to use those types of items if you're, like, out-leveled and, you know, like, out-classed. But, like, most of the time I'm over-leveled anyway. So, all right, Ninkata, there we go. That is the 10% that I needed. I'm going to hope I don't kill it with quick attack. There's a very large chance I do. Okay. Sand attack, that's fine. I'm not going to be hitting you anymore. I'm just going to be chucking balls at your head. Which reminds me, I need to go get more balls. All right. All right. All right. Good, good, good. All right, Nankato was an easy one. Didn't cause me as much headache as the Flabebe did. Because it lived almost entirely underground, it is nearly blind. It uses its antenna instead. And I'm pretty sure Nankata has two separate evolutions. So I wonder... If I find a second, I'll probably catch it. Um, just... Because I think it has two, right? So... 
I might have to go out and find a second. But, yeah, we might end up running into one while looking for the Kecleon anyway, so. Unless... Nope. Kecleon's a 5%, so that one's a little harder. And I also don't know what it means by shaking areas. Anything in this bottom corner here? Doesn't look like it. I saw the silhouette, I'm like, that's not something I've encountered before. Alright, quick attack ya. Bonk. Okay. Now let's hope Frogadier does not crit here. Woo! That was a little risky. Okay, bag. Was a bit risky there. It's very close to death. But hey, happy we didn't. You know, that's all I can say. I'm happy we didn't. There we go. Cleon was caught. Okay. It freely changes its body color. The zigzag pattern on its belly doesn't change, however. So, um, I l quickly looked up the shaking areas. Apparently, that's not the grass. That's these, like, things here in the middle. So, look, I'm reading. It's not actual grass, but the bushes on the main are. Took me by surprise if you run past one of Eddie P jumps out at you. Apparently, I just have to wait. Yeah, I, I they just kind of like jump out at you. Okay. Well, good to know. Good to know. Well, we have two Pokemon to find in this. This and the Venipede. I'm gonna quick attack it. Growl. That actually helps. Um, yeah, that's actually fine. Now, it might not put it in the red anymore. Yes, yeah, it's gonna be in a yellow. Um, but honestly, not that big of a deal. Just gonna keep throwing some Pokeballs at it. But, after we catch Venipede, that is officially all of the Pokemon on this route, so we'll be all set to go ahead and go. Bonk. Nice. Bunnelby grew to level 18. Much shot. Uh, nope. We don't need much shot. Alright, Sentra to 14. Ladybug 13. Using the feelers on its ears, you can tell how much. Tell how someone is feeling or when an egg might hatch. I'm guessing there's not an actual practical use for the egg hatching. Like, I wonder if it can actually, like, tell you, you know? Okay, so I just need a Venipede now, so... We could probably just keep, yeah, riding past bushes, and they'll jump out on me eventually. And that is the other Pokemon that I need. Thank you, Venipede. Appreciate you. Once again, we're just gonna do a good old quick attack. Alright, noted. Do not quick attack the Venipede, because it will die, um, instantly. So, good to know. Alright, but we got another one right away, so... Not a problem at all. Level 12? Alright, how about you don't die this time? I'm gonna do it again. Okay, yeah. Oop, okay. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, you... Poopy butthead. Don't do that. I gotta go back and heal a second time this episode. Well, actually, I should go buy some more balls anyway, so whatever. That's fine. 
Now that is not fine. Didn't even stand the ball a single second. Alright, hurt by poison. It's probably throw a netball, but I don't wanna. I don't wanna use the netball on a venipede. Okay, I'm gonna might use the netball on a venipede. I know, I know, I'm critical now. Um, water and bug type. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw it. I don't feel like messing with this venipede much longer, so. There we go. Alright. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and heal and put the barrel away. And we can continue on with our life. It discovers what is going on around it by using the feelers on its head and tail. It is brutally aggressive. You're telling me this little bug that looks like a watermelon is brutally aggressive? That's hilarious. Uh, hold on. Nope, Skitty is a moonstone, so never mind. Oh, keep clicking the wrong buttons. We'll grab the scatter bug. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Any more Pokeballs? Why is there only one of you? Where did the other dude go? Alright. Oh, 12k. Say less. Let's buy 21 normal Pokeballs. Let's buy... No, nope. I want to buy at least 10. Let's do 11 of those. Um... Yeah, I think we're good. Maybe... We have two of those. Let's just buy one of those. How many escape ropes? Alright, we're good on everything else. Yeah, I don't need a crazy amount of that other stuff. Okay, let's finally... We've spent like a million hours up on the road here. Let's go to the actual castle itself. Let's go check out. Okay, this is a photo area. Oh, you. I'll share an orange berry with you. Alright. Uh, cool. Thank you. Are old buildings more important than people who are alive now? I don't think so. Hello? Okay, time to hop off the skates. I wonder how much money it takes to place the bill. Okay. Entrance fee will be a thousand per person. You gotta be kidding, it costs money to go inside? You see, the owner of the palace follows a school of thought that you can never have too much money. Sheesh, this is how the rich get richer. Here's your entrance fee. It stole my money. That's my Pokeball money, man. Disgusting. He stole my Pokemon Ball money. Hopefully you have items in here I can steal, because I'm definitely going to steal them. I'm gonna, like, go through all the rooms, and if there's Pokeballs in the drawers, I'm just gonna... Where is it? Where could it be? My Furfru. My beloved little Furfru has disappeared. Disappeared? Hey, Big D, we should help look. I mean, if 
But if my Pokemon was missing, I'd be worried. But, okay, that's cool. Let's go look for it, I guess. I'm a traveling minstrel, wandering the worlds. Please listen to my song and hear my words. The Kalos region, now upheld as fair from ancient days, an ugly past doth bear. The woes of war did knock on every door till man nor Pokemon could take no more. 3,000 years ago upon this shore. Um. Sure, you can have 100. It pleases me to know that you are pleased by my song, sir. What's special about this place? It isn't just the beauty of the architecture itself. It's about how the painting and sculptures work in harmony with the surroundings. Okay. Oh, we got a lot of doors. Well, I guess we gotta check out every single one of them, right? The room used to serve as a waiting room for the Pokemon before they were brought out for battle. You mean Pokemon just waited here calmly? Pokemon are so funny. items in that one. This room was completely adorned with uh, a bunch of rich stuff. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, dude. It would be much better if everyone had a lively dinner with everyone instead of a full course meal alone. For the owner of this place, every meal is a feast. If you ever know anything else, a meal like that seems completely normal. This is like a walled-off bed. I wonder what the king of the Kalos region thought about Pokemon. I feel like I'm in a dream. Um. Okay, let's go to the other side before we go up the stairs. We go this way. Don't try to sleep in the king's bed. It's regal. <laughs> You're trying to use me look on me. Big old bed. Um, uh, yes. Let's sleep in the bed. Thanks. Later. The owner of this place only inherited it, you know. It's not as though we earned it. Just because the parents were great, it surely does not mean that their children will also be great. In fact, the opposite is often true. Yeah, kind of actually agreed. Most people get successful through hardships. If you don't face any hardships, there's a less chance of you becoming successful. This place was built after Kalos won a war with neighboring regions. I bet, I'll bet a lot of people in Pokemon lost their lives. But also depends on the circumstance, of course. The person who made this place must have been very admirable. This entire building has such an elegant, classy atmosphere. So I think in a sense, like, if everything is handed to you, it's very easy. But the difficult part is if you don't know how to maintain it. You can get rich easily by someone giving it to you, but will you stay rich? Probably not. I heard of a king from long ago whose garden was his pride and joy. I'd He'd gather the castle folk and hold parties. You need a pretty amazing king to build a place like this. I wonder if Pokemon slept in the bed. If you ask me a good deep, uh, if you ask me a good bed is a bed which you can get a good night's sleep. I don't care how antique or elegant this bed might be. I'd probably be uneasy in it that I wouldn't get a wink. Slow down, Merle. I'm tired to play. I heard that a forbidden tome once existed that contained the secret to bringing Pokemon back to life. It's probably just a rumor, though. We've certainly got nothing about that sort in the library. Amulet coin? Okay. Um, say less. Um, where's the amulet coin? amulet coin. Yeah. Um. Yeah, let's give it to Progadir. Now, anytime we fight, we get double money. Thank you. That was actually, like, very, very, very useful. Um, yeah. 
Long ago, the king and his Pokemon would enjoy their meals at this table. The view from the balcony is absolutely stunning. Oh, my eye itches. There's the big old guard. I guess that shows us. Well, let's take another look here. Interesting. Okay. Um. Cool. What is on the other end? The mirror in the hallway reflects the scene in such a way that it looks like there were two balconies. Oh, but. Okay, something about Pokemon and sleeping. Nothing in here? Okay. Interesting. Wow, get a look at these chairs. They're absolutely terrific. Get it? <laughs> what should we look at next? Hmm, according to the guidebook. And they were roommates. All right, we have seen everything. Really, that amulet coin was worth it all. Let's go to the main area, which is the garden, apparently. I'll ha hey, I'll have a look in the back. Okay. Okay, so now. Oh. I was like, do I have to memorize? Do I have to like memorize these things? Antidote? Most of them weren't that really hard. I'm gonna say maybe I just don't understand. Oh, was that a battle? I heard an ancient king made rules. He didn't have anything. Okay. There was rules when looking at this place. Okay. Wait, I want. Wait, I want to get back on my skates. How do I get back on my skates? Hold on. I want to jump back on my skates. Why won't it let me. What in the world? Let me skate unless will it not let me skate in the garden right, that's fine I guess folks with the bug badge can use the move cut to chop down trees with prickly thorns oh <gasps> okay so we can find cut in the garden is this it okay thank you I guess that wasn't like super super hard to find um let's go ahead and teach it to someone right now actually Cut, use... Looks like a couple people are able to use it. Yes, let's teach it to Bunnelby. Yes, which move? And then we'll probably just end up teaching it to random Pokemon that we have in our party that we're evolving and, you know. We'll get an actual, like, cut person later. But for now, it's fine. Okay. Surprised there's no, like, Pokemon in here. It's just like, um, weird little useless maze. Is there anything over there? Maybe? Nope. Screw, screw. Hmm. Oh, there's the fur fro. Oof. No, where are you going, bud? Please, don't run away. Big D, give me a hand. The path over there leads to a dead end. I'll split up. Chase for for a corner right there. I'll keep it from getting away. So pick a spot for me to stand somewhere. For there. For there. Let me know you decided where I should stand. If the two of us work together, we can solve. Blah blah blah. Okay, stand here. Yes. Yeah, just stand here. Hmm. Am 
I dumb or? Yes. Can you stay here? How about right here? Yeah, stand right there. Um, okay. Okay. Now go ahead and stand here. Yes, stand here. And then I will do this. There you go. I don't know that that was like really difficult, but. Oh, well done, we finally caught it. Big D, you're amazing. We caught it because you understand how Pokemon f feel. Wow, my dear Fru-Fru, my beloved Fru-Fru. Could you two be responsible for the wonderful reunion with my dear Fru-Fru? How wonderful indeed. It's marvelous, simply marvelous. A situation like this demands fireworks. We shall put on a show, boom, boom. My Pokemon and I are reunited. Our bond has been proven. We'll commemorate this joyous occasion with a tremendous firework display. And also serve as a reward for the tiny bit of trouble you went to rendezvous at the balcony. You can reach the balcony from the hall with mirrors on the second floor. Oh, it. Oh, I'd hate to. Uh, but I really love fireworks. Let's make the best of it. Okay. Cool, I guess. Let's see if there's anything else that we might have missed in the second maze over on this side. The king who built it, um, 3,000 years ago. Ooh. Alright, Reshiram. That is a thing that exists. Is there anything special in here? She always wanted to be a princess. Well, good for you, bud. Okay, is there items in these corners? Nope. Okay, I think that's it. So, let's go ahead and head back in. And we can make our way towards... Ooh, this is probably places that I can get fish from later. Um, but let's go ahead and... Let me just double check. My internet wants to work. Okay, so yeah. There's nothing we can get in here except... Um... Amulet coins, the really important part. Yeah. Okay. There's a Golurk and a other Pokemon. Um, luckily we already explored the rest of this, so we're kind of good to just kind of go. Um, but guys, I will actually end the episode off here because. Next episode, we will go to the fireworks, but we'll save that for then. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hey, what's up, everyone? We're playing some Pokemon. We're about to go on the balcony and um, some fireworks. So, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and do it. Um, you know, I've never watched fireworks alone with a boy before. Bro, oh, don't. Don't do this, man. Don't do this. I'm about to be a married man. We haven't even seen them yet, but I know I'll never forget these fireworks because I watched them with you, David. Yeah, I'm pretty sick, not gonna lie, so. Understandable, honestly. Also, she met me, like, two days ago, so, like, a little strong there, bud. Wow, that was amazing. I never want to forget this, so I'll keep this memory in an album in my heart. And that was my wonderful fireworks show for my fur fru. I assume you're satisfied with that? Oh, I almost forgot. The boca flute. That's right, we need to wake up the, the thingy to wake up the thingy. Sigh, the Plokafu, huh? Go get it. Okay. 
It was Shabonel Castle's treasure, but I took it as payment for a loan. A rich guy like me and a common person like that just didn't go together. Give it to them. Here's the poke flute. Listen well, you two. Always return what you borrow. That's very important. I want to make lots of memories on my journey, but I'll try and forget about him. You can't imagine how stressful owning this place is for him. And maybe so, but... Oh, that's right. Mr. Butler, do you, know any... do you know anything about Mega Evolution? I remember reading a book on that subject in the Palace Library. It has something to do with what you'd now call a trainer holding a mysterious stone high and making Pokemon evolve even further. Also, it's not much, but I would like you to have this. Oh, Protect. That's not a bad move, actually. Protect blocks opposing Pokemon's moves, but if you use it many times in a row, the chances of it not working increase. If you will excuse me, I shall take my leave. The owner of Shebo Castle used to be friends with that guy. Can you believe it? Isn't that crazy? We have to be sure to give that flute, give that flute back after we wake up Snorlax. Alright. Um. Noted. We have to give it back. So. We will actually be doing that. I, I would love to keep it, but I guess there's no reason to keep it. So. Let's go ahead and, um. Wake up that Snorlax, and then. We'll probably go back to Route 7. Okay. Round seven. Here we go. And in Route seven, there are a couple new Pokemon to catch, as you would think. Oops! I genuinely was not looking where I was going. Ooh, an Ninkata! Hey, we actually need another one of these. I'm pretty sure. Um, Ninkata has two evolutions, right? And I caught one, but I might need a second. That's actually perfect. Let's go ahead and catch another one. So I don't have to come back and deal with it later. And we did buy some more Pokeballs last episode. We had 12k, and we basically spent all of it on Pokeballs and Great Balls. Thank you, Ninkata. Both Ninkatas have been really easy to catch, so I actually appreciate that quite a bit. Thank you. Scatterbug to four. Oh. Alright, another encounter of something we definitely won't need. I mean, I can catch the Oddish to get a higher level one, but, um... Honestly, from level, like, 6 to 12, dude, that'll be, like, one battle in late game, so I'm really just not worried about it. Esper... Now, here's the one thing I should have done. I should have kept track of what gender the other Esper that I caught was. Um, I don't know if I caught a male or a female. Also, I'm like definitely taking the long way out of here, but that's fine. Like I said earlier, technically every encounter is a shiny check. And another one, really, like, and if you guys are wondering why I started playing this game. Oh, a fight, okay. I guess we forgot to fight her. The reason I really started this game was because this game has pretty decent um, shiny hunting methods. You know, the Masuda method, it has chain fishing, it has the shiny charm. So, yeah. I The shiny aspect was actually a big reason. So... I could avoid a bunch of encounters, or I could just do the encounters and just have it as like a shiny check and, you know, call it a day. Because that's what I'm here for anyway. Okay. Got some levels up. Level, level up, try to learn reflect. Nope. We don't need reflect. I don't need anything on Lady, but to be honest. Um. Nope. Yes. Alright, level 6 Scatterbug. Wow, you're really good. Are you famous person in these parts? And 2k? I'll take 2k. Alright, I gotta 
slow my slow my stuff down a hot minute. Okay. Hey, I'll take that. I'll take that 2k. Take that 2k any day. Oh, it's you two. Did you actually manage to borrow the poke flute? Yeah. Thanks. Wow, you're really the only one who can play it, right? Snorlax can be grumpy when it wakes up. It might attack. I'll play the flute right now, but are you ready to stop it? Yeah. Feels nice to have this flute in my hands again. Okay, I'll start playing. I really hope we don't kill it, man. Just don't like open its eyes wide. Snorlax appeared. Alright. This is gonna be very... I gotta be very careful not to kill it. Let's just see how much a quick attack does. Okay, not a lot. Lick. Alright, then let's do a... A round. Okay. So this kill it, which is good. Ah, oh, you... Bloodhead. That's fine. Okay, good. We got it off. Okay, that's actually fine. It'll still be in the yellow. You... Bloodhead. Okay, let's just quick attack it so we can get it back in the yellow. And then we can start throwing stuff. Alright, cool. Alright. Start chucking Pokeballs. We can probably start with the Premier Ball. Let's see if we can get it in like a cooler ball. Nope. Okay. Just defending. Um. Let's just let's actually use our Ultra Ball. Again, the Snorlax is a harder catch than most, so one. Wow, this is a hard catch. You even escaped the Ultra Ball like it was not even a problem. Alright, let's start chucking Great Balls, I guess. We, we've spent a lot of money on this one Snorlax already. What in the world, dude? Does it have, a, like, a legendary Pokemon catch ring? This is nuts. Okay. Let's freaking go, dude. I don't know how many Snorlax are in this game. I know in Leaf Green there was two, so I, you know, I did. I want her to be very careful with this one, because if it is the only one, you know, we gotta get it now. Um, what is Fling? Um, no. No, we don't need that. Alright, set you to 15. Scatter bug to 7. And we got ourselves a Snorlax. It is not satisfied unless it eats over 880 pounds of food every day. When it is done eating, it goes promptly to sleep. That's a lot of pounds, my guy. Also, an odd number that is exactly 880. Hey, and we have our Sentry Evolving, which is perfect. Meaning we can put it away and grab something else. Pretty epic. Alright, and we get ourselves... Furret. I thought it was a furret, but I didn't want to say it all out and look dumb. I'm like, yeah, it's a furret. Of course it is. Of course it's a furret. Awesome, you caught Snorlax. Oof, oof. Oh, the only thing I can do with that poke of food is put on display, but you've been playing since you were little. The tone is lovely. It seems like my fur fru also likes the sound of that flute. Not as much as it likes my beautiful wonder fru fireworks, of course. Yeah, I guess so. Still, your playing sounded better back in the day. I'll let you take care of that flute, so I'll be sure to practice more. Alright. 
was that supposed to be an attempt to patch things up? Oh, whatever. All's well that ends well. I wonder what lies past where the Snorlax was sleeping. Um, the daycare? Hey, Big D. Chef said he wants to check out the Pokemon daycare. Come with us. There's a Pokemon daycare. They can take care of your Pokemon for you here. Yes, indeed. You can leave up the two Pokemon here at once. I seem to remember something good can happen if you leave two Pokemon here. That's right. Sometimes we'll find a new addition, like an egg. If you carry the egg around, a Pokemon will emerge from it. Wow, a Pokemon will come out. Maybe I'll leave some Pokemon here. Having the same Pokemon with the same moves might step my dance up. What about you, Big D? Um, probably some other time. I don't need anything now. There are many Pokemon that I want to raise. I'll try it on some other occasion. That's one way to look at it. I'm going to look for some Pokemon for my dance team. Hey, wait. Okay, so... There aren't currently actually any Pokemon that... Um, I need. So... We're going to go ahead... Or, you know, there's not any that I want to leave in here. But we're kind of good to go. Now, what is this? I don't know where I'm at right now. Am I Route 7? Okay, we're back. So, let's, I guess, start looking for Pokemon, right? So, there's specific Pokemon in the yellow flowers and purple flowers. And then, shaking areas. And hordes. Okay. Alright, well, I guess, let's, um... Is there any normal... Ooh, Tierno's in there. I guess let's talk to him first. You already caught a Dunsparce? You're amazing. Oh, thanks, bud. A heated battle against a traveler would provide me with the inspiration that I need. Challenged by artist Georgia. Hmm, let me guess, what... What Pokemon would a painter have? Another than a Shimergle. Let's give it a water pulse. And we could also... It's a little bit of a waste that I'm having Scatterbug evolve, because we could probably just catch one of the Scatterbug, but... Real quick, I also want to check how far... Um, how, uh... Challenging to mount? Okay. So you've seen... Oh, how lost, how frustrating. So you've seen Ralts 2, Big D? Just knowing about the same Pokemon as someone else can sure make you happy. Okay, did he, like, not want to do anything? Give me something? Alright, well, there is a Roselia. Which is another reason why, like, having the Badoo right now isn't super important. Because I could just catch one of these. Um... Gonna quick attack it. Mega Drain, that's not good. Well, it's actually maybe is good actually though, because it'll help me get it closer to red actually. I'm gonna give it another quick attack. Alright, and that sets me up perfectly to chuck a Pokeball at its head. There we go. our Roselia. Alright, lots of level ups. It uses the different poison it's in each hand separately when it attacks. The stronger its aroma, the healthier it is. Very cool. Alright, we got our Scatterbug evolving, meaning we probably... Now no longer need that Spupa. But we still need to get that Volbeat and the Illumise from the Shaking, so that's fine too. Actually no, we can get those from Standard Walking, so we're fine on those also. Congrats, your Scatterbug evolved into your Spupa. Need more protect. You 
you that you're the perfect model for our next painting. They can have two smeargles. You're challenged by artist family, Mono and Walla. Two smeargles. And I always wondered why the smeargle only has that disgusting green paint. Don't you use anything else? Um, let's go ahead and use a cut. And we'll go ahead and do it on the same smeargle, just in case it, this water pulse doesn't kill it initially. We're fine, apparently. Zigzaguna 16. Well, that wasn't bad, actually. Okay. It painted a gun. Okay, helping hand failed. Your buddy's dunzo, dude. Just pupa level 10. Yahoo! This is gonna be our best work yet! I'll never forget our battle together! With uh, that 3.5k bonus. David, do you know about this building? It's called the Battle Chateau. It's famous for being a place where trainers gather to improve their skills. If I learn even more about Pokemon, I'm sure I'll be able to defeat Kalos' eight gym leaders. Okay. This is a long route. Wow. I'm just trying to find the end of the route, to be honest. A blank canvas before me, yet no inspiration from which to paint. Just a bunch of Smeargle. It seems like every game has a Smeargle route, which is oddly like, yeah, haha, funny, you know, all the painters all have Smeargles, but like, also why, you know? Do we really need to have a Smeargle route every game? Alright, Ladybug level 16, Ralts level 10. I've got it! If y'all don't mind, I'd like to have a Pokemon battle with everyone. Now, how should we pair up? Let's go with Tierno and Trevor against Big D and me. Alright. Might as well battle together, right? Alright, let's do it. Hulk in the head. He's got a Pikachu. Cool. I like this double battle. Let's go ahead and water pulse the Pikachu. Okay. There we go. Spupa to 11. Vice Grip, huh? He Vice Grip the Fletchling, which is nice. Right, we got a Flub Bebe going. Um, we can go ahead and round it. Another quick attack, another core fish. Sing to the Flabebe horribly. Ouch. They're gonna kill the poop out of that Fletchling. Oh no. Yeah, but she Ooh, he sir. She's got a second. Right, let's hit that Flabebe. Let's get rid of that. Alright, well now, she's got her grass type, which should be super effective against the core fish. So, go ahead and yes, please use a grass move against core fish and should be solid here. Let's learn double kick. Nope, we're fine. Her all screwed to 11. Well, that was a nice move, so you can't learn everything just from the Pokedex, I see. 6k? Dang, we're just doing 6k from our homies. That's not even, like, nice. Alright, well, we got our Bundle V evolving, which is pretty cool. Are we digging the music? Yeah. 
Alright, we got Diggersby. Disgusting, disgusting Diggersby. Um, yeah, we can go ahead and get rid of Double Slap. Double Slap's not that useful. Alright. Pretty cool. It sure is interesting to see how different each trainer's style is. Well, I guess we should head over to Ambrett Town then. Okay, so what is Ambrett Town? Is that over here? I know, I'm like, maybe going a little too far. Okay. Well, hey, one route at a time, right? Well, see, is this still Route 7? What? What is this? Oh, that's a shortcut. I'm guessing this is another way. I'm just trying to find out where the route ends, my guy. Like, what's the difference between... Okay, and what is this? Okay, so they're both shortcuts. Is this still Route 7? I guess let's see what we encounter. Is this still Route 7? It looks like it is, because... Yeah. Oh, so Route 7 is the longest order than the Kalos. Okay, so... Yes, this is still Route 7. Okay. Well, then we can even come over here to kind of get what we need. So, there are a few Pokemon that we need to get, and this is what we're going to spend basically most of our next couple minutes doing. We have Flabebe, we have Roselia, we have... Well, we're going to get the Ducklet in a second once it stops running away, or breaking out of the ball. And then we need Krogunk, Smeargle, Volbeat, Illumise, and Swirlix. Along with... Actually, I think that's it. Yeah. That should be it. Alright, but again, I need this to stop jumping out of the ball. Four for four. Thank you, Duckling. Zagoon is 17. No, we don't need Odor Sleuth. When attacked, it uses its feathers to splash water, escaping under the cover of the spray. Okay. Let's keep looking in here. What do we got next? Rogunk. That is the most common Pokemon in this area, and another one that we indeed do need. I'm gonna pick attack it. Woo! Almost killed it. Glad we didn't, though. Alright, go to Pokeball. Should a great, great ball at this. I just don't feel like it escaping right now, so... Let's do that. Its cheeks hold poison sacks. It tries to catch foes off guard to jab them with its toxin fingers. Okay. Well, now we're looking for the bugs and the schmeargle. That is not what we're looking for. Alright, let's run away and keep looking here. Um, that is actually the rarest one that we still need, so that's very nice that we got this one. That's the 5%er. Ooh, critical hit. I almost killed it. Good thing it's not super weak, because I would have probably killed it very easily. So far, these Pokemon aren't being too difficult. All we need is Smeargle and two bugs. That's it. And we we would be all set. 
When tank mounts opponents in battle, it extrudes white threads as sweet and sticky as cotton candy. But are they like Ooh, Ooh Spupa's evolving. Hey, another evolution. You love to see it. Congrats, your Spupa evolved into a Vivillon. Vivi? Vivillon. Vivillon, yeah. Also known as Struggle Bug. Sure, we'll forget about String Shot for Struggle Bug. Very nice. And there's a berry. Berry and an item. Alright. A person berry. What about the item? Tiny mushroom. I'm pretty sure... Every game has a guy who picks mushrooms to teach moves, right? So that's probably what we're gonna use that one for. Alright, let's see. Alright, give me a bug. <laughs> Thank you. There we go, Volbeat. Got ourselves the Volbeat. I don't... I don't know why they added these bugs into the game. Like, both Volbeat and Illumis, like aren't like cool Pokemon. They're not useful. They can't evolve. I don't particularly understand why they're in the game, but, um... Ah, who am I to judge? All I know is I gotta look for both of them. Oh, well, at least there's an easy catch. That's the important part. At least there's an easy catch. Ladybug of 17. Mock Punch? Yeah, sure. Forget about supersonic. There we go. It communicates with others by lighting up its rear at night. It loves Illumis' sweet aroma. Weird, but K. Alright, just two more. Smeargle and Illumis. Illumis, something like that. Another Volbeat. We don't need your Volbeat. Yo, you rascal. Go away. Oh, hey, there's the other bug. The other bug. The other useless bug that is slightly more appealing because it doesn't look like it's wearing gigantic, like, headphones on it. Or maybe it's the face. Maybe the other one's face just looks dumb. I don't know. I just don't like I don't like these two bugs. I'll catch them, but I don't like them. So a waste of two Pokemon Pokedex slots. At least there's a catch. Okay, all we need to look for is that. Smurgle. Smurgle. And then actually, I totally forgot, but we actually do have to find Hop Up in a Horde. Its fragrance attracts a swarm of bull beats, so they draw over 200 patterns at night. Yes, actually. Smurgle and then the Hop Up Horde. So, can't forget about that one. What? What? Huh? I didn't initiate a horde. I mean, that's fine. I need the hop it. You mostly just took me by surprise of why they're here. Okay, well, let's hope they don't put me to sleep. Honestly, that's all that matters to me. Just please do not put me to sleep. Synthesis. Okay. Tail whip. That's fine. 
They're gonna lower my defense a bunch, but honestly not that big of a deal. Let's just try to get rid of them as fast as possible. Splash. Okay. Let's do that one next. Now all we'll have left is Smeargle. And that wouldn't have even been there if I didn't kill him on accident. Like a little dummy. Alright, one more. And then that last one we will catch and enslave. Okay, um, I'm just gonna start chucking balls. I don't feel like killing it, so I'm not gonna even quick attack it, because I will kill it. Alright, well, I'm just gonna keep chucking balls, that's fine. Come on. Accidental hopping board, but I'll take it. Its body is so light it must grip the ground firmly with its feet to keep from being blown away. Alright, last one is the Schmeargle. Can we maybe get it? sitting here on reddit there's not there's there it is all right that's what we're looking for all right, let's go ahead and just quick attack it and not bubble it because bubble apparently will kill it <sighs> i almost got really sad very very quickly Attack on me. Come on, Schmeargle, just work with me here. Throw a great ball at it. Very cool. And officially, we have caught all of the Pokemon on Route 7. It marks its territory by using its tail like a paintbrush. There are more than 5,000 different marks. Cool. Well, according to Cerebi, we have gotten all of the Pokemon. There is only one Pokemon that we're missing, but it is actually a version exclusive. So, we're good to go. Um, what we're going to do, I'm going to go back and heal, head back here, and save, and we'll probably end off the episode. Okay, everybody, um, we did good for today. We brought up our Pokedex to like 76, but I gotta go. See you guys later. Hey, everyone, how's it going? We're playing some Pokemon. Just gonna do one episode today. It's very late, very tired, look kind of hit. Um, but I wanted to play some Pokemon. So we're here right outside the Connecting Cave. Okay, so very, very quickly, um, like you just saw, um, 
I was playing the game, but it wasn't recording. Now, it's only been like four minutes, but really quickly, let me show you what happened. I walked into this cave, see, um, and then I went over here. I fought this lady. Then we evolved our Ladyba into Ladian. So here we go. That is our Ladian right there. Bang. Bug. And then we walked over here. This dude said we can't get past. So we ran down here, and there is nothing we can do because we don't have strength or rock smash or whatever that we need. We walked up, and we caught the Wizmer. Now we're going to go ahead and catch um, this Aksu, which is actually really the only really, really cool Pokemon in this area. Um, the other three are all right, but these, this Aksu is the 10%. This is really the one that you want to get in this area. So I'm really glad I caught it while talking. That works out. I just hope it would stay in the ball. Okay. Come on. I don't really want to quick attack it because I quick attacked that um, Wismer and it almost died instantly. Okay, maybe I will have to quick attack it. Hmm. I could teach Frog with your false swipe, but I feel like I don't want to do that. Alright, I'm gonna throw one more Great Ball, one more Luxury Ball. If those, neither of those work, then I will start hurting it. Okay, well, one Luxury Ball, and if it doesn't work, I will start hurting it. Wow, that thing is actually fairly strong. Alright, come on. One Luxury Ball. Just because I'm trying to get fancy with it. Alright, you're gonna get hurt. I am going to hurt you. You're going to hurt me. Is hurting me. Alright, we're gonna pull out Digger's B and we're gonna go ahead and maybe hit it in the face with my Digger's B. Alright, go on and uh, tackle it. Ooh. Okay, that was close. Ouch. Alright, Pokeball. Throw another Great Ball. Now that it's in the yellow, it should be slightly easier to catch. You absolute butt cheek, dude. Why? Why are you so strong and so annoying to catch? Come on, man. One. Two. I'm gonna waste all of my money on this one axe. I'm not gonna have enough money for the next route, dude. Let's try just the normal Pokeball. Man, that Wizmer was easy. This Axu is... Dude. This Axu is nuts. Maybe I should use Axu when I catch him, because... Jeez, man. He's on some... Different, dude. He's on something different. Bro. Aksu, my guy, stop. Just stay inside of the ball, bro. Thank the Lord. I <laughs> just moved my mic. Dude, that axe took forever. Alright, well we got him. That's that's the important part. We got him. They use their tusks to crush the berries they eat. Repeated regrowth makes their tusks strong and sharp. Alright, so let's go ahead and head out. That was the entire cave that I just totally missed for like a couple minutes there. Let's head inside this entrance. Apparently, this is the right entrance. And we're still looking for um, two other Pokemon. We're looking for Metatite and Zubat. We are not looking for Wismer. We already caught one of you, bud. Which, that is when I realized that I was not recording my screen. Luckily, um... Ooh, you're not going to fight me? Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Um, yeah, like I said in the beginning, I'm hit, and it's tiring, and no wonder I didn't record my screen, because of those exact reasons. Ooh, wait, does this take us outside? 
Okay, that was a very short cave. Well, I'm looking for a couple more Pokemon still. I'm still looking for that Metatite and that Zubat. There's the Zubat. I don't even want to say the word Zubat. Um, I'm going to kill it with that quick attack. Alright, let's just throw a ball. And again, just hope for... Just, just stay, please. Like, I don't... I don't have enough money for this. One, two, three. Thank you, Zubat, you wonderful, wonderful creature. And in my leaf green, Golbat was actually one of the shinies. So maybe, maybe one of these days we'll find another one. We'll see. Even though it has no eyes, it can sense obstacles using ultrasound waves that it emits from its mouth. All right, poison flying. All right, we're just looking for the last Pokemon, the Metatite, the fighting physic psychic Pokemon. That um, is actually oddly very good in Pokemon Go as far as a battling goes. I know Metacham is like in the top 10. I forgot, not, I'm not, I don't think in the Great League. I think in the Masters League, but it might be in the Great League. I don't know. Um, anyway, I know Metatite's pretty big into that. I know. I, I don't know what month it was, but there was a month where it was a research test. I think it was right after the Galarian Stunfisk, maybe? <coughs> I don't know. Please, Metatite. Show yourself. You're 30%. It's not that low. Keep getting these stupid Wismers, though. What? I'm surprised. The Zubat, Wismer, and Metatite are all 30%, but it's, I seem to have gotten a lot of 30% hit the 30% quite often. Um, but to be honest, I'm not surprised. I remember in the beginning of the game, the thing that was the most is that Dunsparce. So I'm sure if y'all watched, all right, there's a Metatite. That Dunsparce, man, it's a 5%. I didn't get it for like 20 minutes, and then I got one, and then I was like, whew, thank God I got one. Okay, I'm also going to quick attack. If I kill it, then I'll just find another one. Okay. And then I left the town, came back, and I found the Dunsparce, the, the encounter after. So that's 5% times 5%. That's a pretty low number. Alright, last Pokemon we need to catch in this area, though. Cool, critical catch. And... Um... Okay, we're, we're good. We are solid. It always chains deep in mountains. It levitates when it heightens its spiritual power through meditation. Oh. Cool. Let's head out into... Route 8. Ooh, stop right there. Oh, we didn't mean to surprise you. How are you and Frogadier doing? Haven't you wondered how a single Pokedex could possibly cover a region as big as Kalos? Well, it can't. That's why we're here to power up your Pokedex. The coastal Pokedex will be on your Pokedex menu, so tap it. New encounters help people and Pokemon grow and mature. We'll be taking our leave now. Bon voyage. Alright, bud. Alright, we're Route 8. Let's see what we got. We got lots of Pokemans. Ooh, we got lots of Pokemans. And some really cool ones. To Ooh, I'm not going to have enough Pokeballs. I don't have Rock Smash, Boards, Surfing, oh boy. And here is also where we're going to find a Staryu. But, or a Starmie. Okay. We need more Pokeballs, so here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to keep going for now and maybe get down to the city. Can I not come back this way? Um, I think this is all Route 8, so I think we're fine. Hopefully we can make our way back here somehow. Alright, found our HP up. Very nice. Okay, some grass. Dream big is what I say. You're looking at a future champion after all. Bring it on. Okay, bud. Rising Star Quillet. Axu. Yeah, man, we got a lot of Pokemon to catch up in here. We got 
Driftwood, Splink, NK, Zangus, Absol, Manfu, and Bagon, which is the extra epic one. Um, you can also get a uh, Subviper. Um, yeah. And Wingle. And Talo. Those are in Fords. And then of course there's the there's the ones from fishing and surfing which we obviously cannot get yet. We'll have to come back for those on another day. Alright, we defeated Paulette. What? Perhaps future champ stuff is just a dream in the end. Okay. Where are we at here? Well, I guess let's uh, keep doing the fights. 49 predictions. This victory is as good as mine now. Let's put them to the test. Bump, bump, bump. Starry. Rise and Star Rise? Rise? Oh, it's a Rise. Ra Ice. That's a dumb name. That's a dumb way to spell it, but sure. Alright, Pan Champ. Let's go ahead and uh, Water Pulse in here. But yeah, I definitely will not have enough balls to catch everything. Especially if, you know, like, the bag on gives me trouble or something. It's going to take a few balls. Not going to have enough. But I did slowly gather a bit of money over fight, so I should be able to buy a few more balls. Laser Leaf, that should hurt a little bit. Yeah. Not as much as I thought it would, actually. It's just pretty cool. Alright, one more Pokemon. What do you got? Ralts, level 14. Goldine? Nope. Okay. Gonna water pulse it. Even though it's a water Pokemon, I just it's fine, man. We'll we'll, we'll get it done. Pecked. And water pulse again. Now, if I hit level 31, will I just straight up not be able to control Frogadier anymore? Hopefully that doesn't happen. Alright, Lady and level 9. And I also need to switch out Pokemon. Hmm, that certainly didn't go as, as in my predictions. Ooh, there's a Pokeball down there, but I don't know how to get it. Alright, Mianfu, 10%. I will take it, and I will catch it. Um, Let's go ahead and throw a ball first, because I'm scared I'm actually just going to kill it. But again, the problem of if this takes more than like three balls, we're like in a kind of deep doo-doo here. One, two, three, please. Aw, oh, thank you, Mianfu, Mianfu, Mianfu. I don't know, Kung Fu Panda, dude, who knows, man. But I'll take it. Thank you. It takes pride in its speed at which it can use moves. When it loses in power, it makes up for in quantity. Okay. Let's uh, keep walking here. Okay, there's a battler guy there. Well, I guess. Hmm. See, most of these Pokemon need to get rid of, man, because I need to... Whatever, it's just one route. That's fine. I mean, Machop and I walk these mountain paths in our bare feet. Think you can take this on? I think so, bud. Black Vault back. And he only has a single Machop. It's pretty cool Machop you got there, though, bud. Alright, well, good thing I have a Water Pulse. There's a lot of trainers on here, aren't there? There's also a lot of items. Wow. Okay. Alright, Zeus Goon, level 19. Um. Okay, something about thick skin. Let's keep moving on. And when will I hit another town? That's my question. Um. What can I do here? Oh. Okay. Leafstone. I can definitely use that. 
Um, no, let's not do that. Um, how do I? Can I like not jump over there? What do? Oh, is this like a? Are they playing games over here? Oh, okay. So I have to. Okay, that was a little. Amber Town. Good, because I need my pokeballs. This is Amber Town. You can go through the aquarium to get to silly ash city, but first we should go to the fossil lab to have us tell us about fossils. We might even learn something about those mysterious stones related to Mega Evolution. Here's my problem. Can I get back to the grass? Okay, I still can. I'm like, man, please, please don't do a Mount Moon and like just block me off. All right, let's go in. Let's go ahead and heal, and then switch Pokemon, and we can kind of continue on. But yeah, it's a shame gathering all this XP and giving it to Pokemon that are like evolved that I just no longer need them to be. So, and we've also got a good bit of Pokemon to catch. So let's go over here. Let's give it a little bonk, bonk. Pause it. We can go ahead and deposit Diggers be though. Ladian, Vivillion. Okay, so we have three spots. Let's go ahead and withdraw. What should we be evolving? Um, how do we do Hopip? Oh, Pro Gunk. Let me see when in the red as far as balls go. Um, but let's go ahead and run back to the grass because we still have some Pokemon to catch. We are not out of the clear yet for this route. All right, here we go. We need a lot of Pokemon. What do we get first? Splink. Okay, the 20% spawn in this area. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's go ahead and quick attack it. If I kill it, not that big of a deal. Okay, that is perfect. Likely, I won't have to throw too many balls because I got it in the red. I'm just gonna go ahead and just keep throwing some standard Pokeballs for now. Blink. Critical catch. You absolutely love to see it. No problem at all. Okay. Spoink's data was added. It bounces constantly using its tail like a spring. The shock of bouncing keeps its heart beating. That's terrible. What if it falls over? Does it just die? You fall over and you just die? Like, what if someone pushes you over? Also, do you do they start going right when they get born? All right, Inkay, a dark psychic Pokemon, 15% spawn. Um, let's just go and throw one Great Ball and not deal with it, hopefully. Inkay is a pretty cool Pokemon, another one of my favorite, okay. One of my favorites, as far as you know, the design, because I think it's Malamar looks really, really cool. All right, let's quick attack it. If I kill it, I'll be sad, but it's okay. Okay, I didn't reflect, that's fine. Not that big of a deal. Let's just throw a normal Pokeball here. Really, the one that's going to take a while is to find a bag on in this area. There we go. All right. Inkate was caught. I hop up to level 8. Learn Tackle. Opponents who stare at the flashing of the light emitting spots on its body become dazed and lose their will to fight. This is a pretty cute looking Pokemon until it evolves and it becomes like a Disney movie villain, but yeah. Alright, what do we got next? Another Mian Fu, Mian Fu, Kung Fu. We do not need you. I got you. There's plenty of other Pokemon we need to get, so give me one of those. Preferably. Also, not one we still need. And the selection in this grass is not very high, it seems. Where's, your, where's the other boys at? Come on. I see, I can see a trainer down there looking for a spicy battle. 
bruh. This blink is not what I need. Encounter me again and I'll push you over. Don't tempt me. Um... Yellow... Oh, that's alright. Oh, are you... There are... Let's see, 30%. 40%. 50%. Fifty. There's a 55% chance that I encounter something new. 55%. And I've... 50, 25, 12%, 6%. Okay, Absol. I was like, that was almost a six percent chance that I didn't encounter anything new for that long. All right, Absol, do not die when I quick attack you. For favor, thank you. Pursue. That's fine. Just gonna throw a great ball at it. And this should be able to catch it unless it doesn't want to. That. I literally not even looking at the screen and I guessed it that it probably wasn't gonna. Um, Absol is the Pokemon that kinda shows up when bad things are about to happen. Something bad is about to happen to it if it doesn't stay in the ball very soon. Alright. I think it's predicting its own disaster here. I'm about to I'm about to do the Chris Brown 1 2 KO on it. Come on, dude. Stay in the ball. Dude. About to kill Froggy Of course he crits because. Ooh. One, two. Good. All right, we got that Absol, which is the ten percent. So that's pretty good. Um, definitely one of the harder catches. So very good. I'm happy. It senses coming disasters and appears before people only to warn them of impending danger. Is danger near? Maybe I should heal? No, you know what? I'll just go ahead and use a... Let's use a potion here. Use... Yeah, let's give Frogadier a little boost here. And it's a good thing we got that amulet coin. That helps quite a bit as far as um some of that cash flow. Another absolute. Okay. Wonderful. I don't need you anymore. Go away. Just run away. It is not what I need. Please give me Bagon, Zangoose, or Driftloon. There's the bag on. Alrighty, thank you, game. I actually kind of appreciate that a tiny bit. If I kill it with a quick attack, I will once again be angry. Okay, good. Okay. Mm, bag, ball. Let's put this one in a premier ball. I think a pre I think having a bag on and a premier ball would be kind of litty. You butt cheek, don't do that. I wasted my only premier ball. Alright, well, you go into the great ball. You know what? You could have, you know, you could have been in a nice premier ball. You could have had the atmosphere of the premier. But no. Now you're going to be stuck inside of a great, which is great, but not ultra. Not premier. Look what you've done. Let's go. Well, again, could have been on a premiere ball, but didn't want it, so you will be in a great Frog is level 31. So according to what that one person told me, is is Frogadier gonna disobey me now? I wonder. A well it's well-developed neck muscles and iron-like head can smash boulders into pieces. Dang, Bagon. Bagon's hard for for real. Alright, well now we're just looking for the... Mm, Zangoose and Drifloon. There's 
Jifloon the 30%. Surprised we haven't encountered yet, but we did, so that's the important part. Hmm, it goes. So, physical attacks will not hurt it, therefore, we're gonna start chucking balls. One, two, there we go. Thank you, Drifloon, for being very easy to catch. I, I love it when things are just easy to catch. Alright, Drifloon. A Pokemon formed by the spirits of people and Pokemon. It loves damp and humid seasons. I'm cashed, it's for real. Okay, we just need Zangoose. And considering it's a 10%. It's gonna pop up right away because we're sick. Again, sometimes I get really sad about my luck, and at the same time, I think I often get very, very lucky. And like, you know, I have to like appreciate that also. Okay, don't don't crit. <laughs> yeah, so I gotta appreciate my luck when it comes, you know. I could have been here for another like 10 minutes looking for it, but instead I decided to pop up. So, thank you, Zangoose. And also got that bag on pretty early, too. So, not bad. And it wants to be caught pretty easily, which I also appreciate, although I did get it to red, so I deserve it. Okay, so the only Pokemon that we're missing, we got Drifloon, Spoink, NK, Zangoose, Absol, Manfu, Bagon. The only one that we're missing now is Seviper. And obviously, we're going to miss quite a couple because there's some that I can get through Rock Smashes. But there are three that I can get through Hordes. Talo, Wingle, Seviper. And I need all three, actually. So, it has feuded with Seviper for many generations. Its sharp claws are its biggest weapon. Cool. So now, we got to do some Hordes, which are very... Annoying, actually. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. Where's the honey pot? Is the honey pot here? Oh, it only has a certain number of uses. Okay, well, I gotta keep that in mind. I gotta go grab Combi. Alright, but we got one of the ones that we needed. Yeah, we might have to go grab a combi for its sweet scent because... Um... Yeah. But... Ooh, let's start taking down Wingles. One by one you shall fall. He's gonna growl at me. Alright, that's gonna take forever. Attack. How about you, Wingle, on the left? Oh, I'm confused. Why? No, why? That's not very nice of you. Please. This is why I hate hordes. Because they do stupid things that confuse me. Dude, three in a row, man. Three in a row. Dude, my attack can't go any lower. Please snap out of this. Oh my lordy. Please. Oh my. Oh, this game makes me sad sometimes. All right, well, hey, the one in yellow is good. the one we're gonna catch because it's in the yellow, so might as well work off of that, right? You know, if we're gonna not kill something, we might as well make it easier to catch. And it's gonna confuse me again. Oh, why would you do something like that? Gonna keep water gunning me. Gotta hit the frog with the water, dude. 
I'm a frog. I like water. Alright, Wingle. Your absolute butt cheek, you're going down. Never mind, I'm gonna hurt myself instead, because apparently I think that's funny. I'm gonna need to heal very soon. Mm, you know, I'm not gonna heal. I'll just switch out Pokemon if needed. You. I just get done like, hey guys, sometimes I do get lucky. And then I only hit like 2% of all confuse. Pain. Like, I, I shouldn't be only hitting like one of the confuses. Like, I forgot what the percentage is, but it shouldn't be that low. One more. One more. Come on, Frogadier. Just one more. Alright, snapped out of confusion. At the perfect time. Thank you. Appreciate that, bud. I'm gonna need to, need to grab probably Combi after this. Because, I mean, if I get really lucky and... Uh, so I don't poke well. And I get Talo and Spiper in the next two, that would be wonderful. But I also feel like then I would still need to grab Combi for, uh, you know, later for later routes. But, you know, maybe we'll take care of it then. For now, we got our Wingle. That's the important part. Catching sea winds with its long wings. It soars as if it were a glider. It folds its wings to the east. Pretty epic. Okay. Back to the bag. Back to the honey we go. Alright, give me a Talo or a Saviper, por favor. No, we gotta grab our... Well, now we're gonna have to grab our... Pombi. And, you know what? Let's... We might as well... Um, grab... Or heal while, while we do it, because we're gonna have to come back anyway, right? Um, the only thing... I wish I could put a Pokemon away. That's fine, I guess. Alright. Let's see if we can get lucky. Not Wingle. Hey, we got a Surviper in the mix of the singles. So, to be honest, it's cash with me. As long as we get one in there. Let's go ahead and kill off the other Zangus. Ooh, are they all gonna quick attack? Don't do that. No, 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 no. Do not hit your Surviper. I need that alive. Please do not hit the Surviper. No. That's fine. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't. Don't do that. Wait, game. Don't do that either. Don't... Oh no. Is it... Is it gonna kill it? What? What's gonna happen? It's gonna kill the Surviper. Um... Okay. Don't kill it, please. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Oh, you butchy. Oh, why would you do that? Attempt number 27? Please, use Fury Cutter or Leer and do not crit. Those are my requests. Please. Leer? That's one. That's one. Leer? That's two. I've never gotten this lucky before. Alright, Scratch is not optimal, but I'll use a Scratch. Wonderful. Good, good, good. Okay, quick attack. The Zangoose. Now I need the other two to not do anything crazy. Please use Fury Cutter. Fury Cutter, please, or Leer. Fury Cutter or Leer, please. That's not good. Okay. Now here's my problem. 
A raptor? No, why would you attack two different angles? Okay. Well, I have to hope that the other Zangoose doesn't do anything nuts. Come on, we're so close. We are so close. Don't do anything crazy, please. Zangoose, please. We did it. We freaking did it. Okay. Quick attack, the Zangoose. Alright, we have the survivor to ourselves. Oh, we had to get very lucky to do that. We Honestly, the only reason it worked is because um, the two Zangoose leered in the beginning. If they did not leer in the beginning, we wouldn't have been able to got it. Oh, what are you doing? Do not do whatever you're going to do. I no longer like Zviper. Zviper. You are no longer cool in my eyes. Stay in that ball. Good. Never mind. I was gonna say, ah, just joking. Huh? No, I actually, I genuinely do not like Zviper anymore. You are on the list. I would throw a luxury ball at you, but I no longer want you to be in luxury. You don't deserve it. Meanwhile, it's biting the poo poo out of me. Oh, come on, this video is 56 minutes long. Just. I'm also probably gonna die in a second, so just. Please. Come on, man. Oh! One. Two. Three. Still don't like you though. I liked you the first time. I was just playing, but now I actually don't like you. All right, cool. In battle, it uses its bladed tail to counter any Zangoose. It secretes a deadly venom from its tail. I do like that whole thing with Zangoose and Survivor though. I think that's is pretty cool. Um, I just really don't like it that it is that hard to catch. Now I don't know if um. Maybe there's Zangoose in a different part of the game or route, but um, I put myself to the torture of getting it right now because that's just, I don't know. Again, with Leaf Green, it was so much easier to know like where all the Pokemon are, um, but in this game, I genuinely don't know. So like, I don't know if I can catch as a Viper later, um, but I'm not gonna like stick around to find out. I'm, you know, I'm gonna grab it now, so I don't have to come back, you know? Um, we do have to deposit a Linone. And then, wait, 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 um, yes, we can go ahead and put Combi back too, and then we can go ahead and grab, grab our Ralts back, and then, um, let's, let's Wingle Evolution level, is it 25, okay, um, sure. Let's grab Wingo for a while. Definitely won't get it to 25 very quickly, but sure. Okay, guys, we're gonna go ahead and end up the episode. Again, I just wanted to do one very quick episode, and it didn't end up being that quick. Let's see, this was 8.50? What time is it now? Um... Oh. Oh, it's 8.50 now. Okay. Well, let's just, whatever, save the game again. Okay, guys, um... See you next time. Hey everybody, how's it going? We're playing some more Pokemon, so let's go ahead and continue. We just made it to this town. We, call our, we caught all of the Pokemon um, right, you know, like in the past route. Hey trainer, use this, it's Rock Smash. Okay, so we can definitely use that in the, in the cave prior to us. Maybe that's kind of what we need to do? We'll take a look though. Okay, bro, this guy juked me. Yo, this is a good deal. Why don't you trade a Pokeball for my Dive Ball? Yeah. Thanks. Okay, I mean, I'll... See, it's a good deal, in it? We can trade again tomorrow if you want. Um, yeah? Maybe I'll use that dive ball on a shiny star you. I'm very particularly about the speed of the Pokemon. That's why I'm wondering if you have any Pokemon with a speed of 87 or greater with you. Why not? There's more than Pokemon to speed. But I'd really like to see, see today a Pokemon with a greater speed than 87. 
I think... Shouldn't... I would think my Frogadier would, because it's a very fast Pokemon, but... Apparently there's not... Fossil Lab. Okay, so that's a Fossil Lab. What is over here? You can normally ride the Rhyhorn to get to Glittering Cave, but we're giving them a little break. Okay, so we have to do whatever in this town before we go over there. And then very quickly, what is down here? Okay. Okay, so it's talking about Smeargle. What is this place? Welcome to Hotel. Okay, so this is a hotel. Um... Yes, let's go check out the rooms to see if there's anything exciting in them. Um, so it's the Kalos region, not bad. Today is Monday. I'm going to help you shift gears and peek right up by giving a Pokemon an alert ribbon. Okay. Um. What what does that do? Friend, I'm Mr. Okay, this guy. Um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever, just give me my old power, please. It's bonding time. Special defense power level one. Thank you. Um, so I know we get a bunch of old powers from, like, the online Nintendo system, but obviously we're not doing that, so, um, it's cool that they implemented a couple ways where I could get my old powers not, you know. Why don't you use this? TM97. Um, oh, okay. So that changes depending on my location. That could be pretty useful, actually. But, let's go ahead and go into the fossil place. The area we're originally supposed to be going into. Wait for me. Welcome, future archaeologists. You were drawn here by the mystique of fossils, no doubt. We're researching Mega Evolution, and we were wondering if you know anything about it. Oh, so you're Professor Sycamore's students. I've heard about you. Mega Evolution, you say? I'm sorry, but all I know is that it has something to do with mysterious stones. Still, since you're students of the professor, you must know about fossils, correct? Yes. Wonderful, I expect no less from his students. That's right, fossils are the legacy of prehistoric Pokemon. You should really go to the dig site and see the real thing firsthand. Well, if you don't know anything about Mega Evolution, then... Hold on, Pokemon that can be restored from fossils just might have something to do with Mega Evolution. The assistant in Glittering Cave right now might know about that. What should we do? Well, it's time right here. Maybe I should go talk to that assistant. Um, okay, so the Glittering Cave we go... If you have a Pokemon Genesect, please let me know. Okay, so we need Genesect for him. Okay, it looks like a Dragonite up there. Okay. Okay, so this is just a PC. Can this map tell us anything? No? Alright, well, looks so like we gotta go to the Glittering Cave. I'm guessing is right over here. Rocky helmet. Um, oh, okay. Well, whenever we get a really uh, attack of your Pokemon, we'll definitely put that on them. Can we jump on you, bud? Thanks, Rhyhorn. Okay. I'm guessing we can't fall off of the mountain. That's probably pretty important. Oh, wait, there are Pokemon here. Also, lag. Helio. Okay, game. Catch up, please. Um. Okay, hold on. So, I'm, I'm gonna go to Ambrette Town. What in the world? Where are we? I don't even know where we're actually at. Let's go ahead and do a quick attack on the Helio. Almost killed it. Good thing we didn't. Alright, bag, ball. Let's go ahead and throw a luxury ball at it. I'm trying to see where the heck we're even at. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't particularly know where we're at. 
Frogadier level 33. Um, Smackdown? I'll go to Smackdown. Ooh. Well, that's 50. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of Bubble. Honestly, like, I never use Bubble nowadays anyway. And that's a rock move, which might be useful for some other typings. So that's fine. They make their home in deserts. They can generate their energy from basking in the sun. So eating food is not a requirement. Cool. I still have no idea where I'm at right now. I'm gonna use the can I see on the town map where the heck I am? I'm on Route 9? Okay. Ooh, okay. There's three Pokemon we can find here. Okay. Good. And actually, we got the rare spawn just then, so that's pretty good. Can we, like, go fast? Okay, cool. I was like, Rhyhorn can just do it. Alright, can I just, uh, get off you for a minute here? Um... There we go. Please do not go anywhere. I still need you. Alright, a defense X. Cool. Okay. Guessing I can't go in. I'm like trying to charge. Alright, well, there's another item we should definitely grab. And while we're at it, we can also get some new Pokemon. And, and that is one of them. So. Ooh, Sandstream. I might end up killing him, but I would think the Hippo might have a little bit of a higher defense. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought he'd have a little higher defense. Yeah, let's go to Quick Attack it again. And I don't think I should kill it. I should definitely put it in the red, though. Okay. Well... That won't put me to sleep unless I don't catch it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a Pokeball in. I also need to buy a couple more Great Balls. I've only got normal Pokeballs now. There we go. Alright. And then we just need Sand Dial. That's it. It lives in arid places. Instead of perspiration, it expels grainy sand from its body. Alright, very, very cool. Bonk. Okay, let's get down from it. Alright, paralyze heal. Let's jump back on the horsey. Have to turn around here, bud. Alright, now we go this way. Smash. Bonk. 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 Um. I don't want to fight her just yet. I want to see what's up there, and I also need to catch this last Pokemon, too. That's exactly what I need. I need the sand dial. Perfect. Okay. My attack bell, which is actually very, very useful considering I don't want to kill it. Okay, good. Also gonna sneeze. Alrighty. Um, nope, I do not want a quick attack. I want a ball. And we can go and throw a Pokeball at it. We will not throw a dive ball. Ooh, the sand dial did not want to stay in that hop. Yeah, here we go. Ball number two. Wow. Okay. This is a uh, aggressive sand dial, it seems. It is a max level sand dial for this route. So maybe that's it, but... Wow. And 
Yeah, he's actually doing a good bit of damage to Frogadier here. Alright, well, one of these has to catch it eventually, so... Maybe this one? Thank you. Alright, Sandile was caught. And that is all of the Pokemon for this route, so we are good to go. It moves along below the sand surface, except for its nose and eyes. A dark membrane shields its eyes from the sun. Cool. Um, let's go this way first. I feel like there's an... I want to go this way first. Okay. Oh, wait, is this the right way to go? Here for a sky battle? Um... Okay. Um... Dust Ball? Well, noted, don't take sky battles because I don't have any sky Pokemon. Um, okay, I can't get over there. But, duly noted. Um. Alright, now, question. I want to get that one. I don't know how to get it, but to be honest, I'm not really that worried about it. But it does look like I have to fight these people, so. Um, oh, please, do, do restore my health, por favor. What? It's easy to get lost inside the cage, just one step at a time. Well, cool. also, I really gotta make sure someone can learn Rock Smash on my team. I might actually straight up not have anybody to do it. And if that's the case, then I need to go back and grab someone. Ooh, Venipede is able. Dude, that's very, very clutch. If Venipede couldn't do it, um, I would actually be in a good bit of trouble here. So, Venipede, thank you. I appreciate that I brought you along. Very, very much so. Alright, now we're in the glittering cave. Um. Ooh, we can find a lot of Pokemon here. Wild Pokemon. Okay. There are quite a few Pokemon to catch here, so. Um, yes. Let's see, I need, I need Pokemon to jump out at me. Oh, okay. Cubone. Alright, good start. Um, I do not think a quick attack will kill it, because it's, Cubone is high defense. Yeah. Kill Whip. It's fine. Hopefully we don't crit here. Okay, good. That's probably gonna hurt a little bit. But, um, I'm gonna throw a ball here. Yeah, there's quite a bit of Pokemon to catch. Machop, Rhyhorn, Cubo, and Onyx, Luna Stone, Soul Rock, Wubat, Feral Seed, Genghis Khan, and Mawile. It's a lot. Hopefully I have enough Pokeballs to catch all of them. Um Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably cut it pretty close because there's ten. So it means I can only really throw two or three balls at each max. Alright, well the cube one took two, so. Alright, well we got the cube on. It wears a skull with its dead mother on its head. When it becomes lonesome, it is said to cry loudly. Very, very sad. Okay, so that end was not a good one. Where's the shaking areas? I don't... Okay. Let's see, give me another Pokemon here. Lunatone? Okay. I will definitely take a Lunatone. Go on, quick attack it. 
Ooh. A little stronger on this one, huh? Alright, we can probably hit it with a round and not kill it. Okay. Um... We could probably even hit it again with that round. Because it'll probably get it to the red here. Yeah, perfect. Psy wave, that's cool. Uh, ooh, that kind of hurt, but we're fine. Alright, what is... The Dust Bowl is for dark places, right? Ooh, okay, again, we have an allowance of really just one or two... Or two to three balls per Pokemon, so... Um... I really can't have it jumping out of a bunch here. I need it to stay, like, pretty now. One, two... All right, let's go. All right, cool. Two balls. That's inside of our allowance here. All right, we gain some XP. Hop up to 18. Wismer to 20. I'm pretty sure Wismer is gonna evolve here. All right, and Lunatone was added. Because it turns active on Nights of the Full Moon, it is said to have some link to the lunar phases. Pretty sure again, Wismer is gonna. Yep, Wismer is a. Oh, Hopip! Hopip and Wismer, Wismer are gonna evolve. Classic music. There we go, we got a skip loom. And now. We can evolve this with a leaf stone. And I think I actually have one. I don't know if I want to use it for that, though. So, I don't know. But we also got the Wismer evolving, which is nice. And I'll probably end up putting the Wismer back for a while. Just because I think to go to Exploud, it's like level 40-something. So I might do that later in the game. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, the Wismer evolved in the Loudred. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's get rid of a Howl. There you go. Cool. Must be pretty annoying to live next to, a, like, a group of those. Okay, there's the Hearthstone, which is really the important item in here. Um. Now, here's my problem. I don't understand where I went wrong. Oh, there's the exit. Oh, I want some more shaking areas. Or do I probably have to exit the cave and come back in, right? To get those new spawns, right? Because I did get a couple of the Pokemon, but we, we have quite a few more that we still need to catch. Oh, I did not mean to do that. All right, let's go back in and see if those areas respawned. But it might be it might be quickest to Yeah, go in and out and come back to this area here. Alright, I'm a chop. That one is the 50%. So this is the one that we're gonna really get most often here. So we're gonna go ahead and get it out of the way right now. Low sweep. That should actually hurt a little bit. Okay. Again, would be nice if it just caught the first time, just so I could kind of have a couple of extra balls on some other Pokemon here. Ah, of course. Leer. That's fine. Okay, come on. Come on, Machop. Stay in that ball. Let's go. Cool. Good, 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 good. And then a peep to 19. Um, no. I don't want Poison Tail, that's fine. It has to grab repeatedly to strengthen its entire body. It uses every type of martial arts. 
The thing that confuses me is martial arts was created by humans, and I don't understand how it can... L I mean, I guess it does spend a lot of time with humans. Like, where does it learn these martial arts, right? Um... Alright, so yeah, we're gonna have to keep hitting this, uh, shaking area, or shaking area, but it's really just like a dark area. Okay, Lunatone, we already got one of those. Let's go. Well, let's go find another one, I guess. Ah, oh, Machop, we already have another one of you. Yeah, I was pretty unlucky to get that Lunatone. That Lunatone's a 5%, so... That one was definitely unlucky. The Machop wasn't unlucky, because that's a 50% spawn, you know? Another Machop. Alright, here we go. A Rhyhorn, which is the 20%. So another one of the more common ones, but one that we do not have. So I'm going to quick attack it. Ooh, not effective in the slightest. Ow. Alright, I should probably heal. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's go ahead and heal real quick. Just so we don't have to deal with maybe getting, you know, knocked out. I just don't want to deal with that. Or an attack. That's fine. Now, question... No, I will definitely kill it with... Alright, let's just keep doing rounds until we get it to the yellow and go from there. That was a lot more damage than I thought it would be. Now, that makes me very happy because it's going to make the catch easier, but wow, that was... That, that was a lot more than the quick attack. But it should be able to... Never mind... Alright. I'm getting two to three ball allowance on each, so. Hoping. Seems like most Pokemon were caught in the second ball, so. This cave is a is a two ball cave. I don't think a single one of them was in the first, but every single one was in the second. Except maybe the Machop was in the third. Strong but not too bright. This Pokemon can shatter even a skyscraper with its charging tackles. I like Rhyhorn. It's one of the, like, OG Pokemon. Alright, another shaking area. Gimme... Not that. So, the ones that we still need are... Onyx, Solrock, Wubat, Ferroseed, Genghis Khan, and Mawile. I will take that. Apparently, I did not see that the first time. Definitely will not complain about that type of find. Okay, there's another thingy in with Jigger. Okay, we do not need that. Do not need that at all. Go ahead and do up. I'm gonna do the dash on that one. Okay, go in. Ooh, what the heck is that? Stop going. Oh, okay, David. Just don't touch. What in the world? What's this? Well, well, what do we have here? A noisy little trainer has come poking around. Listen up. We're the fashionable team whose very name makes people tremble in fear. Team Flare. Team Flare's goal is to make it, so we're the only ones who are happy. They don't care one bit about what happens to other trainers or Pokemon. Get out of here, kid. Don't you know not to play with fire? 
So don't, it doesn't really matter though. Someday everyone not in team player is going to get burned anyway. Okay. Um. No. Getting my fancy suit dirty isn't the stylish way to do things, but if you insist, I'll obliterate you. Alright, let's do it. You're challenged by Team Flare Grunt. Well, it looks like he has... Um... Fire Pokemon, which is really perfect. Um... Okay. Um, what else has he got? Wingle to 10. Nope, we'll keep, we'll keep this out. And then we'll do another water, oh, I could have probably done a rock one, but that's fine. Okay. And we defeated the Grunt. You may have beaten me, but when I lose, I go out in style. And we got a little bit of money for it. Thank you. What's this? You're a pretty tough Pokemon trainer for a kid, but watch yourself. I'm not the only member of Team Flare. Um. Yes. Let's use a Rock Smash. I'm pretty sure we can find some Pokemon from that too. Okay, but not in that one. Break it? Yeah. Let's, what about? There's a couple of Pokemon we can find, so. And actually, there's some of the ones that we're looking for in even in the dark areas. We're going to take down everyone else so we can get what we want. All right. See, so there's a couple trainers. This one's another two. All right. So Gulpin and the other one's Electrike. Interesting. All right. Well, we're gonna do the classic here. And considering we're over leveled, it's gonna be pretty easy. Now, honestly, we're not even over leveled because we fought. We're just over leveled because we catch so many things that you know we still get XP from catching. So we end up, you know, getting a lot of XP back in return here. Okay. We go to eleven. You weren't supposed to beat me. Well, too bad. Alright, come on. Give me a Pokemon out of these rock smashes. There's Pokemon in here that we need. Let's go. Alright. Um, so, give me a uh, Dwebble. I'll take a Dwebble. Dwebble is my homie. I'm tempted to do a round, but let's just do a quick attack because I don't feel like just... Okay, we can probably do a round here. Alright, increase your defense. That's actually not a bad thing at all. Um, that'll help me not kill you. Ooh. Yeah, if it didn't do that defense crow, I would have killed it. So, um, mm, that's good luck. Thank you, Dwebble. I actually appreciate that. That helps quite a bit. That's that's the Dwebel. We're looking for a couple of other Pokemon. It makes a hole in a suitable rock. If that rock breaks, the Pokemon re remains agitated until it locates a replacement. Cool. Jump from the ceiling. Zubat, that is another one that I need. I will take a Zubat. Um... I'm gonna get a little crazy here. I'm just gonna throw one Pokeball. Um, I have a feeling I'm gonna kill it with Quick Attack. All right, maybe I'll just, I will throw another Quick Attack. Um, I don't think it's a good idea, but I'm gonna do it. I have an inkling that I'll kill it. Okay. So we wasted a ball, but that's not the biggest deal on the planet, to be honest. 
I just hope it stays in the first try. Let's go, Wubat. Thank you. Alright, Wubat was caught. Skip Bloom to 19. Its habitat is dark forests and caves. It emits ultrasonic waves from its nose to learn about its surroundings. So, kind of like an off brand Zubat. But this one is psychic instead of poison. Alright, Rock Smash. Give me, um. Give me an Onyx, please. Nothing. Okay. We're Team Flare. We put a. We're looking for fossils. There are two members. Well, then, are you ready to team up and battle them? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. You're going to. No, oh, we won't let you get away with it. Alright. Team Flare battle. 1-1? One, one. Alright. Shouldn't be a very hard fight. That Esper is a pretty cute Pokemon. Alright, let's go ahead and Water Pulse the Scraggy. And then that'll leave just the Crow Dunk. It survived? You butt cheek, why? That hurt. Wow! Dude, they blasted that Esper. Holy! Alright. Well, it looks like she's got another Pokemon, but wow! Alright. No! Why would you attack that one? Attack the one! Attack the one! This Serena's on a whole nother level. Like... Her battling is like... Okay, I'm just gonna risk it. Why would you do that? And I keep attacking it with water and as, I, as I'm making fun of Serena. I'm making fun of Serena. And I'm hitting the Krogunk with water. Oh no, are we gonna like lose, dude? Alright, well luckily we actually have a few, we have quite a few capable Pokemon, so really not that big of a problem. Um, yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and bite the Scraggy because it doesn't seem like, now all of a sudden, she wants to hit the right person. Thank you, Serena. You only could have done that a while ago. Alright, Loudred to 21. Venipede to 20. Chomp. Alright. Well, we should be able to kill it here. Pin Missile. Chomp, chomp. Alright, and we could probably hit it with a pound here. Alright, and a pound should... Yeah, there we go. Alright. Started off a little bad. Started off a little bad, but that's okay. My problem is, I don't think I have a Frogadier now, because I don't have a Revive with me. Go, go, Team Flare. Oh, I lost. I guess I'll stop cheering now. And we got a little bit of money for it. Oh man, my favorite fashionable Team Flare suit is filthy. If we can restore fossils, we can make some good money. Okay, will you move out of my way? Okay, so here's... Okay, let's first do this. Onyx, please. Um, exactly what I needed. Literally exactly what I needed. Unless... Uh, unless one of those could do it. Yeah, that is literally what I needed. Thank you, game. Appreciate that. Right, can, Serena, can you maybe heal me? Okay, she can't heal me. I thought maybe the game would let me. Alright, come on. I need an Onyx. Alright. Let's go, dude. 
I'm, I'm really glad it's actually giving me some of the things that I need. Um, let's go and around it. I know for a fact Quick Attack will not get it to yellow. Okay. That's fine. Alright, so it's going to be a little bit of a hard catch. Um, but I definitely think it's doable. Hard catch, but doable. Okay. Um, right, let's keep throwing some balls at it. One, two, what? We might also have to throw a super potion on Frogadier so he doesn't die again. I only got 12 balls though, I'm starting to run out here. Please, Onyx, don't... Don't, don't be that guy. All of your other friends have been so nice and staying in their balls. Just stay. One, two, three. Let's freaking go, dude. Alright. There we go. Onyx. Burrows at high speed in search of food. The tunnels it leaves are used as homes for diglets. That is something that I did not know. That makes a lot of sense, though. Um... I actually, I don't think I need to use any more Rock Smashes because I found both Pokemon, the Dwebble and the Onix. So really, I just need a Pharaoh Seed from that and something else. Okay, an Escape Rope, that's pretty good. And then also, before I forget, let me heal because Frogadier is pretty low. There we go. Did you find him? Why, hello. Here to look for fossils as well. Are you okay? Did Team Flare come here? Team Flare? What's that, a Pokemon? Don't worry about it. Looks like he was completely absorbed and looking for fossils. You two are very lucky. I just not found two fossils, but they're ones I already have, so I'll give one to each of you. Do you want the jaw fossil or the sail fossil? I want the jaw fossil. Um, is that? Yes, I do. Because that has Tyrant, and I like Tyrant. Well then, I'll take this one. I'll restore your fossils and turn them back into Pokemon at the Fossil Lab. Hope to see you there. Okay. Well, we went looking for the assistant, and we found the suspicious group called Team Flare as well. I guess I should train more so I could travel safely around with those Team Flare. In that case, I guess the best thing to do would be challenge the Silly Age City Gym. Okay, well, I can definitely do that, um, but I do need one of these encounters, and I need Pharaoh Seed, for favor. Okay, not Pharaoh Seed. But I think it's a 50-50 chance, so we really shouldn't have to do too many encounters before we get it. Um, but just for luck purposes, so that's a 50%. Let's We're going to keep counting down from there. So let's go in. Go back in, and let's keep running around until we hit that. Alright. 50%. 25%. Alright, we are currently at 25%. Um, I guess we can keep running the rest of the way. Because there should be a couple more drops along here somewhere. I don't know how long it takes for one of those drops to hit, but I guess we'll keep going in and out until we get it. Is there always a... There wasn't a drop there that time. I don't know where the drops are. Maybe I should. Maybe if I talk to Serena, it resets them? I don't know. 
can I even find Pharaoh Seed in those encounters? I'm really trying to figure it out because it doesn't seem like we can. No! We just got horrendously unlucky. And you know what's the funny part? I started keeping track of the percentages just because I knew... I knew it would try to screw with me. I knew it would. Watch me accidentally kill it, too. Okay, got into the yellow. Alright, so while we catch it, I'm gonna try to get the odds on that. So, let's see, 100. I'm gonna open up a calculator. So, 100 divided by 2, that's 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and I think that's nine. So zero point nineteen, right? Zero point nineteen five. Zero point one nine five divided by wait. 0.195 divided by wait wait no 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 it's 100 divided by 0 0.195 so what happened to me will happen 1 in 512 which is just an interesting number 500 people and this would only happen to me. And also, I'm, I don't know if that number's right. I'm, I think that's accurate. Pretty sure that's accurate. When threatened, it attacks by shooting a barrage of spikes. When gives it a chance to escape, it rolls away. But we're fine. We got the Pharaoh Seed out of the way. And honestly, I'm not even mad about the luck because... I just know what's coming, so like, I'm not mad, you know? I've prepared myself mentally that the game will screw with me. It, And it's really funny, because again, I've, I've, I've said in a prior thing, I also do realize that I've gotten extremely lucky at other points too. So it seems like the game is really odd and either gives me really, really good luck or really, really bad luck. It doesn't really like to stay in the middle. Which is kind of funny to me. You know, I either get every single Pokemon that I need right on time, or I absolutely never get it, you know. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do a couple more encounters for the Pokemon that we need. We only need a couple here. Um We just need Soul Rock, Genghis Khan, and Mawile. So it's only three. It's not that many. The problem is. Um, those are all the pretty rarer spawns, which, you know, are a little harder to... Hel Hello? Very much confusion, yes. Alright, again, Solrock, Genghis Khan, or Mawile? Mawile, um, that is actually the really rare one, 2%, so yes, thank you. We will definitely take that. Um, I'm gonna go in and try to do a round, and this might be very dumb of me. No, okay. That was probably a little risky, but let's go ahead and stick in the luxury ball, too. I just want to see if maybe I can put in a luxury ball. One, two, no, Ma Wild didn't want to be in a luxury ball. That's all right. Let's stick in a normal Pokeball then. One. 
bite. Chomp, chomp. All right, and of course it crits me. All right, we only got eight balls left. We don't have much, so. Thank you, Mawile. You piece of crap. Why would I, why did I thank you? I shouldn't have thanked you. It was a premature thanks. I take it back. I'm no longer thankful. One, two, three. I'm not thankful. Whoa. This small while is nuts. Absolutely nuts. I might need to go buy more balls. I don't I don't have any left. Oh dude! My Pokeball allowance is absolutely destroyed. I was actually doing pretty good hitting every single one with two. Dude, my allowance is gone. Dude, I'm not gonna have enough balls for Genghis Khan or Soul Rock. And Frogadier's gonna die. Oh, this is really, really bad, actually. Please, small while. Oh. I don't have any balls left now. That's kind of a problem. Okay, well, we at least got it, but that took a lot more balls than I wanted it to. It uses its docile looking face to low falls into complacency, then bites with its huge, relentless claws. Alright, well, we got it. That's the important part. Um, so I'm gonna use a potion, and I'm out of potions too, so I don't- I can't take too much damage from here on out, basically. So now what we need... The 5% Soul Rock and 4% Genghis Khan. Hey, that's the Soul Rock. So really, we're only gonna need Genghis Khan. The only problem is I don't know if I'll have enough balls for either of them. I was going to do a round, and again, I'm hoping this doesn't kill it. Okay, not even close to killing it. But your spin should really not hurt that much. But the problem is that's gonna hurt me a little bit every round. Okay, let's do another round hit on it. Aw, oh, so close to red. So I think what we're gonna end up doing is... Um, so let's switch out Pokemon. Let's go to Loudred. Wait. Oh no, because of the fire, it traps me. Alright. We have to just kind of hope here that it catches it. If not, we're gonna be in some trouble. Oh, thank you. Oh, that helps so much. Soul Rock, you don't even know how much that actually helps. Alright, and Frogadier's 34. Alright. There we go. Solar energy is the source of its power, so it is strong during the daytime. When it spins, its body shines. Alright. I'm guessing we don't have any more potions, do we? We have two more potions! Okay, we're fine. Alright. Alright, we're good. Hey, we're solid. Now, we just need the Genghis Khan, and we're all set. That's all we need, just the Genghis Khan. Um, and... Yeah, hold on. Glittering Cave. Okay. Once again, we just really need that Genghis Khan. And also... Okay, no, I don't want to go that way. Where did I come from? Okay. I, there's one item. There should be a Genghis Khanite somewhere around here that I still do need. So I gotta make sure I, I don't leave without it. Also, I'm just putting it out there. If I find the shiny Pokemon and I run out of balls, I will be um, horrendously sad. And I will for sure throw every single ball that I have at it. Very, very quickly, we just have to find a Genghis Khan inside of the Glittering Cave and then we can finally get out of here. Um, so yeah, let's go in. Again, 
uh, we're just gonna skip to me finding the Genghis Khan because it's a 4% and it's not that easy to find. So let's get started here. Oh! Oh, okay, here we go! Genghis Khan, that um, took 15 minutes. So, not that bad, 15 minutes. You could say it's bad for a single Pokemon. Um, but, like, yeah, if there's, like, 540 I gotta catch, times 15, divided by 60, 135 hours to catch all of them, not bad, I'll take it. I'm gonna do another quick attack, and if you crit Frogadier, I'm gonna quit the game. Okay. Only in the yellow. I would like it to be in the red. But I don't dare hit it one more time, so... And this is what we got. So... We don't got many chances here. We have to really, like, pray up right now. That's really bad. Um, that is really bad. I don't have many more chances here. Alright. Come on. Oh, um, please. Oh, thank you so much. I got so scared. Alright, that is the last Pokemon that we have to get in the cave. And a lot of you might be wondering, why am I trying so hard for the single Genghis Khan? Um, this is actually the only place in the entire game, um, that you can get a Genghis Khan, so I quite literally could not leave here until I got it. There is nowhere else in the game to get it. It raises its offspring in its belly pouch, it lets the baby out to play only when it feels safe. So, this was definitely like a must catch here. Now, I don't remember which end was which. Yes, okay. I actually did go the right way, look at that. So, we can now go ahead and head back to basically where we were at before. Go ahead and grab this. And then we did catch all of the Pokemon that we needed from this area, so we're basically good to go. Um, we can just kind of run from the things that are here. Unless, of course, I get like a shiny and I... As much as I want a shiny, I actually don't want a shiny right now because I have no balls to catch it, so. Por favor, no shiny right now. Just give it to me in like five minutes when I have more balls. Now, another thing, there was an item over there that I totally neglected to go get. So let me run over and get that. All the way over here. Firestone. All right, that's a pretty item. Okay. Let's go down, sideways. I wish I could like sprint with this Rhyhorn, but I know I, at least the buttons that I'm pressing won't let me. Right, another sand dial. I definitely, we gotta stop by the Pokemon, Pokestop. Pokemart? I know there used to be a Poke Center and a Pokemart. Now they're one thing. I don't know what they call it now. Is it still technically a Poke Center? I don't know, man. I, I don't know what the new kids call it nowadays. Um, okay. Psych. I have to go back. Bonk. Bonk. Alright, we're making our way downtown. Another encounter. That we will run away from, because I don't need you. Maybe I would have caught it if it was the other uh, sex of the hippopotamus. I know the female and male look different. Maybe I would have caught it if it was the different one, but probably still not. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I'm not, okay. I'm not, nope, it looks like I'm going to go right here. Pretty cool. Alright, well that's that whole arc done. Now we gotta go to the fossil area. But first we're gonna go straight to the Pokemon Center before I forget. And heal and buy more Pokeballs. And put away some Pokemon too. Which is 
put these away. Go ahead and heal these bad boys up. Cool. Thanks for waiting. Liddy. Okay. Deposit. We will go ahead and deposit Skiploom. Deposit Loudred. We will keep these other three. We gotta withdraw two more. Okay, I think I'm gonna grab the Gulpin, and I'm also going to grab the Talo. So those are the two Pokemon that we'll just keep on us. We're gonna keep them handy. And let's see how much money we got. I'm hoping I have quite a bit. 16k, actually not as much as I thought we did. We can go ahead and buy 30 more uh, normal Pokeballs. And then we we'll probably buy... 10 more Great Balls. We definitely need a couple more potions now. So let's buy two of those. And I can't buy... Okay, and I can't buy Revive. Okay. Let's buy a few more Balls then. Let's buy a few more Pokeballs. Okay, eight more. Alright, we should be good now. We should be good. Um, we... That'll be enough for... A little while a very tiny little while all right but let's go ahead and go to the fossil peoples well, let's see what he has to say I am researching Pokemon fossils shall I restore it yes okay so we gave him the jaw fossil I restored the fossil this is Tyrant please take good care of it I need to send to box one Wow, that is a much simpler process than uh, before. Usually I'd have to walk around and have an inventory slot open. That was fairly easy. Ooh, the aquarium. Pokemon on the far side of the glass will they see everyday strange faces. Um, thanks for visiting. Okay, that are, there's no ticket. You think there's still Pokemon I've never seen down there deep in the depths of the sea? Storm Drain. Um, okay, that's not an entrance way to anywhere. Oh, it's a golden magic harp. Let me guess, you want to fish for Pokemon in the sea, right? Sure, shall I lend you a rod? I'm a fishing fanatic, and I've collected more old rods than I could ever use. First fishing rod. Okay. Um, you use it, press the A button. You can either try to catch that you fish, or... You don't, okay, so all right, we got the old rod, so we can't get star you yet, um, because we need the good rod for that. But real quick, route eight, we caught all of these, but now we can catch love disc with an old rod, so that's something we can very quickly do though. So let's go over here, and then can we register the? Okay, so it's actually the Y button. Ooh, okay, so I gotta make sure to catch it fast. Especially when I'm chain fishing, I gotta be quick. Alright, I was pressing the wrong button. Alright, fair enough. I'm like, I am not that slow. I, I swear. Like, come on, man. Okay. Well, we can go ahead and give it a water pulse. I don't think a water pulse will kill it. If it does, we can just get another one. Because it's the only thing you can find around here. Perfect. Don't hurt yourself. Please do not hurt yourself. Alright. Um, we have one shot because it's going to kill itself in a second. So let's throw a Great Ball. I really want to make sure I catch this now before it kills itself. Alright, good. Thank you, Love Disc. Thank you for being easy. And that's currently the only thing we can get because anything else I need good or super. So, um, yeah, we can kind of keep moving here. And we don't actually need any other Pokemon on Route 8, so we're kind of done. It lives in warm seas. It is said that a couple finding this Pokemon will be blessed with eternal love. That would be very nice. All right, so ooh, this, this is very... People cannot skate on sand, but I found a random item by just by clicking randomly. That is very nice. I did not mean to get whatever that was, but question, can I just like run around and just spam A and like hope to find stuff? 
Oh, what's over here? What? Pearl? Free items? So wait, can I rock smash this? What happens if I break it? Alright. Come on, give me luck, Binacle. Dwebel. I don't need Dwebel. Get out of here, Dwebel. I don't need you. I need the other guy. Well, hopefully there's more rocks, because I need to smash a couple more. Now, question. If I go in, and then I go back in... Okay, they respawn. Okay, they do respawn. Alright. Not the guy I need. I mean, it's a 34% chance, so realistically, I got two Dwebbles. I should find the next one should be a Binacle. If we're talking about the odds being correct. If the odds are correct. Paint another Sarp? Man, I'm farming the cash. Holy. Man, if I'm getting star pieces like like that, I'll be rich in no time. All right, Binacle. Thank you. There we go. Yep. So, I got two of the Dwebbles. Realistically, the third one should be this. Let's go ahead and quick attack it. Um, I don't know how good its defense is. Okay, its defense is pretty good. All right, now it uses a withdraw. I'm, I might actually kill it with this, but we'll see. Okay, cool. All right, so it's not in the red, um, but that's okay. I think we'll be fine still. We might have to throw like two or three Pokeballs, but we'll be fine. Yeah. When it's in the yellow, it's not the easiest to catch still. And I hate Fury Swipes. Just because every attack takes so long, dude. Come on, man. And he got a... I think he got the full Fury Swipes there. I should come... Definitely should come back here and break more rocks, though. Those things are lucrative. Stay in my Pokeball. What? Two, three, butt cheek. All right, come on now. I don't want to use too many Pokeballs on you. Stay in one of them. This one's definitely it. Yeah. Alright, the Binacle was caught. Alright, we've officially gotten all the Pokemon as of what we can currently do. Alright. Two Binacle live together on one rock. When they fight, one of them will move to a different rock. Well, I hope they don't fight then. I don't want my Binacle to split up into two people. So wait. What is this? Oh, this is Ambret Town. Can I find a different Pokemon in Ambret Town? No. Okay. It's the same Pokemon, actually. Between these two. I mean, I'm, it's the same ocean, I guess. That would make more That makes sense, but... That's the dowsing machine for you. With this, I can find items I can't see with no trouble at all. Here, I have one for you. Okay. Using the dowsing machine? If you're close... Uh... Okay. Thank you. Alright, we got some fights going. Normally, I'd sink like a brick, but when I'm with my Pokemon, swimming is no problem at all. Well, yeah, if they swim for you. They're challenged by Swimmer Genevieve. Wingle? Ooh, I can test out my rock move on Wingle. I think it'd be a, a good test of the move since I'm flying Pokemon. Alright, smack now. Let's smash it into the ground. 
Yeah, because it's flying, it's gonna hurl it towards the ground. Okay, Wingle to 14. Speaking of Wingle... Nope, I don't need Mist. That's fine. Gulpin to 11. And Psyduck. Alright. Run around it. There's definitely water. That'll not be enough to kill it either. Now I'm confused. Let's hope maybe I can just get the quick attack off. Okay, good. Thank you, Frogadier. Absolute homie. Open to 12. Taylor to 10. Hey, I told you I'm a poor swimmer. Throw me a line. Only $600. You cheap. Swish, swish, swish. You wouldn't believe how much I've practiced my casting technique. Time to test the results. Oh, Wharton. Oh, okay, I'm like, is he going to be that Magikarp guy where he has like seven Magikarp? Oh, this guy just has some kind of cool on him. Going round them. Bubble beam. Oh, that's not going to do very much. Mm, let's go ahead and hit him with a quick attack. A bonk. I'm definitely going to be faster than him either way, but you know. And Taylor to 11. Another tentacle. I'm guessing he's just going to have a bunch of tentacle, right? We're just going to keep doing the same thing here. Strict. Okay. Instead of using Quick Attack, I'm going to use another round because I don't know if Quick Attack would have actually killed that there. I didn't feel like chancing it, so... Alright, Ralts to 18. Open to 13. Nope. Let's try SmackDown. I want to see what happens if I use SmackDown. Will I kill it? Oh, they do kill it. Interesting. All right, Wingle to 15. Halo to 12. Swish, swish. I need more practice. Ooh, 2K. That one was a little juicy. That was a juicy win. You're a big one, all right. I can tell from my years of experience as a fisherman. You were challenged by Fisherman Shad. All right, got yourself a shelter. Shelter are pretty cool. Go and keep using SmackDown. Apparently, the SmackDown worked pretty good on the Tentacle. What? You cheap what? All right, well, you're gonna die next turn anyway. Not a very good. Oh, you didn't die. Ow. Ow. Don't do that. Please, stop. I was like, how, how many icicles are you throwing? Why did he get a max hit? I swear, every time I get fury swiped or icicled, it is always like a max hit. I'm pretty sure the last one I got attacked was also a max hit. That's pretty rare. Alright, star you. I wish I had one of those. I don't wanna star you. I almost like I almost like don't wanna hit this, but um I have to, so. Sorry, star you. Poor starfish. Alright, gulp into 14. Halo to 13 and wants to learn wing attack. Sure, let's go ahead and get rid of Growl. I don't think I'll be using Talo, but you know. There's a lot of birds. There's Fletchling, there's Pidgeot, there's Talo. Okay, we got another 2k from the fisherman. Very, very good amount of money. I know these fighter these trainers don't give a lot of money, but I'm tired of wearing this swimsuit. I think I'll make this my last battle in it. So what does she become? Challenged by swimmer Marissa. What kind of trainer? Ooh, Mar Masculine? 
That's a new one. Not in like, just I haven't seen it in the game before yet. I, I, it's in another generation. But. Let's go ahead. I think it's flying, right? I mean, it has wings. Smackdown should hurt it pretty good. Yep, there you go. Alright, level 35 on the Frogadier. I don't know when Frogadier evolves. I'm just gonna throw out a guess and say 36. Um, I should probably look it up. 36, yep. I think most do at 36 nowadays, so. Um, yeah, let's do this. Open the 15. Alright. I'm not tired of wearing swing shoes, just that this one. I'll need to go buy a new one. $700. Well, ooh. Venipede's evolving. I was gonna say, you just gave me $700. You probably could have just used that to buy your new suit. So maybe you should stop challenging me. Or accept the challenge. I don't know. Hey, a Venipede's evolving, which is kind of cool. Now, there's like a middle evolution, right? It, yeah, it's this ball thing first. Whirlipede. Um, Whirlipede evolution level. When do you evolve? 30. Okay, that's actually not even that far away. Um, no. Okay, I can definitely keep it on until 30 then. Because I'm also going to need it for Rock Smash still, so. Oh, wait. What is over here? Hopefully I don't get an encounter for once, because now I'm not, I'm not looking for one. Now. Of course, now that I don't need one, it's like, oh yeah, we'll give you an encounter. Thanks, man. Okay, I'm just going to run away from it. What is over here? Um. Okay. What was the point of all of that? Obviously, it's why I did it. Silly Ash City. Okay. Oh, that was a little bit of lag there. Can I get in this building? Let's go in this one. You have a Pokemon hold an item and trade. You can give trading partner a nice little surprise. Okay. So they can trade when you evolve them friends. Whipped Dream. Okay, and real quick. Um. Okay, so we need a Quamarine City for the Good Rod. Um. Okay, cool. I was wondering, I don't know if the Good Rod was in this town, but it wouldn't make any sense because we just got the Good Rod in the other town, but. You'll find the gym leader in the city at the top of the hill over there. I may have lost to him in the bicycle race, but I'll get my revenge in the Pokemon battle. Okay, I cannot go up there, can I? Alright, I don't know how to get up there, but that's fine. No, look, fishing, try another spot. Um, okay. Well, what is... What, okay, first, what is over here before I go through the town? This is like a whole nother... There's like a whole nother thingy. I'm guessing I can't go there until I learn Surf, right? Okay, this is just an extension. Man, this is like a big town, isn't it? Alright, well then if it's this big, first things first. Let's go one by one, right? So we were right here. Man, this is a big place. Okay, first things first. We start over here. The global trade station, or sure that you know, yeah, okay, that's fine. You can trade through that. Okay. These guys all give tips on that, but I just want to see if they give any items. Okay. So, nothing, nothing too important from those guys. Whether on the back of, I just love riding. Okay. This is a bike shop? Oh, welcome, welcome. Come right this way. We What a timing, young man. Did you know that you are our 10,000 and first customer since we opened the shop? 
yes, you are 10,001. If you had been number 10,000, then you could have gotten a bicycle for free. But as runner-up, you still get a chance to win by answering our quiz correctly. You ready? Then here we go. Do bicycles come in more than one color? Of course. Um... Green. Okay. We got a bicycle. Alright. Cool. Now, how do I use it? Oh, I guess I can just register it. Now, okay, how fast is the bike? Is it faster than the skates? Oh, it is faster than the skates. By, like, not quite a bit, but by, a, like, a good margin. Okay, um... We can probably buy a couple more Pokeballs here. Let's buy 10. Okay, and I think we get a Premier Ball if we do. Um, I'm not. Um, 100? I don't know. That's fine. I don't. I just want to see if these guys can will give me anything. Just tell me if you're gonna give me something. Love. Trade a love disc for a, for my Steelix? Yeah, we can do that. Um, you know what I'm gonna do actually though? Um, I'm gonna grab another love disc. Um, deposit. Let's go ahead and deposit. Um, deposit Gulpin. Alright, we got ourselves another love disc. Yep, and then, um, I could of course trade for a Steelix, but, hey, if I can save a single step... Um, oh god. Whatever, I guess I'm giving it away, that's fine. Yeah, if I can, I can, if I can save a step on the trading, you know, I'm not gonna say no to that. It's just one less that I have to trade. Yeah, sure, you can go ahead and take my love disc. Alright. Pokemon trade. Goodbye, AAA. I had you for a solid 15 seconds. And in return, we get a big little Steelix. I, I don't know why this dude thinks this, tra this trade is fair. A love disc for a Steelix? Steelix is much cooler than a love disc, but... You know, who am, who am I to say? Real question, what the, what is a Steelix at? Well, either way, we gotta put it away, so. Um, let's go ahead and deposit. Level 20, okay. Well, we gotta go ahead and withdraw something back. Go ahead and take Gulpin back. Okay, very cool. Let us continue on our journey here. What is up in here? Um, massage? Yes. You can massage my frogadier if you want. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Okay. I don't know if I can just bring frogadier over here to get massaged on the regular. That'll, like, oh, bike shop. I've already been in the bike shop. My bad. Hello there, can I take this super refreshing soda pop? I'll take one. Probably. The reason I take one is in every game, there's like a little girl that you could give it to, and she gives you like a TM bag. Usually, I think. I might be making that up. I know it was in Leaf Green, that's I know that. Um, and usually, Pokemon games like to do this thing where they do it in every game, so. Yeah. Arcane. Here's confusion. Catch up. Oh. Yeah, sure. Person. Okay. It also causes which status condition? Nice. Here's a prize. Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting. Oh, 
cool. I mean, that is a thing I could use. I'm not going to. Oh, no. I already talked to you. Okay. Check what seats what's in this house. Oh, this is the tailor. Welcome. If you'd like, check the items at the back of the shop. Um, I'll just be one hundred. I don't think I have like the money for this stuff. I'm currently on a budget. A Pokeball budget. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have to pass on clothing. I definitely cannot afford that. What is this? Is this another like library or oh it's a hotel? Okay, so each there's a hotel here. Okay. Well, let's go search the rooms, I guess. Oh, we got TM rests. Again, I I really gotta try to talk to everyone because they randomly give me stuff. Okay. Alright, let's go check all the rooms and see if we can kinda just steal anything. Yes, I will take stuff. Thank you. Um, what is it though? What is it? Um, hmm, okay. I don't know. Alright, that's fine. I'm not gonna put it on anybody because doesn't really help that much but I never dropped the balls okay but good for you you've never dropped balls before hey more X power no okay whatever I'll just spam past it he's gonna give me another O power it's bonding time prize money level one now that is a good O power actually I don't know how to use all powers but I should probably figure it out considering that one's pretty good all right a um, little bit of a boring hotel but I did get a few items I got some TMs and what about you it's, uh, it's, I think it's just a cafe right customers want to show off their dear Pokemon uh... okay Oh. Oops. Enjoy. Okay. No. You don't need any more of my money. I paid for the seat. Hmm. Okay. Did I just waste all that money? What is this? Okay, I don't know what this place is, man. That's weird. I'm gonna get stronger and then climb the tower of... Okay. okay. So we gotta defeat this city first. Um... Oh, is this like a... All oh, this is a big trap. Oh, I need a bicycle for that. Okay, that makes a little more sense. Okay, and the rest of the town is... Okay, that's men here trail. Now, where is this Pokemon gym leader? Okay, interesting. Well, let's go ahead and uh, put our. Oh, I probably have to use the bike to get to the gym leader, right? Nope. Let's go ahead and use the bike. Yes, I don't want to register it, but I do need to use it. So if I go fast, I could probably get to the gym leader. Oh, that's on the way down. Okay. Oh dear, if you're here for the bicycle race, I'm afraid you're too late. There is silver and I took first place. I feel bad that you missed it. Here, allow me to give you the strength TM. Okay. We got strength, which is pretty good. Um, yeah. Oh, and that is the gym leader. Okay. Cool. What is over here? Okay, I can't jump over that, it seems. Where is the gym leader? Okay, that leads us down. What is all of these places? Oh, this is the other end of the Zubat cave. Okay, interesting. Um, 
Very interesting. So I don't think there's actually anything I need to do in here. I think this is just, now I can kind of get back a little more easier, right? Yeah, this is the way to get back. So I don't actually need to get back. But I do want to grab that item over there. Okay, so first we have to teach a Pokemon strength. Ooh, Gulpin. Alright, Gulpin, I'm glad I kept you around. Yeah, let's go ahead and, um... Let's go ahead and take off poison gas. That's fine. All right, Gulpin. Maybe you are useful. That you know that uh, World of Pete is good for Rock Smash. No, Gulpin's good for Strength. All right, yeah. Oh, that Gulpin. It's your time to shine, bud. I gotta defeat the gym leader first. Ah, okay. Totally forgot about that. All right. Well. Then we need to go down. Go over to that gym leader then. First, grab this. Oh, I cannot go back up these things. Okay, well then we have to go zippity zoop all the way around. Hello? Oh, right, okay. And someone just messaged me on Steam. Okay, um, you know what? It's actually perfect timing. Um, guys, I'm gonna end off the episode. We will go ahead and face the gym leader next episode. So, um, thanks for watching. Hey everybody, we're playing some more Pokemon. I think I got one more episode in me tonight, so let's go ahead and do it. Um, I think we're gonna be fighting a gym, which is probably about time, considering my Frogadier is way over-leveled. And also, it does help because I think he's... Or, uh, yeah, my frog idea is gonna evolve in literally one level. So, um, okay. Don't know what that. Do I just have to get up? Hey, it's a future champ. What's going on? This is the rock type Pokemon gym. But you've already figured that out, am I right? Rock types are great, aren't they? Weak to steel, water, and all kinds of things. Um, well, I have a frog idea, so that sounds straight about right. Um, let's go up. I love how it's a rock type, so they have rock walls, like, duh. What other aesthetic would you have in a rock type gym? I need a break after all this climbing and training. Alright. Rising Star Didier. Didier? Did Didier? Let's go ahead and, um... We're probably going to be using Water Pulse quite a bit. Yeah, I think I'll have enough water pulses for basically the entire gym. There should only be a couple fighters, really. So, um... Ooh, he didn't die? Oh, he's gonna hurt himself, though, so that's fine. Yeah, he's gonna hurt himself. Good. Yeah, I'm surprised that water pulse did not kill him. Ooh, let me make sure I'm using my silent keyboard here. Right the lamp. Oh, well, that's a Pokemon that I want. I don't know when I'm going to get it. Because, well, really, I want it in Pokemon Go. That's my problem. Uh, it's one of the only Pokemon that I don't have from that region. Rock Tomb. That shouldn't be too bad. My def speed fell. Yeah, so, I know Rec Length is a uh, regional, so... It's one that I do not have. And yeah, we should have actually quite a few evolutions. Ralt should evolve at 20. Um, I think my Taylor should evolve soon. My Frogadier is going to evolve soon. Um, okay, I was like, is it going to evolve now? So that's that's to go somewhere else. Um, What's in... Okay, I think I'm going to go over to this one. I don't know what the difference between the two is, but... Oh, is this straight up just the dead end? Why can't I just jump? Parkour. Okay, so we gotta go this way. 
Okay, jump down. Lots of climbing for this gym. Um. Well, I need the money, so let's go ahead and fight this guy. And the money and the experience. So we're definitely going to take on everyone that I can. Why not, you know? I'm ready to go. If you think you fight a weakness in my defense, come at me. Well, I already know that your weakness is water, so... Alright, Hiker Craig. Craig and Rolla. That's a pretty cool Pokemon. I know... Community Day is coming up for that Reg and Rolla. Which also tells you the, the length of how old this video is. You probably aren't seeing it for a long time. Alright, at least hit yourself. Hit yourself. Ah, you suck. I love it when that happens. Absolutely love it. And it's happened twice, so... We're, uh, we're a little bit on a roll here. Taylor 16... Oh, battle's a battle. You're not going to come in you find a weakness or not. We get a lot of shmoney. Is Taylor evolving? No. I really thought Taylor would evolve there. I don't know when it evolves, but hopefully soon. Oh, we got another battle here. Only those with the noble spirit can try to take on the challenge of the Siliage G City Gym. Alright, challenge by Rising Star Man and Soul Rock. We have one of those. Those are also really annoying in Pokemon Go recently, too. Because they were, like, absolutely everywhere for a while, and they have a really bad catch rate, and they also aren't good in PvP. They aren't good for raids, they aren't good for gyms, they aren't good for much of anything, and they were absolutely everywhere, and they were hard to catch. They were taking up spawns of actually cool Pokemon. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and forget Growl. Yeah, I don't think I'll use Wingle, but might as well just... Hey, let's put... Yeah, let's put, uh... Let's put Water Pulse on him, why not, huh? Alright, gulp in the 17. No, I do not want Amnesia, that's one that I do not want. Alright, and Lunatone, the other one. And I do have both of those too. Let's hope maybe uh, one of these. This one's super effective. Alright, Taylor of 17. Alright, man, my gym was waiting. Alright. Climb up. Is there any more trainers in here that I can battle? Oh, there's another one right there. Hey, bud. Ooh, juked. You know what? Climbing is like solving a puzzle. It's a game of logic. Oh, Bernard. Why you got so many Pokemon, bud? I don't feel like using all my water pulses on it. Well, hopefully I learn a stronger water move soon, because water pulse is not particularly cutting it anymore. I keep hitting them to, like, a little squiggle. Okay, that worked, though. Alright. And there's our gonna be our Greninja, too. Alright. Nose pass. Hopefully we maybe get a Ralts level up too, maybe, maybe. We still got 13 Water Pulses, so we're fine for now. Aw, oh, you butt cheek. Confuse yourself. No, don't do that. That's not very nice of you. Alright, well, let's go ahead and try to use a quick attack. I'm gonna get rid of that nose pass. I'll have to de-paralyze myself in a minute. Ralts and Tony will get two evolutions here. Wingle? I don't know when Wingle evolves. Gulpin? Everyone everyone gets levels here. Oh, uh, no, we're gonna just keep battling here. Um, what are we gonna do, though? Nah, you know what? Let's just throw our Water Pulse, and hopefully we're not too paralyzed for too long. Ouch. Alright, cool. Yeah, we'll heal the paralyze. I was like, I could do it now, or I just could do it later, you know? I'd rather just get it over with now and just paralyze after the or do the paralyze after the battle. All right, and we got another two thousand three hundred for winning, but we got a lot of evolutions first. So we got Frogadier turning into, um, arguably, one of the best starters ever created, if not the best. Um, 
I I could I am a one, Gen Oneer, but I am not a Gen Oneer when it comes to starters. I think Greninja is like by far one of the coolest starters, and I know that's a very popular opinion. But I mean, look at him, guys. Like Greninja is just so sick. Definitely like such a cool starter. All right, yes, I do want to have Water Shuriken. How many? How much damage? Um. Do I actually want that? Do I actually want that? Surprisingly, I actually... I don't want that, because it's not any good. Wow, okay. Here we go. Here's our ults evolving. Yeah, like, a lot of people will be like, well, you know, Blastoise is the best, or Charizard is the best. It's like, yeah. They're really nice, but, I mean, really... They're not the best just because they came first. You know, like Charizard's cool, but he kind of looks like a fruit. And then Blastoise is cool, but he's just a turtle with a gun, you know? Eh. We got ourselves a Curlia, which is cool. I don't know. That must be, might, might be blasphemy, but I don't care. I think there's a lot of really cool starters that came out after Gen 1. Like, I'm um, a big fan of um, uh, the Pig Fire one. That one's sick. The. The, the samurai fish, love that one. Oh, uh, the owl is pretty cool. There's a lot of cool ones. Very quickly though, I think my Greninja is still paralyzed, so we do have to unparalyze that. All right, let's go ahead and um, unparalyze that bad boy. And we, we don't have to heal. That's fine. All right, let's go fight the gym leader. But I go from the behind. Whoa, I teleported. I've been waiting in eager anticipation. What have I been waiting for? For a worthy challenger. It's quite an achievement to have climbed all the way up here. Very impressive, actually. I have a feeling that our battle will turn out to be worth the wait. I hope you'll show me that your skill as a trainer surpasses mine. Feels like a very small arena to fight in, considering we're on top of a mountain. But sure, let's do it. Alright, Grant. Amora? Ooh, that's... We have Tyrant, we did not get this one. Wow, that's very surprising for a gym only having two Pokemon. And then we have our so I don't love Greninja so much. Let's go ahead and use Water Pulse. Yeah. Just I'm surprised only two Pokemon for this gym leader. Is the other one Tyrant? Tyrant, yeah, I'm very surprised it's only two. Usually they're, they tend to be pretty hard. I mean, and they're level 25. They're not like that high either. A little surprising, but I'll take it. You know, I'll never say no to an easy gym, I guess. All right, you defeated Leader Grant. You've proven to be a wall that I am not able to surmount. $8,000. That's, that's our Pokeball fund. There are some things that seem out of reach no matter how hard you try, however, it is important that you never give up no matter the opponent of the odds. I can tell from the battle that you and your Pokemon understand that. To commemorate such an impressive show of teamwork, please accept the cliff badge. There we go. Got ourselves a rock badge. With the cliff badge, you shall work together with up to level 40. This applies to Pokemon you receive from other... Um, and that's not all, you also get this. Rock Tomb. It's Rock Tomb. Okay, I know what Rock Tomb does. We've had it in every game since Gen 1. Um. Okay. Okay, and we can also use Strength now, which is pretty epic. Alright, how do we get down? Do we just... Oh, we can just go straight down. I wonder if I can just, like, jump straight down. That'd be kind of lit. Skirt! Skirt! Alright. I think Gulpin knows Strength. So, we can go ahead and, um... Head back over here. And we don't want to go back, but I do want to grab a very quick item that I know is over here. Um, yeah, right in here. So if we go here, yes, yes. All right, Gulpin, go ahead and use your strength. I don't know why Gulpin can learn strength, um, but sure. Aerial Ace, okay. That is a move that I could learn. Don't encounter Zubat. Okay, because I'm like, I don't need a Zubat, man. Okay, well, now we can technically move farther. Skirt. Skirt. 
Oh, I probably could have got an item over there. We can move this way because we're all done with that town. We're on Menhir Trail. Okay, hold on. What? North exit? Oh, this is Route 10? Okay, this is Route 10. Okay, we got some Pokemon to catch here, so... Um... Yes. Um, are you a battler? Bruh. This place is flowing with power. I came here to recharge. Like, that dude juked the poo, poo out of me. Alright, Psychic Robert. And he has a single Pokemon, the Solosis. That's pretty cool. A lot of those roaming around on Pokemon Go right now, too. Um... Let's just do Smackdown. I don't know if that'll kill it, but... Yep. That is enough to kill it. Wonderful. Alright, will it be 24? You, you and your Pokemon power levels are incredible. They're over 9,000 for sure. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so... Okay, well, there's new Pokemon in here, so let's go ahead and start catching. Um, Houndor? Okay. Starting off strong here. Um... And there is actually Eevee in... Wow, I just killed it like that? Really? Wow, I killed it that easily? Okay. Didn't expect that. There is Eevee here, so I need I will need to catch like eight of those. Um actually let me quickly double check. An X and Y okay, Route 10 and Safari Zone, that's it. So I actually do need to catch eight of them here. I'm gonna push this boulder. I love boulders. Okay, those cannot be smashed. Okay, let's get off our skates here, because I don't want to... Run. Bonk. Okay. Can't do that. Is that... Oh, am I good? Oh yeah, I'm good. Go. All right now, just keep pushing, and we get an item for it. Thunder wave. Okay, I don't actually think that's very useful. I will not really need that. Um, but it is an item. Okay, so we go over here. Okay, there's another trainer, and there's some more things. Alright, well, we should probably battle you, right? You... Butthead. Those are... They're just stones, right? Psych, they're not just stones. You're challenged by Fomiko. Oh, you got three Pokemon. Why you got so many on you, Fomiko? Sorry, I got a ninja. I'm cooler. Alright, let's go ahead and smack down here. I don't know if Skip Loom is... Flying? Okay. Right, Wingle to 19, Taylor to 19. Nope, we do not need double team. That's fine. Dunsparce. I don't. What typing is Dunsparce again? Isn't it? Isn't it ground something or is it just ground? I'm gonna water pulse it. There you go. Azumarill. Alright, we can rock tune this one too. Yeah, it definitely didn't kill it, but. Bubble Beam, that's not gonna do much. Now, question is a quick attack enough to kill it? I would think, right? You would think, yeah. Level 37. Curly hit a 21. Definitely just stones, don't you think? No, I don't. I don't know, man. Depends what stones you're talking about. There's a plenty of stones, man. There's a lot of stones. Alright, mind plate. What the heck does that do? Alright, let's see what our first new Pokemon will be. 
Uh, sig Sigilif. Sig Sigilif? Sig Sigil or something? Alright, let's hope I don't... I'm probably gonna kill it, aren't I? Wow, I didn't kill it. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and chuck a ball, and uh, hopefully we can just make this a quick one. Big old Pokemon. Psychic flying. One, two, three. Thank you, Sigilif. 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 Appreciate the easy catch. Alright. Guardians of the ancient city, they use their psychic powers to attack enemies that invade their territory. Very cool, weird looking Pokemon, but it's pretty cool. Okay, um, I should probably fight this guy. Years back, um... Okay. Special, special rock emits special energy. Right, let's see what else we can find here. Howlucha! Another pretty cool one. Let's see if a quick attack will kill it. Oh, okay, good. We can attack. Alright, we're probably going to throw a Great Ball at Halucha, just because it's only in the yellow. I might need that little bit of uh, extra percentage on this one. Yeah, I knew it. It wouldn't be that easy. I need it to definitely not kill me, though. Alright, let's do you one more Great Ball. And if this Great Ball doesn't work, then we're going to go back to Pokeballs, because these are expensive. Okay, yeah, these are a little too expensive to be throwing at someone in the yellow. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if round will kill it. You know what? I'm doing it. I don't care. It'll pr it probably will. It didn't. Okay. Ouch, that hurts. All right. Well, I'm going to still throw a normal Pokeball. Again, I don't want to use any more Great Balls on him. I already wasted $1,200 in Great Balls on this guy alone. I don't have that type of cash flow right now. I did get 8k from the Gym Leader, which is pretty nice. But... Philippi 25. Wingle 20. Alright, although its body is small, its proficient fighting skills enable it to keep up with big bruisers like Machamp and Hariyama. Cool. It's a good bird. Alright, an X accuracy, very cool. Also, I could sell my pearls and stardust for more Pokeballs, so that's also a thing I can do. Stop right there, I remember you, the one who followed our fossil finding plans, and now you stand here? On these stones, do you have any idea what they even are? Of course you don't. You know nothing about the legend of 3,000 years ago that says... Wait, what is... Whatever, who cares about all that? It's time for me to get some sweet revenge with style. Alright, bud. Alright, but Team Flare, Grunt, Houndor... Dude, we just... I just killed one of these with a quick attack on accident, so... I think, I think we'll be fine. Just gonna water pulse it. Also, I totally neglected to stop by... Um... Focus Center to heal up before coming out here. Alright, Golbat. That's fine. So then bring in your Golbat, bud. And I'm gonna go ahead and take it down out of the air. That's why I have SmackDown. Because a lot of you guys seem to have flying Pokemon, so. And open a 21. You may have beaten me again, but when I lose, I go out in style. Bro, where do you win over this, man? Where do you win over this? No, you don't. What? How could I lose again to a little punk like you? What, are some kind of trainer prodigy or something? Yeah, I'm lucky for you, bud. I see. Roger that. Gotta love the holocaust. I can get updates. Oh, uh, whatever. Uh, it's time for me to scram. What style? All right, later, bud. It's nice seeing you, as usual. Nothing in that corner. Nothing in that corner. Alright, uh, Golet. That is something new. Um, I can definitely pound round this one because Golet's gonna have. It's a ghost! 
Um, special... I totally forgot that it's a ghost. Okay, well, then... I guess let's start checking Pokeballs. I don't really know how to... I could bring in a Pokemon out. Let me see if I can just catch it real quick. Okay. I think I might have to bring out another Pokemon here. I don't know why it's increasing its defense when I can't hit it with anything. Um... No, that's not any good. Oh, yes, I can switch. Winkle has a water pulse. I don't think that water pulse will kill Golur Golit, so. I think. Oh, I actually, water gun is even better. Because that'll definitely not kill it. Okay, perfect. Roll out. Okay, I just need one more water gun and we'll be good. Okay, good, good, good. I was gonna say that's gonna kill Wingle, and I still need Wingle to get levels. So, just to make sure we go ahead and catch this, let's throw a Great Ball at it. And just make this easy. Thank you. Appreciate it, big dog. Alright, Goldwood data was added to the decks. The energy that burns inside enables it to move, but no one has yet to be able to identify the energy. Okay. Oh, um, wait, hold on. Actually, Greninja's fine. We're good. I don't know if those are trainers we can battle, or... Alucha, we already got one of you, bud. We're now we're looking for the other ones. Snubble, Houndor, Eevee, or Emolga. Also, I think I'm gonna have to grab... I'm gonna have to grab Combi in a little bit here. I can feel the energy from these stones enhancing my psychic powers. Alright, bud. Metatite. Why I got the... It's basically Abra and a diaper, dude. Why? Why? I'd rather just give him... I'd just rather have an Alakazam, dude. your second Pokemon there. Tail tail to 21. Curly uh no. Okay. And we're gonna just do another water pulse. Pretty easy bow. Couldn't control my overflowing power. No, you're very under controlling your power there, bud. Um, okay. Oh, another one. Okay, another grunt, apparently. Alright, fair enough, I guess. I mean, I didn't think there'd be more than one, but sure. Alright, an electric. Running out of uh, water pulses here, but we'll be fine. Alright, Curly at level 22. Um. Yeah, let's just get rid of Growl, that's fine. I don't know what Magical Leaf does, but. Okay, Krogon. Stay in. Um, yeah, let's do another water pulse. That's fine. Just gonna keep water pulsing forever. Because it, it kills. So. Alright, Wingle 21. Well, it's time you're gonna be. I'll stop working. Okay, dude. You do whatever you want there, bud. And see your life, you know? Wow, there's a lot of trainers on this route, ain't there? Okay, well, we might have to fight a lot of them next episode. For now, I'm interested in getting some new Pokemon. Um, so let's go ahead and... Um, we'll leave those trainers for next episode. Let's... We only got a few more minutes anyway. Let's go ahead and focus on getting a couple new Pokemon here. Um, man, we're getting a lot of Haluchas. 
I'm not looking for you. I'm looking for... Well, it's a 30% chance, because the Emolga's 5, Eevee is 5, the Houndor's 10, the Stumble's 10. And the thing that sucks about this area is um, I'm going to need 8 Eevees total. So I'm going to have to be here for actually a little while catching Eevees. Um, but that's something that's, you know, we'll catch one Eevee for now and uh, deal... Well, I will catch all eight right now, but like, you know, we'll catch one on video and the rest I'll probably just catch on my own time, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't need to see me catching eight Eevees. Alright, let's go ahead and throw a... Um, just throw a normal Pokeball. We'll save the Great Balls for harder Pokemon like uh, Emolga. Easy peasy, let's go. Alright, there's our Snubble. Very nice, very nice. Alright, three more to go. Well, and actually, and then we've got a few Horde Pokemon, but it is an active, playful nature. Many women like to frolic with it because of its affectionate ways. Whoops. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, a few more. Here we go. Also, I might as well, I might as well check if, you know, go get items that I missed in the grass patches here. Like this one. Bender stone. Okay. Again, um, I will take those for free, because I will have to pay for them later. I already got one of you, bud. No way. I'm looking for your other buddies. The, the fired dog, the normal dog and then the flying squirrel that's what i'm looking for give me those give me those pokemon all right snubble not you either bud but yeah and then after those it affords you could find yanma hondor nose pass and hordes um my problem is I don't have my Combi on me. I could very quickly run back and grab Combi, but, um... You know what I guess what we can do? Let's go ahead and, um... Hmm... I guess let's just... How close are we to, like, anything evolving? Um, hold on. Let's look at Gulpin Evolution level 26. Okay, that's still... What about Wingle? When do you evolve Wingle? 25. Okay, they still got some time to go. Okay, that's fine. Let's keep looking for a little while longer. And um, Again, we could do a lot of this other stuff next episode. But let's try to get a few more... By few, I mean just at least a couple of the... Yeah, Houndor, that's one. And then we just got Eevee and Emolga, and those are 5%. So those are going to be a little harder to get. Um, again, please don't kill it with Quick Attack this time. Why is Houndor so weak? It just instantly dies from even a Quick Attack. Well, now i got to find another one of those. A little bit of shame. Ooh, there's an Eevee. All right, hopefully the first of many. Um, okay, not to test it. Will a quick attack kill an Eevee? If it does, I will be very sad. No. But it's not in the red either, which is kind of sad. All right, well, I don't want to mess around with Eevee, so let's just throw a great ball at it and call it a day. Let's just... Oh, you... Pooper. Stay in the ball next time. Those great balls are very expensive. They're $600 a piece. Back in my day. Alright. Thank you, Evie. I need to stop saying thank you to imaginary things. Because it tends to just come back and make me look dumb. Just please. Oh, critical catch. Thank you. Still have to waste another 600, but I just got a critical. I'll take the critical and the level up. 
All right, so now we're still gonna be looking for that hound door and the mulga. A rare Pokemon that adapts to harsh environments by taking a different evolutionary forms. And again, okay, so that's one Eevee. We need seven more. And realistically, we should probably catch eight so we can have just one normal Eevee too. All right, there's the hound door. That's another one that we need. Um, and I will kill it with a quick attack. So I guess let's um. Let's start chucking balls. I might bring out another Pokemon to weaken it, because... Yeah. Unless... Dude, it's always so close, man. I was like, hit my mic. Dude, why couldn't you just stay in the ball? It would have it would have been so nice if you would have done that. It would have been so nice of you. But instead, you just have to be difficult, don't you, Houndor? Alright. Well, hopefully it doesn't kill it. What does it bring in? It runs away? Uh, I didn't know it did that. Alright, another homeboard. Let's see if maybe this one wants to just stay in a ball, maybe? Let's throw a ball at it. Hey, maybe it'll just stay? Maybe? One? Two, three, maybe? Thank you, Hondor. Didn't even have to attack it. Alright, so, um, really now we're just looking for Emolga and any extra Eevees that I can find, I will take. I need these Eevees, so. And it's about a 10%, so. Around dawn, it's Optimus Howl echoes to the area to announce that it is its territory. There's a lot bigger Pokemon out there. I'm surprised Hondor can do that, but. Oh, hey, there's the Emolga. All right, there's the 5% that we needed. Um, Yeah. Let's just go ahead and throw one Great Ball at it and just kind of see what the vibe is. If it maybe wants to stay in it, I wouldn't say no. One, two, three. Wonderful. All right. Just make it easy. Thank you, Emolga. Um, that's exactly what I needed. Okay, so really all we got left is um obviously more eevees and then yanma and nose pass those are kind of what we got they live on treetops and glides in the uh case of electricity okay cool nope and then we could maybe even get tails evolving okay i also didn't think that would happen but let's go ahead and do it We're getting there. Alright. Got ourselves a swallow. Who doesn't like a swell fellow? A swell swallow? Alright, but we have a honey on us, right? Pretty sure I can use one of those bad boys. Let's see what we get. Maybe we get a Houndor and it's a waste of time. Maybe we get a Yanmar. Maybe we get a Nose Pass. Let's see what we get. Nose Pass. We'll take a Nose Pass. And the only one we'll need is Yanma. Um, let's go ahead and try to tackle. Okay, as long as you don't hurt yourself, I'm cool with that. All right, let's go ahead and throw just a normal Pokeball at it. Man, I really don't want to go back all the way for Combi, but it looks like we might. There you go, and there's Nose Pass. I also feel like I should probably evolve a Pokemon before I go grab the Combi. We'll see though, maybe we can get one to evolve before. Its magnetic nose always faces north and draws iron objects to its body to protect itself better. Very cool. Um, let's see, let's, wait, well, I guess I'm doing Eevee encounters now, right? Um, uh, hmm, well, you know what I guess I'll do, um, 
I might do I might actually do the EV completely off camera because there's no particular reason for me to record it considering there's nothing very interesting about it but let's definitely go back and just heal very quick and also we might as well buy some more balls because we got a bit more money so yes let's go ahead and buy a couple let's buy 21 great balls let's go ahead and buy like another 30 pokeballs go ahead and buy no oh, like it's like three revives that's fine a couple maybe super potions buy three of those and then i think we're oh yeah let's two super repels okay i think we're fine like that and then let's go to the pc and then deposit. We can go ahead and deposit our Swellow. Um, we'll evolve this with the rest of the bird Pokemon, you know, like Pidgeotto and all that. It's going to withdraw. We want to withdraw the Combi here. Um, actually, let me double check if anything else can get sweet. Alright, here we go. That's what I was looking for. Looking for my Yanma. Um, let's go ahead and start taking them down. One by one, and then... Oh, they're all gonna use Quick Attack, aren't ya? Oh, only one of them. Okay. Fair enough. And then we will officially be all set for this route, really. Yeah, we have Houndor, Yanma, Nosepass. There's so many balls, dude. Dude, this is actually... Dude, it's just a stupid Yanma. Dude, just stay in the ball. You're level 10. I'm too tired for this, man. Please, just let me go to sleep. I want to go to sleep. Please just stay in the ball so I can go to sleep. This is the most expensive Yanma in the history of Yanmas. By far the most expensive. I have thrown thousands of dollars of balls at this Yanma. Thank you, dude. That took way too many. Oh lordy. Alright, Odyssey 12. Dude, I'm not gonna read your Pokedex entry. I'm not reading it. You don't deserve it. Disgusting bug. You don't deserve it. Alright. Maybe it's my sleepy coming out, but I need to get some sleep. I've got grown up stuff to do tomorrow. Um, but we have caught everything on this route. Except I need to catch a few more EVs, but I'm going to do that in between episodes so I don't bore you with it. Um, guys, thanks for watching. And next episode, we'll continue, obviously. See you guys then. Hey everyone, we're playing some more Pokemon. It's a little late at night, so maybe I'll try to squeeze in an episode or two, but um, let's go ahead and leave off. Go right where we left off. Yeah, that's the one. Um, so we went through most of this brush actually already, and um, so what I said last episode is that I was going to sit here and probably find a bunch more Eevee before um, we started this episode so we can kind of move on, but actually, I revised that statement. There's not really a reason for me to sit here and catch a bunch of Eevee because it's going to be much, much easier to just um, hatch more Eevee. So when we, whenever we get to the hatching place, or actually I think we might have already did, I'll go back and hatch seven more Eevees. There's no reason for me to stay here and try to farm the 5% spawns, you feel? Um, so I will go ahead and just do that later. I'm pretty sure, like I said, I think I beat up these people already, so... I think I went past you. I think... Ooh, I didn't... Okay, this is where I left off. You inspect the stones, I inspect you. Um, so yeah, but we did... Ooh, only one person, perfect. We did catch everything. Golet, Sigurdjilif, Halucha, Snubble, Houndor, Eevee, Emolga. And then we caught Yanma, Houndor, and Nosepass, and Hortz. So, 
we did catch everything. Let's go ahead and do a water pulse, as we usually do. Yeah, the only thing we can't get is the Electrike, just because that one is an exclusive to Pokemon Y. And there's no way we can get that one. So, um, that will have to come later. Um, inevitably, um, I will have to do kind of like what Leaf Green did, and I will have to make a secondary account and trade them over. Um, so I'll have to play through a whole nother account. Um, which is gonna be a little dumb, but that's what we're gonna that's what we gotta do. We have a battle at a famous sightseeing spot. Oh, this will make a great memory. Alright, oh three Pokemon. Why you got three Pokemon? What are you doing with all those Pokemon? Alright, we got a couple more battles after this. Um it's gonna do a smackdown because it's a Drifloon. I was gonna say wait, it hits ghost type Pokemon, right? But it does, so that's good. This one's gonna definitely take a little second. Oddish to 13. Learn poison powder. Pachirisu? Nope. We will go ahead and keep battling. I think. Is that the first time we've seen a Pachirisu? Might be. So I might be added to our uh, seat. That thing is fast. Is that a priority move? Or is this Pachirisu just like absolutely crazy fast? I can't tell. I'm pretty sure that was just a priority move, but... I was like, what? How are you that fast? Alright, and one more Pokemon, which will definitely just Water Pulse. Okay. There we go. And again, I know you guys have... How many episodes are we in? And we've only used Greninja, but, um... I'm really hoping to grab a couple more Pokemon soon that we can actually maybe use, maybe, hopefully. I mean, we have over like a hundred, um, I don't know which ones. Really, the, the thing is, there are so many Pokemon in this game, um, that need to be evolved that I'd almost rather not use a team and just keep five Pokemon that I need to evolve my inventory instead of my team, um, because, you know, if I'm flying through the game, I might as well work on it along, you know what I'm saying? Alright, we're in Geosinge Town. I'm guessing there's nothing here. Nope, there's just two trainers. Um, and we can find a few items in a shop, but there is nothing to actually, like, catch here. So we'll go building by building. Another hotel, I'm guessing. A town of Stones. Okay, is there like a random stone I can find in here? Nope. Hello. I think you could um Okay. He likes the same Pokemon as me apparently. Okay, my phone is going off. I'll have to check my phone while I'm investigating these rooms. Um okay, he's traveling land. Um Yeah, I'll give you a downcast ribbon. I don't know what that does, but fair enough. Oh. Okay. I don't know what it does. And another... You know what? I'm gonna do my phone while I do an X power. No, please do. I always click yes on accident, and I always regret it. Okay. Here we go. Alright. Another X power. Again, I never really use any of the X powers, but one of these days. I'll figure out what they do later at one of these days. Ah, uh, what else we got? So we got something back here. I know there should be an item here, right? Yeah, there's the timer ball. Forgot that timer ball is good after many turns, right? Not because there's the there's the quick ball and then there's the timer ball. Okay, so there's an item, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and get that right. Okay, first we gotta do fight then. Is the town of stones. Wonderful. I just need to go get this item. I don't wanna do anything else. Alright, we got ourselves some soft sand. Um, I don't think there's anything we actually have to switch out or do, but let's go ahead and heal. 
and we won't buy any Pokeballs right now. I think we have enough for now. Um, we might have to run in, and I might regret saying that, but I... Oop, nope, 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 I'm good. And all of our Pokemon were just kind of switched out recently, so we're kind of chilling on that end. Um, okay. Um, so our lineups, they connect. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, this is... Hear this, Pip Squeak. Team Flare is going to use the stones on Route 10 and a fantastic treasure to make everyone on our team happy. In this world, the ones who have power are the ones who win with Flare. Interesting. Someone from Team Flare here just now? He was here, but he isn't anymore, is he? The only thing past here is a dead end. There's something very weird about Team... F she walks away. Alright. She says there's something very weird about Team Flare, meanwhile doing something very weird herself, so that's pretty fitting. Okay, so I guess house by house, let's do it. For some, it will not evolve into a whole nervous stone. I got another one. Wait, is that my first one? I don't know. Um, who knows? Might have two, I can't tell. Okay, so we can learn more stuff from the hotel guides. You're a pretty sophisticated traveler. I'll check out the monument. Hello? Nothing but rocks. You don't get it. This town is nothing else. It's so amazing how amazing the stones are. Okay, so... Okay. Let's check out this building. Okay. Don't know what that means. We can't enter those houses, right? These ones over here? I don't think they're enterable. Um go fast on the track though. Now, let me double check that these aren't enterable. No, I didn't think so. I think that's the whole town. And I don't think this route over here is open to us. Maybe it is. Hey, you're the trainer from round five! I'm not exactly sure, but I think Lucario is saying he wants to battle you. Would you battle us? So I have two Lucario, but do you know which one is the one that has taken a shine to you? Okay. Is it a double? Or is it a... Uh, do I have to fight each Lucario one by one? Looks like we gotta fight one by one. Fair enough. Alright, well, it should be pretty easy on both. I gotta water pulse it. Wow, that didn't kill it. Alright, well, we can go ahead and just do uh, another water pulse. And hopefully, the second one's easier. Okay. Um, Oddish? No. Yeah, I don't need stunts for an Oddish. I don't really need much of anything on Oddish, to be honest. Alright, um... What about just a round? Is a, would be a round be any better? That is much, much worse. Okay, um, noted. Alright, let's pull out a Water Pulse. I thought a round would definitely do more than that, but oh, and of course it's on a sliver, dude. All right, well, I'll quick attack it and call it a day. Oh, it's gonna stun me, you butt cheek. Oh, okay, no, it's not. I thought I was, I thought it was gonna make me flinch. All right, but we're up to thirty-nine. Wingold 23, Oddish to 16. What? Not even my ultra powerful Lucario Duo can stand up to you. 8,000, I'll take that 8,000. Okay, now I get it. I see why Lucario likes you so much. So, do you remember that I'm the gym leader in Shatler City? 
Once you get past the cave just beyond here, you'll be there, so stop by and say hello. So we're gonna have to fight her again? Okay, so we're... This is Route 11. But I think we should probably go see what's going on on the other route first. Okay, these stones are like a cool little thing, but they're also very annoying. I just really want to get to the other route. But I have to go like all the way around for it. Let's see what's going on here. Oh. As normal, there are plenty of new Pokemon to catch. So let's go ahead and we'll go to Route 11 and catch a few. Ooh. How do I... Oh, I gotta slide down the other end. Okay. Do you like smooth stones? I think they're neat. I mean, they're alright, I guess. I use everything I have as a source of my power, my body, my spirit, my emotions. Emmanuel? Hey, that's my brother's middle name. Okay. Um, Solosis is not flying. Or is it? No, it wasn't, but... Um, we got Sigilith. Alright, we fought plenty of those already. Yeah, so on Route 11, there's Hariyama, Staravia, Sock, Nidorino, Chingling, Stunky, Nidorino, and Dedene. Um, and then Hordes, basically the exact same Pokemon in their smaller forms. So Nidoran and Nidoran. Right, I'm pretty sure we can pound the Sigilith. Wait, is it a ghost? Dang, the Gulpin just got messed up. Alright, Whirlipede. Whirlipede should be pretty fast, considering it's level 27. Um, Pursuit? Yeah, why not? Psybeam. Hey, why is it so strong? Alright, you're gonna get messed up. There you go. Well, and I'm not going to revive that Gulpin, but that's fine. It just means everyone else will just get a little bit more XP. You and your Pokemon were far more powerful than I could have imagined. Thanks, bud. Let's grab this berry. There's like a weird crystal at the end there. Let me make sure there's nothing in this corner. No. What is this? Oh, Super Potion. Alright, we can go... Do we have anyone that knows Cut? Um, let's teach Cut to someone. Yeah, let's have Oddish use Cut. Yes. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, poison Powder. I'm like, oh, I almost just got rid of Sweet Scent. I need that for Hordes. I was about to make a big old mistake just then. All right. Oh, let's fight this person. A girl's battle power comes from her belly, you know? Um, no, actually, I, uh, I don't know. Gerardine? Gerard- Gerardine? Gerardine? English was never my strongest suit, to be honest. Um, Water Pulse that seems about right to me. And we gotta start catching. Dude. I hate Pokemon with Endure. Because now Greninja's already like almost dead, which is nuts. Alright. Cool. Keep, gotta keep my belt tied tight or I can't unleash my true power. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. Actually, wait, no, I have potions. I could run all the way back. Or I could just use a potion and call it a day. I think I'm just gonna use a potion and call it a day because I really don't feel like running all the way back right now. Um, nothing in these. Ooh, hollow clip received. Hello there. Looks like you've almost made it to the Shallow City. That's fantastic. It looks like your journey with your Pokemon around the Kalos region is going swimmingly. I wanted to tell you about a person in Shallow who knows a great deal about Mega Evolution. People call him the Mega Evolution Guru told everyone else about him, so if you have a second, you should give him a visit. So if he's trying to figure out about Mega Evolution, why doesn't he just talk to him himself? I... I... 
I don't understand. I don't understand, but it's okay. I don't need to understand. Alright, we need to get down to whatever this is. Rock polish. I don't even know what that does, but um, sure. It's no biggie. Why aren't any Pokemon doing the thing? Uh, behold the results of my training. All my training for this match. You're challenged by Brains and Brawn, Frank, and Sly. Ooh, we got a Mr. Mime on him? That's actually kind of sick. I love Mr. Mime. And we'll have our Whirlipede with us. Um, let's go ahead and do a... Water Pulse on Machoke. And Venipede can go ahead and do... Bug Bite on Mr. Mime. So that's going to be super effective. I don't know if we'll kill Machoke with this. No, I didn't think so. Don't use it on Whirlipede. But cheap. That's the only person I needed you to not use it on. But, alrighty. Ow. Why did this route just get so strong all of a sudden? This route actually hurts a little bit. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, Water Pulse the Mr. Mine. And we can... Water Pulse the Machoke here, I think, and we'll be good. I don't know if this will kill the Mr. Mime. It will, okay. Now, by chance, could Wingle possibly kill that Machoke? That would be pretty cool if it did. I don't think it will, though. Curly at a 24, Oddish 18. Could you do it? Nah, I didn't think so. Well, there goes Greninja, but that's okay. I'm actually probably gonna head back to town because I. Yeah. Um. Let's bring in. Alright, let's. Um. What is inside of here? Okay, this is Reflection Cave? Okay, but what is on this other side here? Right. Ooh, Hyper Potion. Those things are pretty expensive, so I'll take that for sure. What is up here? Nothing? Literally nothing? Care for a sky battle? Nope. Honestly, I would love to, but my problem is I don't have a good flying Pokemon, so... Uh, actually, I'm good. There's sure a lot of mystery stones. Okay. So that's it. Um, next up, the Reflection Cave, but first we have to catch all these Pokemon out here. Um, so one by one. Um, Alright, the 20%. Hariyama. This one should have a pretty high defense, so I'm pretty confident that we probably won't kill it with a round. Yeah, I didn't think so. Ow. I'll oh, just smack me like that, big hands. Also, Probably gonna need to breed it to get the younger version of you. Uh, oh, I totally forgot we bought like 60 Pokeballs, so we're 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 chilling actually. Um, in Rock near Sky Trainer. Okay, we have to go get a Thunderstone. Apparently, I missed it. Okay, well there is Hariyama. No, I don't wanna... I don't need Venom Shock. Maybe I did need it, but I was too lazy to actually take a look at what the move did. It stomps on the ground to build power. It can send a 10-tuck truck flying with a straight-arm punch. That's pretty cool. I like Hariyama. Hariyama's... he's a real one. Never used one, but it's a real... I have a bunch of strong Hariyamas in Pokemon Go. Apparently... here? There. It's like, there's a Thunderstone, and those things are pretty cool, so I definitely wanted to uh, swipe it while I was here. Um, there are a few Pokemon to catch, so we got... What else we got here? Yep, that is one of them, the Nidorino. Again, we can get just the Nidoran in Horde Battles, but, you know. Um, what I'm actually going to do is catch both. I know it might seem redundant. Why would you catch two of the same evolutionary line? Oh, I almost killed it. Um, but I, if I don't catch the normal Nidoran, I'm gonna have to breed it instead, and I'd rather just not have to go through that process. 
and of course it poisoned me. So now I'm gonna, gonna be in a world of pain, but that's all right. Should, considering we very much almost killed it, I'm glad it was in the first ball. Because Greninja just had to crit, didn't he? I gulp into 24. Alright, it raises its big ears to check its surroundings. If it senses anything, it attacks immediately. That's my Nidoran for you. And, um, you guys know that in Leaf Green, uh, Nido King was, like, my main Pokemon along with Starmie. Um, obviously, I will not be using Nido King in this playthrough because, come on, man, there's so many more Pokemon. Why would I use that, you know, use that again? Um, but it is one of my favorite Pokemon, so I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and acknowledge that. Alright, Staravia, another one where I'm going to be able to catch a Starly in Hordes, so I'll probably just end up catching one of those there. Um, Staravia doesn't have the quickest, the biggest defense, so I'm just going to... Yeah, okay. Yep. Ow. That hurts quite a bit, actually. Why did that hurt so much? Well, I just hope it gets caught, so let's throw a Great Ball instead. Because if it gets out, uh, Greninja dies, and that's very annoying. Nice. Alright, all of the Pokemon have been behaving very well so far, which is good news to me. And Greninja level 40. The rest of your team gained XP. They maintain huge flocks through fierce scuffles break out in various flocks, okay? Very cool. Well, now the problem is I'm gonna have to use another super potion on Greninja. Once again, I'm not gonna run over to town just to heal Greninja. So, I'm gonna use my super potions. Alright, so we're looking for Sock, Chingling, Stunky, Nidorina, and Dene. And there's Sock. We're getting pretty good luck on these, honestly. We've been kind of getting them one by one. Um, I probably won't kill it with a round, but... Um, actually... I think it's actually better that I did that, because it would have got it into the yellow, but with a quick attack, I can actually get it into the red. Yeah, so I'm actually glad I did that instead. And then we can just throw a normal Pokeball here. No reason to use a Great Ball, considering it's already in the red. Wow, okay. Well, let's go and throw another one. Just wanted to be mean. And of course, throw the other form of this Pokemon is in a, is a Pokemon Y exclusive. So that will be another one along with the electric that, you know, we'll have to trade for in the end. Um, but that's okay. Come on, Sock. Alright, I was like, really? Out of all the Pokemon giving me trouble, it's Sock. Um, so it took three balls to get him, but um, that's okay. Um, I will just punish Sock by never using him. Desiring the strongest karate chop, they seclude themselves in mountains and train without sleeping. But which Sock has the biggest strike? Ooh, okay, our Wingle is evolving. Alright. Again, evolution out of the way. I could just bring a bunch of cool Pokemon with me, or I could keep a bunch that I need to evolve for the Pokedex with me. I think this is a better option, personally. Alright, we got ourselves a Pelipper. Very nice. And I'll probably end up running back. Um, let me just forget Water Gun, that's fine. And just putting this back in the box, but um, but we'll, we'll keep it around. We'll, how do I see the episode's almost over? We'll probably try to catch one or two more new Pokemon and call it a day then. Hey, there is a random horde. Well, I might as well get it done then. That's fine. Let's, let's do it. 
I could switch into someone else to weaken it, but I just don't feel like going to the hassle, so I'm just hoping. Um, stay in the ball. Warp of War. Okay, you're gonna be a... You're gonna be dumb, aren't ya? That's alright. I'm not gonna use you anyway, you're just gonna stay in the computer, so take your time. I got plenty of balls today, so... My, uh... My... My ball rationing that has, that I've, I've kind of been having to do throughout the game is not really happening right now, so we're kind of good. Although I say that, and there's like 10 new Pokemon per route, so they flock in great numbers. Though small, they flap their wings with great power. Okay. All right, there is the Stunky. Um, I could probably go on a quick attack and it won't kill it. Ooh, that was close. Please stop. Okay. Now, I don't want to fight you any longer, so I'm gonna go and throw a Great Ball and kind of hope that works. Thanks, Stunky. And that's exactly why I didn't do the horde battle, because why would I fight five Stunky when I can just fight one? Now, if I find a horde of Nidoran, I wouldn't say no to that. Um, sure, let's forget, uh, Confusion. Actually, I probably should have deleted Double Team there, but yeah, I don't care. Not the biggest deal. It sprays a foul fluid from its rear. Its stench spreads over a mile radius. Driving Pokemon. So it's literally just a skunk. I love how, like, some Pokemon are, like, super, super unique. You know, I'd even say, like, um, Hariyama's unique. And then there... Okay, there's some Nidoran. But then there's just Stunky. He's quite literally a skunk. Um... I might actually die here. Well, obviously... Let's go ahead and catch the Nidoran female. Might make things a little easier. Also, I might get poisoned. If Greninja's gonna attack all... F I might get poisoned here. I hope they don't all double kick me. Leer. Okay, Leer is... My problem is I'm still probably gonna lose Greninja here. Unless I use a super potion, I don't feel like doing that. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and probably lose Greninja. That's honestly not that big of a deal right now to me. Okay, focus energy, that's cool. Keep doing that, preferably, actually. Yeah, keep. That's perfect. As long as Nidoran female. Aww. Okay, we're still fine, though. Um, quick attack. I wish I could just, like, dual wield balls and just go, eh, and throw it at both of them. That would be pretty lit. Leer. Hey, Nidorina, you want to use Leer? Nah, that's fine. You can kill my Greninja. That is okay. Not a big problem. Um, I'll bring on Whirlipede. Why not? Actually, I'm a pretty big fan of Whirlipede. I, I, I like Whirlipede. Um, we can do Rock Smash. Probably in a Nidoran. Here. Wow, we didn't kill it. Interesting. Okay, Tail Whip. That's fine. Um... Alright, roll out. I should definitely kill it. There we go. Alright, now time to start chucking Pokeballs. I could probably... I wonder, should I do, um... Oh no! I forgot that roll out repeats. 
Oh, hey, okay, there's the deno. Oh, so my arm. Um... Well, let's go ahead and use a Pursuit. And hope that doesn't kill it. If not, we'll start chucking Pokeballs here. Okay, that didn't do anything. And it was even a critical hit. What about a Rock Smash? Okay... Didn't do anything. Alright. You know what? I'm bored. Um, let's throw a Premier Ball. Why not? I think a Premier Ball would be pretty cool. Okay, good. That didn't like that. That's ah, probably gonna hurt. And it's gonna heal. That's fine. We're just gonna keep chucking balls here. Wait, no, I'm gonna throw... Let's throw a Great Ball this time. Okay. Didn't like that. Let's do it again. One more. One more and then we'll maybe try something different here. One, two, you butt cheek, dude, just stay in it. Alright, I'm gonna do it again because I I just don't wanna attack this Bidene, dude. I'm just I'm too I'm too lazy to attack it. Just stay in the ball. Three. Let's go, dude. Alright, and I'm crossing Dedene off my list. Cool. Alright, we only actually got a few Pokemon to go now. Um, we just got, um, Chingling, Nidorine, Ah, uh, it whiskers serve as antennas by sending and receiving electrical waves It can communicate with others over vast distances. And then just Nidorina, Nidorina, out of hordes. So, let's maybe give one or two encounters to just see if I can find Nidorina or Chingling, but, um, maybe? No. Okay, you know what guys, I will be ending off the episode here. We'll find the rest of the Pokemon next episode, so I'll see you guys then. Hey everyone, we're playing Pokemon again. Um, really, really quickly, we just have to finish up this route. We got just a couple more Pokemon to catch, and then we'll make ourselves in... We'll make our way into the cave. Um, but first, we need to get um, a couple Pokemon. Chingling, Nidorina, and then both forms of Nidoran in Hordes. Um, so I'm gonna quickly look for those, and, uh... Oh, okay, there is the Nidorina. So, that is one of the two that we still need. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and quick attack it, and I'm hoping it doesn't die. I for okay, I, was, I forgot last night if, uh, the Nidorino died. Of course, poisons me. Your butt. That's okay, though. Um, I'm hoping we can now catch it quick, though, because I... I am getting slowly poisoned, so let's go ahead and try to throw a Great Ball at it, and again, hopefully we can get it very, very quickly. I don't feel like uh, being hurt for a while. Alright, well, not the first ball, but that's okay. Let's keep throwing some balls here, that's what she said. Alright, another Great Ball, and if this one doesn't work, well then I don't know, I'm gonna be real angry. Not really, but... Come on. There we go. Ah, okay. I was like, eh. I have a habit of uh, saying, here we go, thank you, and then uh, it jumping out at me. Okay, we only got poisoned for like two rounds, so I'd call that a pretty good. The female has a gentle temperament. It emits ultrasonic cries that have the power to befuddle foes. Alright, cool. So now... We just need one more, which is the Chingling. Once we get the Chingling, we'll start doing hordes. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm like listening to something on my phone and a Chingling pops up. All right, Chingling, do me a favor and don't die. Oh, okay, that was close though. Okay. Making an uproar. Now, why would you do something like that, Chingling? 
I thought you were a good Pokemon. Alright, so after this, we just need the two small ones. And we then we're good to go to run inside that cave. Okay. Each time it hops, it makes a ringing sound. It deafens foes by emitting high frequency cries. Very, very cool. Okay, now time to hoard up. So use move, sweet scent. And again, we're just looking for um, two neater ends. This is gonna probably take a minute, to be honest. Um, it's because I gotta knock out like five of them every single time, and I don't have a mass move. Um, and I accidentally attacked the female, I would have already had the female, so. Um. Wait. Yes, I do want to learn Mega Drain. Yes, I want to... Let's get rid of Acid. Yeah, Acid is just not a super, super good move. I'm gonna do that. Oh, and also, um, in between episodes, I went ahead and healed, obviously. And I also put away Pelipper, and I put away Curlia, and I went ahead and I grabbed, um... Whatever you just saw there that leveled up and something else. Alright, cool. Thank you, Nidoran female. Yeah, I grabbed two other Pokemon to evolve. I totally forgot what they were, but there's something. Alright. Although small, its venomous barbs render this Pokemon dangerous. The female has smaller horns. Alright, now we just need the male. Ooh, Oddish is evolving. Now we just need the male ver uh yes, the male version. And again, I could probably do this through breeding, but you know, with like the Eevees, it's gonna take like hours. I'd you know, Eevee's probably better to do eggs, but with this Pokemon, I could very easily just get it done now, so. Congratulations, your Oddish evolved into a gloom. I'm actually very tempted to evolve Gloom right away. Do I have a Leaf Stone? I I do, but I only have one. And I think I'd rather use it for... Hmm. Yeah, I am not going to do it now. I would personally rather use it on Roserade. Wait, Um. hold on. Roselia Evolution level. When does Roselia evolve? Exposed to a shiny stone. Oh, it's not a leaf stone. Alright, well then, we're gonna go ahead and we are actually gonna evolve the Gloom then. Um, first, let's just go ahead and catch the Neater and Mail, but then we'll probably go ahead and just evolve that Gloom. The thing that sucks is I'm technically not gonna have a reason to keep it around anymore, but, um... You know what I might even do, actually? Um... Ooh, don't... Of course, the poison's gonna kill me, isn't it? Hmm... That's just slightly annoying, but no problem at all. Use next Pokémon. Let's go and bring in Whirlipede. Maybe I will run into the cave, grab that Mime Jr., and then stick Wild Plume back. Next, we're gonna go to Shallow City. Route 12. Yeah, but I'm gonna need it later anyway. Maybe I will just keep it around then. Dude, come on, man. I could hurt it, but I'd rather not. I'll just, I'll just keep chucking balls. I have a little bit of money with me right now, so I'm not too, too, too worried about it right now. Thank you. There we go. Yep, there you go. I'm like, hold up. Good, though. Okay. 
We have officially caught all of the Pokemon on this route. It only took another 15 minutes. Scans its surroundings by raising its ears out of the grass. Its, to its thorns are toxic for protection. All right, and while we're at it, we might as well leaf stone the gloom. And get ourselves a vile plume going. That way, when we use sweet scent, you know we can do it with Pokemon. Like, yeah, we got a vile plume. Um. Yeah. Here we go. Vile plume. I like Vile Plume. It's one of the exclusives in uh, Gen 3, so. Dive Ball. Nice. I've got one of those right there. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, let's go ahead and enter the cave. No biking or skating. Okay. Alright, first encounter. What do we got? Chingling, the thing we were just looking for I guess they also appear in this cave so that's cool don't need it so we're gonna go ahead and just run from it is there like something in this rock nope all right another encounter what do we got Wobbuffet all right that's one of the 10 percent so it looks like there's a lot of psychic Pokemon in this cave which is very interesting I'm gonna try to round it I'm this might actually kill it no, it doesn't. Alright, Destiny Bond. Does that mean we can't run? Alright, let's go and throw a Great Ball at it. I bought a few more Great Balls. Hopefully, it doesn't... Wow, that was very quick. Mirko. Alright, well, here we go. Here's another one. And we'll start throwing Pokeballs too, just because um, we gotta use those. Okay. Alright, safeguard, that's fine. That's not gonna safeguard you from my balls. Alright, let's start throwing some Pokeballs because we're gonna, we're gonna have to use the stockpile here. Alright, it looks like Great Balls didn't do the trick, but Pokeballs seem to do the trick. So maybe, maybe we gotta stick with throwing Pokeballs. The Great Balls seem to be not working as well. Alright, well, if it's Dado, it's added to the decks. It hates light and shock. If attacked, it inflates its body to build up its counter strike. And we did grab a female version of Boba Fett, so that's interesting. To tell you the truth, I'm thinking of never leaving this place. Well, we should probably leave it eventually. Uh, backpacker Lane. Also, again, it still surprises me that all these trainers, you know, are like in a place like this where, like, man, why don't you catch yourself a Mr. Mime or, uh,. I don't know, a Reg and Rolla, you know? You only got the single thing? Like, really? I mean, fair enough, I guess, but seems kind of weird to me. Psych up. No, he doesn't need Psych up. Yep. To tell you the truth, I'm not even sure if this place is real. Well, it sure is, bud. So I just fought you, so... Okay, um... Is this whole thing like a maze? Is that like the deal? Well, hopefully we'll catch Ooh, a horde battle of Reg and Rolla. Uh, actually, I don't feel like taking on this many of them. I'm gonna go ahead and Okay, I'm like, hello? I'm gonna catch Reg and Rolla in a normal encounter, not in a horde one. Alright, we got ourselves a revive, and I don't buy those because they're expensive, so it's actually like, extremely useful currently. Mr. Mine? Okay, that is the one of the more common spawns of this place. So we will do this. Now, round once again. What Buffett has really high defense. I don't think Mr. Mime does, though. He does. Okay. Well, that's perfectly fine. Um, put up a light screen. And actually, I really like Mr. Mime. It's another one of my favorite Pokemon. Obviously, it's probably because Gen 1, but... Um, it also tends to be caught really easily, which is also very nice. I appreciate it when Pokemon do that. Therefore, Mr. Mime is cool in my book. Alright, 
Mr. Mimes. Ah, that was added to the decks. Emanations from his fingertips solidify the air in invisible walls that repel even harsh attacks. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Question, do I go up or down first? Oop, I would say I go up first. And an encounter. What do we get? Solosis! Now, am I tripping or did I already catch one of these? No, I have not caught one of these. Okay. I thought for some reason I I did. Are you gonna like counterattack me? Ooh. Ooh, that almost killed it. But since we got into the red, I think it's safe to say we could probably just use a Pokeball and call it a day. One, two, three. Bonk. Cool. You love to see it. You love to see it. Greninja's level 41. Because their bodies are enveloped in a special liquid, they are fine in any environment, no matter how severe. Very cool. Alright, we found a nest ball. I think that's for birds, right? I don't know how many birds we'll be catching in the future, because most of them you catch early game, but that's cool with me. I'll take a nest ball. If I ever, for some reason, run out of balls, I'll make sure to use it. Um, I don't want Regenrola. What? Shadow behind me. Must have been the outside. Um, I do not want a horde Regenrola. I want a normal Regenrola. Also, you gotta fight me. Bump, bump, bump. Alright, Battle Girl Hedvig. My Hedvig. Oh, she's gonna have a hawk and a sock, huh? No, no, not a hawk and a sock. A throw, a throw and a sock. Um. Yeah, I think Water Pulse would just be the easiest here. It's not a super effective, but. Oh, wow, I did kill it. Ouch. Okay, fine. You're gonna be gone pretty soon. Why are you not dead? Let's do a quick attack. Maybe I'll try a smackdown for the next for the next one here. Yeah, these fighting types hurt, man. Even like at level 41 and early 22, they still actually kind of hurt. Alucha. Is it? It's not a flying Pokemon, is it? Either way, let's go ahead and just do a smackdown on it. Okay. Ooh, that, is that gonna kill me? It's because it was a critical hit. Of course it's a critical hit, dude. Alright. Um. Whirlipede. Time for you to shine, bud. Um. I'm gonna do a pursuit. Aerial Ace. Oh, that's a bug Pokemon. No! But. Ah, uh, you suck, dude. Get poison. Okay, that didn't hurt that much. But you're poisoned, at least. How am I, like, losing so fast? Another Aerial Ace. That will kill me. Man, these battles, like, aren't hard, but, like, they're, like, slightly hard. Um, let's bring in Gulpin, I guess. You know what, if Gulpin just gets a little bit of XP, that wouldn't be the worst thing on the planet. Let's go ahead and use Strength. Ah, it's not gonna kill Gulpin, he's fine. There we go, and the poison should kill it. There we go. Alright. Open got some XP. And the rest of the team also got a little bit of something something. So you're the strongest trainer. Okay, and Gulpin's evolving. Which is kind of good timing because I actually got to run back to heal, but might as well get Gulpin he uh, evolved and grab something else while we're out there. So that's actually really good timing. Perfect, perfect timing, Gulpin. Appreciate that actually. 
makes my job much easier. Alright, why am I calling you Gulpin? Your name is not Gulpin anymore, it's Swalot. He do be Gulpin, but now he be swallowing. Um... Sure, let's just get rid of Yawn. Just because I'm already in the text box for it, so... Alright, let's, uh... Whoa, we got two evolutions! Okay, I didn't realize Snubble. Actually, yeah, that's why I grabbed Snubble, because Snubble I saw was like a level or two away from evolving, so... Alright, perfect. Well, we can swap out two more then, which is really, really nice. Alright, we got ourselves a Grand Bowl, right? Grand Bowl? Grand Bowl, yep. Very nice. Also, you and I should maybe do... Um, we'll probably have an encounter or two on the way back. That's fine. Alright, maybe we can grab something new real quick on the way back. Nope, we already got one of those. I should probably make a box for things that are, like, fully evolved, so we don't, like... Um, you know, keep looking at them as, like, something we could potentially evolve. I need to, like, separate the fully evolved out of it, you know? Alright, let's go ahead and, um, make our way back to town very quickly. Okay, let's grab Esper here, and then we can grab one more Pokemon. Um... What's like an easy one? What is Ducklet? Um, what about Ducklet here? Ducklet. When I totally spelled, I put an F instead of the D on Google. All right, thirty-five. Whatever. Let's go ahead and grab uh, the Ducklet here, and probably heal, and we'll head back. you right where we left off here um all right reg and roll up but only a single one not a big horde that's what we were looking for here um let's go ahead and round it the reg and roll up has very high defense so i'm very sure we won't kill it that was close though ironically everything that i think i'm not gonna kill i don't get anywhere close and the things that i'm like oh yeah i like definitely won't kill this i almost end up killing um very uh, ironically. What? Regan Rolla? Cool. Actually, um, Regan Rolla might be a Pokemon that I grab right after whatever evolves next. Regan Rolla is, I'm probably going to put in. Its ear is hexagonal in shape, compressed underground. Its body is hard as steel. Very cool. What is this? Oh, okay, we already checked out that way. Oh, yeah, because we didn't came down here and fight. So we got, um, we caught Mr. Mime, Regarola, Solosis, Chingling, we got a couple of Wubbuffet. So we really only need Carbink and Sableye. We already have, I think, both Pokemon for shaking areas. Okay. It's like a weird spotlight here. Alright, Wobbuffet, another female Wobbuffet. I do not need you. Oh, really? Okay, well, that's very weird of you that you won't let me escape, but that's fine. And then we'll quick attack you. Hopefully, the defense isn't. Okay, I was like, the defense isn't that good where it won't even die from a quick attack, right? Vile Plume to 23, Spoink to 18. Nope, Spoink does not need that. Okay, let's go grab whatever this is. Hey, that's not a bad thing at all, actually. Um, I needed one of those. Carbink Sableye? No, just a Mr. Mime. Um, I don't really know where else to get Moonstones. Um, because of this game having so many Pokemon, probably quite a few evolved from Moonstones. And, um, I don't know how many are available in the game or if I can, like, even buy them. 
I'll have to double check later. Um, okay, so as I thought, we do have Pharaoh Seed. I really wanted to double check if I had Pharaoh Seed or not. I thought I did. Um, but, of course, it's better to double, double check instead of just assuming. Alright, um, Reagan Rolla, I do not need your bud. You can actually go away. Do not need ya. I will fight whoever this lady is, though. Ace Trainer, I don't know about all that, I just love Pokemon. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Ace Trainer Monique. So what makes this lady specifically an Ace Trainer? Is, is there something that she did? Can I become an Ace Trainer? <sighs> oh man. Alright, that's for the 12. Helio Helioptile. That's pretty cool. I got one of those too. I think the evolution of Helio. Hel oh. Um, okay, I can't hit it with water. Noted. Um. I'm gonna give it a smack down then. I like the evolution of Helioptile. Okay. Oh, I got a new alarm. I forgot. I set an alarm for me to do something just now, and I'm probably not going to end up doing it today. I'm probably going to end up doing it tomorrow morning, so that alarm is slightly useless. for go to 13 light screen I think so actually um actually let's just get rid of scratch no leer oh yeah, yeah let's get rid of leer I might actually have I want I might want to keep scratch on there so he has some form of attacking move not like it matters because we have the XP share but still um yeah let's go ahead and get aerial ace 2 I'm gonna just get rid of Defog. And learn Aerial Ace. And yeah, I don't think I'll ever use Ducklet either, but as a fellow Pokemon lover, you're an ace yourself. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Whirlipede is evolving. Okay, well, I thought that evolved much later, as usual. Um, we can probably grab Regenrola now, but it'll be a little while. I know we get to a town right after this cave, so I'll probably um, hold on to. I don't actually know its name. What is it? What What is your name? Scoliopede, yep. Scoli oh, Scolipede, yeah. Scolipede. Very cool Pokemon, by the way. Um, What about... What is Pass Baton? Oh, okay. No, I don't want to do that. Um, Very cool Pokemon, though. One, definitely one of the... Um, cooler bug types in my opinion. I, I really I really like it. What does it say? Okay, anyway. I do like uh, that Pokemon. I'm not gonna even bother saying its name. Um if your Pokemon are in good health, pass on or if they're not, it's time to rest and recover. So I should probably head back up and go through this area, whatever this is for first okay so oh wait a minute i don't have anyone with strength i think wait scoliopede can you use strength okay because i don't have the other one anymore let's just get rid of rollout rollout is a dumb move anyway and rock type isn't like crazy crazy useful at the moment. Okay, good. So I do have a strength Oh, one that can use strength. Okay, that way is a no-go. I don't want that. I can't go up there. I left my darling fiance behind and came here all by myself. Well, why would you do something like that, um Monami? I was not a very smart or nice thing to do. 
Um. We water pulse so Yeah, that's fine. I'm like, what? I don't know why that took so long to decide on, but yes. Alright. Squid to 19. Duck with to 16. Alright, mon ami. Oh, you're so strong. Perhaps even stronger than my fiance. Probably. I'm not trying to brag or nothing, but probably. Alright, we're still looking for Carbing and Sableye, right? So we're not just getting encounters for nothing. We are still looking. And once I can get those two, I'll actually start doing like the horde battles too, but. Um, oh, I'm like, huh? How do I. For a second, I was confused about how I got up there. Alright, Solosis. Don't need ya. You very, very weird Pokemon. I, I'm actually not a huge fan of Solosis. It, something about a fetus Pokemon just kind of bothers me. I, it's almost like unnatural that a fetus is outside of its mom. It's just not. Hey, Big D. If you use the move Flash, not as many wild Pokemon will turn up. Well, I want the wild Pokemon to turn up. I kind of depend on Flash. I'm still not very good at battling, so I keep running into trouble. I sure wish I could be as good as you. Aww. Um, but yes, I do want encounters, because I'm still looking for stuff. Chingling, already gotcha. Yeah, like I said, um, you guys, and I've said this before, you might be wondering why I look for these Pokemon right right now. My main objective is the Pokedex. I know a lot of people do things for different reasons. My main objective is the Pokedex. So if I'm on a route, I might as well grab everything there is on that route while I'm there that I'm able to catch. Um, so that way, at the end of the game, when I have to kind of backtrack and find stuff, um, it's going to be like pretty rare that I'll have to go back. Um, to be honest, by the end of the game, most evolution things um, will be just straight up leveling. I have to level my Pokemon to get evolutions or trading. I really don't want to have to go back to routes and stuff like that. Okay, that really hurts. Don't... These stupid fighting types, man. But luckily, this one dies at two. The other lady had one... had a throw that had to hit three times. I defeated Igor. Despair. I'm sorry, Igor. I did not mean. Since ancient times, mirrors have always possessed a kind of mythical power. I will take advantage of that power and use it to defeat you. Alright, Psychic Frames. Chimeco? That's a cool Pokemon. I think I have a few of those in Pokemon Go. I know I caught one just a little while I, I just did like an evolution spree with a lucky egg and I think I probably transferred it. Oh, we confused it. Whoa, why are you confused? Did I confuse it or did it confuse itself? Oh, funny enough, there's a Woobat at my house. And Woobat's something I can find in the game. So I'm not gonna catch it. Ninja to 42. Point to 20. Esper to 15. Ducklet to 17. Everyone's getting a little sum sum right now. Oh, another thing that surprised me is Golet. For some reason, it um, evolves at like 42. It always seems like these smaller looking Pokemon like Golet, you know, would, would evolve much sooner, but no. 42. Which is nuts to me, but fair enough. Alright. Something about bouncing back. Um, let me heal Greninja. Um, nope. I need a super potion. I'm gonna give Greninja a little bit of that juice back that he got, like, karate chopped on. Oh, hey, bud. Oh, no, just where has my darling gone off to? Oh, it, she was back there, bud. Tourist Harudo. We just saw her. She had a Nidorina. So that makes about sense. 
Um, I don't want to touch you because I will get poisoned. So let's go ahead and just water pulse it. Here we go. Yeah. Ugh, man. So close to level 42 in Pokemon Go. I've been trying to catch as many things as I can so I can do like Lucky Egg Evolution Sprees, but it they're not actually as lucrative as I thought they would be, surprisingly. Okay, nothing there. A little Hyper Potion hiding in the rocks just for me. Ooh, double battle. What do you think, honey? Should we share some of our happiness with this young trainer? Um, I forgot what my second Pokemon was. Was it Skeletile? Best between. Well, why does one of them have a really cool one and another one has a lame home beat? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and smack down the Vespa Queen. And we could probably do a rock smash on the combi here. Alright, you get you got smashed upon Vespa Queen. I do need to get one of those too. Um, but I need my I need to find myself a female combi. I didn't stick around long enough to grab one. So that might be like one of the rare Pokemon I actually have to go back to get one. Magic Coat? No, I don't need Magic Coat. And Ducklet 18. I don't think this will kill it. Not even close. Okay, but its defense fell. Bug Bite. Super effective, really. Alright, well, we'll smack you down. And yeah, whatever, we'll just do something else. We're just gonna outspeed anyway. I don't mind if I lose as long as I'm with my darling. Well, I suppose I am rather happy. And we got a crisp, clean 7k from that. My only desire is to brighten my Pokemon's day by defeating you in battle. Oh, that's not gonna happen. Um, email, email, email. You got a cool Pokemon though, you got absolutely. Now that is pretty epic, but not epic enough, sadly. Uh, excuse me. That's for group 17. Yes, I do want... Let's get rid of confusion here. Um, that actually might have been a mistake. Confusion can be pretty good sometimes, but... Oh well. It's okay. Um, now nah, we'll, we'll keep out. Ninja Pinsir. That was one of the really cool, um, things in... We green to find in the Safari. Oh wow, I didn't die? Brick break, that's gonna hurt. Yup. I'll nah, quick attack it. Oh, good job. Very, very weird looking bug. It's just mouth with the little. I'm just not cool with that. I just. Yeah. Bug mouths are not. Bubble beam. Nah, you don't need bubble beam. I mean, my Pokemon's sad. It's my fault. I'm too weak. It is your fault, and you are too weak. Um. But. Yeah. It is what it is, I guess. Alright, there's like three different ways to go, and I'm very confused on which one I should be taking. Of course, I want to take the one where it's not right, because I want to get things. Um, so let's go here. So that goes down somewhere. I don't want to go down. Also, I totally didn't mean to do that. I already have a Pharaoh Seed. If you were shiny, I'd catch you, but you're not shiny, so I'm going to have to say goodbye. Speaking of shiny, I'm still trying to look for that good rod so I can start shiny hunting that star you. No, I can't come back up. Oh, dang it. Well, I guess we still haven't found the Pokemon that we need, so. Oh, that is one that we need. Oh, actually, hey, perfect. Um, that is exactly what I needed. I don't mind that in the slightest. And as long as these. 
little ice cream mimes don't um, fight me. That'd be pretty cool. Okay. That shouldn't hurt too bad, though. The only annoying thing about Double Slap is the fact that it just takes forever to use, but... Okay. I'm gonna get smacked a lot today, huh? Okay. Bro! Five, five slaps? A lot of slaps. It's like almost disrespect, disrespect how many slaps that was. Don't do that. I don't like being slapped. And then we continue. Bro, why are they all hitting the five? Just hit like two slaps and be done with it. Kidding me. Alright, come on. What are you gonna copy, Cat? Oh, he's gonna copy Cat my quick attack. Alright, one more. One more. And then we're good to go to start chucking balls here. But. What's cool about this is this is technically the only uh, horde battle that I need because, um, yeah, the other two Pokemon I can catch in normal encounters. Um, I'm just gonna throw a Grave Ball at it. Just I don't want to deal with um, having to stay here forever to catch it. Oh no! You almost still have. Why oh, you gotta do that to me, bud? Why do they always hit for, like, maximum slaps? It's called double slap. You're penta-slapping me. Quadruple and penta-slaps. Come on. Good. Esper to 18. In an attempt to confuse its enemy, it mimics the enemy's movements, and it wastes no time in making itself scarce. Alright, Mime Jr., I appreciate it. Um, okay, actually, I was gonna use a Repel, but I'm like, oh, that, uh, why did I walk in front of that? I don't need you, Pharaoh Seed, I appreciate it, but... I, you're like half in the ground, which is very, very weird, and I don't know why you're like that. Why are you half into the ground? We gotta run all the way around town. Sweetie, they mistake of dropping down the wrong hole. But it's alright. So we technically need the encounters anyway. Okay. Go all the way around town. Okay. Oh. Okay. What do we got? Oh, um, wait, so there is a car bank, but I'm just going to be 100% honest. I'd rather just find it by itself. Like, once again, I don't want to attack a bunch of Reg and Rolla just to get to a car bank. I'm just a little lazy, and that's just the way it is. So, okay, we don't want to go down that way. Okay, I don't need you, Mr. Mime. Yep. Yeah. Creepy, creepy Pokemon. Honestly, I think the scariest part about Mr. Mime is just its shoes. They look really unnatural. Like, why do you have shoes like that? Okay. Found ourselves an iron. What's up here? What is this? Is this Shallow Town? Okay, it is. So that is the cave. And this is the way back. Okay. Um... Strength. Let's like I I don't I don't think it stays that way forever, but who shadow stands? Whatever, Mr. Hiker. Just 
No, we have three. Why do you have three? Um, we just got a little part of the cave left. Um, oh, there's a little fruit fly in my room. Whatever this area over here is. What is down here? Oh, we find... I think we later come back to this area and find a Pokemon here. I'll take Carbink though. While we're in here, I don't know if Carbink like spawns more often in this room. I, I don't really don't think so. Oh, okay, I for okay, Carbink is a little stronger than I thought it would be. Well then, I will go ahead and roundhouse kick you in the face, and hopefully uh, we need to get into the yellow at least. Okay, Stealth Rock, that's fine. One more round, as long as you don't crit it, we should be fine here. I might actually even... I'm gonna roundhouse kick it one more time. Am I gonna kill it? Ooh. Just because I'd rather catch it in the red with a normal Pokeball here. I almost got scared for a second. I'm like... It was a little farther down on the yellow than I thought it would be. Alright, well, luckily I'm on the ground, so we're fine. Oh, come on, Carbink. Why do you gotta be so difficult? But, it's okay. That's why we're here. But I will definitely need... Why is it doing this to me? Okay, fine. We'll, we'll throw a great ball. Have it your way, I guess. We'll have it your way. Ducklet grew to 20. Bum, bum, bum. Born from the temperatures and pressures deep underground, it fires beams from its stone on its head. That is a weird Pokemon. You just find a little rock fairy thing that's just lasering you. It's a funny Pokemon, but fair enough, I guess. Okay, so we got Mr. Mime, Rugged Roller, Slosis, Chingling, Wobbuffet, Carbink. We just need the Sableye. All the hard Pokemon are done. I can't find anything in the water. Okay. Well, this was a waste of time coming here. Um, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and 
well, we can't make our way out of here. We're still looking for that Sableye. Also, apparently this is permanent, so that's cool. Sableye? We're gonna be here for a while. I gotta stay here and look for it before we leave. Wait, what is down here? I like zoned out. I didn't realize this was down here was a thing. Well, once we run away from this. Alright, Chingling. Good to see ya. What is down here? Um, Revel? Don't you know, a revealed glass is a mirror that has the ability to transform Lander's Thunderous and Tornus back into the original forms. Okay. Those are legendary Pokemon that we do not currently have. So once we get one of those, we can bring it back to this lady and she'll give us um, that glass thingy that we can change their forms in, which is pretty cool. Right, where's my Pokemans? Specifically the one that I'm looking for. Not you. I was looking for you for a long time, but that's not what I'm looking for now. I'm looking for your others. Uh, well, actually he's not. It's the opposite. I'm looking for a dark ghost. A creepy little gem goblin. Whoa, okay, hey, uh, what's up, guys? We got a Sableye. Um, all right, let's start off with a Great Ball without even hurting it. And then if it doesn't want to stay in, like, two balls, maybe we'll throw a quick attack at it, but, um, okay. Let's throw one more, and if not, then we'll start attacking. One more. Okay, let's go and throw a quick attack at it, and hopefully, don't do anything nuts, please. Oh, wait, it doesn't, okay, well then I have to, I forgot that it's a ghost, so I will keep throwing balls, because if I hit it with a water attack, I more than likely will kill it. So, please, Sableye. You dark ghost, please stay. Force the lure. Stay in the ball. Alright, here we go. Cool, and we have officially gotten everything inside of this cave. I think we even managed to get all the items and stuff too, which is pretty cool. Um. It hides in the darkest of caves, its diet of gems has transformed its eyes into gemstones. But guys, we will go ahead and end off the episode here because we are going to um, Shellor City next. In the next episode, I'll see you guys then. Hey everybody, we're playing some more Pokemon. We just got to Shellor City. Um, yes, let's go ahead and explore, see kind of what's going on here. Ooh, a little too fast. You know how your hair sticks out all over the place when you wake up? think ev Mega Evolution is like that. I don't think it's anything like that, but fair enough. Let's see if we can get into this house without tripping too badly. Um, each Pokemon has a different nature. Yup. Oh, oh my! Your Greninja seems to like you. That's so nice. Makes me want to give you a Soothe Bell. Thank you, I guess. Um, cool. I know some things evolve with happiness. Not a lot, though. You're a trainer, will you show me how... Yes. Um, let's give it Greninja? Oh, this Greninja was level 5, but now it's level 43. Um, this is a token of gratitude. Footprint ribbon. Okay. Cool. Um... Alright, are you gonna give me anything? Hi. Oh, would you help me? Oh, sure. Spoink. Good job, Spoink. Thank you, I'll give you this. Stardusts. Hey! We can sell those for a lot of money. So, I will take that any day. Um... Okay. We got the gym. 
Okay, we, what do we got? I'm really sorry, but I'm looking for something. Okay. Can you look sometime else? Okay, that goes... Where does this go? I'm guessing whoever's here is not going to let me pass, right? Pokemon. Oh, you're the German or something. Nope. Okay, what do you... Uh, Skittle in the ranch. Right, where does this take us? Route 12. Okay. Uh, we don't want to go to Route 12 yet, obviously, because we've got to do things in this town. We can't go in there. Now let's check out what's in here. Um, That's a Kalos Dex. That is no mean feat. To take this honor. Evelio Light. It raises for both, but I'm... There's a Pokemon that can evolve, but haven't finished evolving. Huh. So I'm guessing that's like a that's an item that they gave to us to help evolve Pokemon a little easier to kind of raise its stuff while we're doing it. That's pretty cool. Well, let's go ahead and heal very quickly. Um, I'm not gonna buy any more Pokeballs right now because we still actually have plenty, um, and I still need to basically run through my stock of normal Pokeballs here. Um. That's very rare, but here in the Kalos region, you can find mysterious stones that are filled with life energy. Okay. Um. All right, so that's cool. Let's, let's what's going on up here? Hey, Big D, how's your journey going? Let's compare our coastal Kalos Pokedex to see who's gotten more kinds. Well, I've got just about every single one, so. Put another way, I'm challenging you to my own. So you've seen 69. I lost, how frustrating. I'd be very surprised if I didn't. I caught all of them, so. So you've seen Genghis Khan too? Just knowing about the same Pokemon as someone else can sure make you happy. Get this, I found some great Pokemon dancers. Um, just remember, the professor told us to say hello to the Mega Evolution Guru when we reached Shatler City. Okay. Who were we supposed to say hello to again? A person called the Mega Evolution Guru. Oh, that's right, he did say that. Well, I guess you should look for the Mega Evolution Guru, then. Where do you think he is, anyway? I think he's in the imposing building deep in the city, the Tower of Mystery. Okay. When you act like a Pokemon only exists in battle, the one who becomes the only thing that matters you make everything a lot less fun. That's facts. I want to see every single move that can be used by a Pokemon. Okay. Um, I only like it when you guys give me things. Give me things, please. Alright. None of you guys give me things. I don't like this house. Okay, where does... Why? Why in the world would you block that off? Oh, because I needed a... I'm like, did that guy really block the stairs for no reason? Now, what's up here? Let's trade. Sure. Um, I don't know if I have that berry, but I will grab one. Friendship is power. Um, sure, bud. You can think whatever you want to think. I mean, power is just power, but yeah. Accomplish anything. Okay, thank you. Ooh, this is the gym, ain't it? Um, okay, so I'm guessing I need to do this little side quest up here first, right? Alright, Tower of Mystery. Hey, Big D. Um, hold on. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, there's a few trainers in there. There is one... Oh, we get a... Okay, never mind. Hey, Big D, check this out. Isn't this stone cool? I got it from a person called Wandering Stone Collector for showing off my dance moves. It might be a mega stone. Here, Big D, you can have it. I want you to have it because you're such a great trainer and all. I still remember our battle on Route 5. We are an intriguing stone. That is a big tower. That's the Tower of Mystery? So cool. That is a very large tower. Well, I'll go call Trevs then. Go ahead on. Go on, on ahead, okay? Hi. I want to be more awesome than I am now. I know trainers and Pokemon both feel the same way. 
I'm guessing I can't fish in these waters, huh? Okay, maybe not. I do see a little item over here, though. Max Ether? Okay. Who's texting me? Alright, um, is there anything... Okay, there's nothing on the sides here. Well, let's go ahead and go into the tower. Ooh, I saw a big old funny looking Lucario. I wonder what we're gonna do here. Oh, we just go straight in? Oh, you must be David then. Sycamore told me you'd be coming. I'm called the Mega Evolution Guru. I guess you could say I'm an acquaintance of his. Oh, but Mega Evolution Guru isn't my real name, of course. Now come here for a moment, will ya? Oh. Only one of you. I thought he gave five kids a Pokedex. Isn't there anyone else with you? Oh. Who's that you're talking to, Big D? People call me the Guru. Oh, my name's Tierno. And that's David over there. My name's Trevor. Pleased to meet you. But there are only three of you, huh? What's this now? Were you the one who found the intriguing stone? No, it was given to me. What? Well, it was you who found it, right, Big D? Well, who found it doesn't matter. What's important is that you were honest. If you tell lies, the truth is clouded and eventually lost. And while we're being honest, that intriguing stone is just an ordinary rock. Hmm, sure a lot of hubbub out there. Does that mean everyone has arrived? Hey there, so you made it to Shadow City. Lucario is in its Pokeball, but it's really happy to see you. Well, maybe we should go see what's going on too. Looks like everyone's finally here. Where have you been? It feels like it's been uh, some time since our whole group has gathered. Yeah, I think it's been since we met up on Route 7. I've been wondering this whole time, who is that over there? This is my granddaughter, Karina. She's the Shallower City's gym leader. Now that you're here, I suppose I should explain Mega Evolution to you. I assume you all know about Pokemon Evolution. You have your Pokemon battle a lot and they go strong and evolve, and there are Pokemon that evolve with certain items. Some Pokemon evolve through friendship and others evolve in certain places. Exactly, and it's likely that Pokemon evolve in a lot of other ways as well, but Mega Evolution is an evolution that transcends all other evolution. It's a transformation that a Pokemon were thought to be were unable to evolve any further. It's a whole new power level. So in an evolutionary line like Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard, does that mean that Charizard will be able to evolve even further? Yep. Not all Pokemon have a Mega Evolution. There's a reason why I used the word transformation a moment ago. Mega Evolution differs from Evolution because it ends after a certain amount of time. In other words, it's a temporary evolution. What? It evolves, but then it goes back to what it was before? Yep. Mega Evolution is a special kind. That said, we still know very little about it, but we know we know now that it is it requires special items, and the most important element is the trust between Pokemon and Trainer. To make Mega Evolution work, you need two items, a Mega Stone for the Pokemon and the Mega Ring, which has a mysterious stone set in it for the trainer. Since Sycamore entrusted each of you with the Pokedex, I would like to give these items to y'all. I'd like to share them with you, but... Well, just come on, say it. I'm sorry, but presently I only have one Mega Ring. It's a very precious item, that's why my research isn't getting anywhere. So I want all of you to decide amongst yourselves which one of you will, will be the one who challenges the Mega Evolution successor. I'll pass. Pokemon battling isn't really my scene, so Mega Evolution would be a way out of my league. Me too. I really would. It really would be a cool memory, and it does look in interesting. But I want to complete the Pokedex first. I'm trying to do too much at once, you won't accomplish anything. So that leaves Big D and Serena. Trainers don't get much better than you two. David, let's battle for it. Whatever the reason, a battle gives us an opportunity to compete to see who is Bannyville Town's best trainer. I say less. Are you ready? Um, yeah, I have to take a phone call, but now I am. I will master Mega Evolution and set myself apart from other trainers. I'll also do it for my Pokemon. We've come so far and they never stop believing in me. You and your Pokemon are stronger. I can tell just by looking at you, but I will not lose. I am going to win. Eh, uh, I doubt it, but I really doubt it. What do you got, Asper? Ooh, the Esper evolved. That's pretty cool. All right, we've got a Psychic Meow Stick. Um, 
Let's hit it with the water pulse. Ooh, is it gonna flinch me? Yeah, flinched me. Alright, let's do a smackdown. I don't think the water pulse might actually be stronger. But let's we'll see, I guess. Alright, that didn't hurt too bad, even though it was super effective. Let's go and do a water pulse. I'm hoping it's a little stronger than the rocks. Rock. Okay. Oh, and it was critical too. Cool. Alright. Quilladin. Alright, so it's a grass type, which is not the best matchup here. Um, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and just do another smackdown. I should probably open up my TM bag and see if I can teach Greninja anything cooler. Ooh, because that hurts. What about a round? Is a round any more effective? Probably has a... Okay, needle arm. That's going to hurt a little bit again. Um, we can go ahead and throw out a quick attack. And then, I wonder what her third Pokemon is. Okay. Bioplume to 27. Splink to 24. Spur to 20. Back to 21. Alright, everyone. Everyone gets a level. Yeah, I don't need Feather Dance. Absol. Uh, we'll keep we'll, we'll keep Greninja out. Um, likely it will kill Greninja. Um, but it's really not the biggest deal. Oh, okay, never mind. I just one shot it. I was really hoping I would, so I don't have to have Greninja faint, but um yeah. So I lost then. Yeah, you sure did, bud. My bad. It was so strong I could feel how powerful the bond between you and your partner is. Losing is frustrating, but you will definitely be able to mega evolve your Pokemon, I'm sure of it. There may be winners and losers in a Pokemon battle, but I really thought you two and your Pokemon were all winners. Mega Evolution is nothing more than just one way to make a Pokemon stronger. There are many trainers who bring out the strength of their Pokemon without Mega Evolution. Well then, David, first you should challenge Karina, the gym leader. Okay, Pokemon trainers need a stone and a ring. Well, my mysterious trainer, my Lucario, may have taken a shine to you, but now I must test you to see if you're ready to challenge the Mega Evolution successor. I'll be waiting for you at the gym. Oh, the rest of your friends should come to the challenge to challenge me at my gym too. I'll bet the professor will be happy if you master Mega Evolution. That's one way you can show mastery as a trainer. Well, that's what the professor wanted us to do after all. He said we should aim to the best to be the best trainers we can be and enjoy our journey. We should work best to be... Yep, yep. Alright, let's aim for the top. Hope to see you again uh, soon, Big D. You don't really need to go to all the trouble of comparing every league and creatures unique, but still, having someone to compete against and aim for greater heights with is a very fine thing. Big D, I think you and Serena are going to compete against each other and get real strong. So I'm glad we're all traveling together. Okay. Um... So I'm guessing I can't go in here without the, oh, it did, oh, okay, there's, oh, but there's nothing in here. I was like, that was in there. Now, can I, what's at the top? Should I, maybe I should go challenge the gym first and then try to make my way up. So let's, let's go heal and challenge the gym first now one thing that sucks is it's a fighting gym and that is not very good on Greninja um so yeah cause it's a it's a dark water wait yeah fighting is a weakness of mine um so likely we should probably grab some healing things because I will definitely need them. Ooh. Oh, you can buy moves? I did not know you could buy moves. Well, first let's go ahead and buy some great balls just so we can get that premium ball. Um, yes. I'm gonna need maybe five revives here. Because inevitably, Greninja will die. Let's go and buy five of these. Okay, we should be fine. 
I don't think I'll need like antidotes or anything like that for now. Right, let's go challenge. Where where did where did that gym go? It's over here, right? Hello? Okay. Better dum but up on. Ooh, that's a weird looking gym. Hello? What's the plan, Hitmonchan? How's the future champ today? This is the fighting gym. You on your guard? It doesn't matter if you come here from ahead or from behind around here. Just run into all the roller skaters and beat them. That's your ticket. Skirt. Okay, so... What does this do? Okay, so I just have to beat all of these trainers, right? You look like you could use some lessons. Don't worry, when it comes to speed skating and Pokemon battling, you won't find a better teacher. You're challenged by Skater Dash. Um... Okay. Paracross. Now, question. Is Rock good against bug types? No. Well, it's not effective, I'd say that much. Oh, why does it hurt so much? That's a good thing I bought some Hyper. Because this fighting gym is going to kill me. Okay, let's go ahead and quick attack it. Honestly, Greninja probably would have died there. If it didn't fail whatever it was trying to do. We got a lot of XP for it. Greninja to 44. Looks like I've got nothing to teach you that you already don't know. Also, let me... Before we get a bunch of XP... Do I... Spoink... Oh, let's get rid of some Pokemon here. Can I, like, make my way out very, very quickly? I currently basically just have Greninja with not a lot of backup, so... Um... It's gonna be a little rough, but we'll get through it. Just who do you think you are stopping me while I'm skating? I'm... David, how you doing? Alright, Kate, we got Metatite. Our right, Metatite shouldn't be too bad. Let's see what we can do. Um. Well, I guess we can just do. Oh, actually, after this fight, let me go into my TM bag and see what I got in there. Honestly, the only Pokemon that are really gonna beat me up are just straight up fighting Pokemon. Things like Metatite are fine. I'm not worried about those too much. Lilio's gonna grab a few levels very, very quickly here. So is Psyduck. Mianfu. So, see, this one's gonna maybe. Because I think this one is gonna hit me with a karate chop. So, this one's gonna hurt a little bit. Unless I just kill it outright. Which is kind of what I'm hoping to go for here. Good. Nice. Point to level 25. Lilio to 8. I might not even say them all, because it's going to be a lot of them here. A lot of moves learned, too. Oh, you stopped me because you wanted a battle? Why didn't you just say so? Well, you're in a Pokemon gym, bud. Alright, I think we need to defeat three more. Oh, hey, you've got some impressive skating skills. In order to catch up to me, you won't do something about a battle, though. Alright, shun. Okay, Pancham, let's... I don't think this is going to karate chop me, so I think I'll be fine. Mold breaker. Okay, it breaks the mold. Totally forgot to go open my TM bag. Um, but that's fine. Alright. A lot of levels. Here we go. But throw. Oh, no. Okay, this is where the pain begins. Throw sucks a little bit. But, um, let's get through it. I'm just hoping I can do it in two and not in three. Okay. Please, hit yourself. Oh, throw, you beautiful, beautiful creature. Thank you for doing that, actually. Alright, now I can quick attack it. Make sure it doesn't do anything a little too nuts. Alright, that wasn't that bad. Litleo's trying to learn. No, Litleo does not learn. Does not need headbutt. 
He can live without that. My choke. Okay, this one's also gonna be a little tough if he karate chops me in the head. Um, but I probably won't kill it with a single water pulse, but we'll go ahead and give it a try. Yeah, I knew I knew we'd have a little bit left over. Oh, oh, that didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. Fair enough. All right, phone away. I'm focusing on the video. Don't worry. All right, where's these other skaters at? Oh, there you are. This is skate and battle it doesn't stop for anyone. Non-stop speed. Go, go, go. All right, R R Rolanda. Bro, these. Why do all of these trainers have weird names like Shun, Rolanda? I mean, in a sense, I'm very happy because like we're not seeing like. Trainer Josh. Trainer Michael. Uh, Trainer John. You know, like, yeah, yeah, cool names. I guess. Right. Anyway. So there, there, I think I've. I think I defeated a David already, so. Alright. Zen Headbutt. No, I don't need Zen Headbutt. Spoink doesn't need much of anything, to be honest. He's not going to be used. No, we don't need Disarming Voice. Ducklet to 23. Let Leo, two levels. Noble Roar. Nope. You don't need nothing like that, Let Leo. Ariyama. Okay. Lots of defense on this boy. Oh, funny enough, I just watched... A Vice video on uh, sumo wrestling, which is like it's pretty cool. Yeah, a very big defense on Hariyama here. Um, well, you knocked off my amulet coin. What? Why would you do something like that? Now I'm not gonna get the cash. I wanted that cash. Why would you? Can I like grab it back? Can I just like pick it up off the floor and be like, no backsies? You stopped me right in my tracks. Oh. Oh, that's the last one? Is there no more? Hey, apparently those were the only ones. Well, let's go ahead and heal Greninja before we go up there. Let's use a Hyper Potion. Alright. And... Here we go. Time for Lady Corinna's big appearance. Alright. Haha, uh, I'm just messing around with you. I know you're rolling in the aisles, right? I already know you're a strong trainer, so let's get this show on the road. Yeah, we've defeated her once, so this is like... This is like slightly repetitive, but it's alright. You're challenged by Leader Corinna. But this actually should be one of the harder fights of the game, considering Hyper Ninja. And this would definitely, definitely be much, much harder if I wasn't over level 2. Um, but, oh, you're going to make me flinch, you dummy. Uh, at least it's not a strong move. Because if it, if it like, hit me more than half and it flinched, then we, we'd probably be in a little bit of trouble here. But we're not. Okay. And once again, why I, I brought in a bunch of Pokemon that need levels, because we're going to get quite a few levels from this fight. Halucha. Um, I tried smack downing a Halucha earlier, and it didn't seem to do that good. So we'll just keep water pulsing. What is it, attack? Attack and accuracy. Well, it's not going to help you that much if you die so quickly. Yeah, the AI does so some of these gym leaders aren't wonderful, but Okay. Got some good XP there. He literally came in with a like, Litleo like level 7. He's already he's gonna be out of here with level 20. Alright. Is this the last Pokemon? That was it? Okay. Well, we're, once again, we're definitely not going to beat the Machoke with a single Water Pulse here, but... Um... Pretty close. 
why did I think that was gonna be a lot more effective than it was? Oh, that's kind of annoying. How much will this quick attack do? Well, actually, that quick attack did enough to where we will knock it out with this water pulse. Good. And it was a crit, too. Didn't need the crit, but I'll take a crit. Alright, thanks for the levels. Aqua Ring. No, you don't need Aqua Ring, that's fine. Alright, how could it be? Well, I defeated you earlier, what do you what do you mean? Oh, I've been defeated. Lady Krennic gave a terrible display. This is it. I'm not give I must give up my title and admit that your strength far exceeds. Just teasing. Here's your badge. Boy, you'll be rolling in them soon. Alright, we got the rumble badge. Then oh, level 50. Okay. Using surf. Okay, where do we get Surf, though? I don't I don't think we have it yet, but we're going to be able to soon. Um, look, I do apologize. You'll have to make it up to the top of the tower if you want the Mega. I'm sorry for sending you this way. I swear I'm not giving you a roundabout. You've done great rolling with the punches. So, I'd, so that great, I'd like to ask you a favor. Battle me again, won't you? But this time, it won't just be another gym battle. I want a battle between equals as two trainers who can use Mega Evolution. I'll be waiting for you with Lucario at the top of the tower. We're gonna have to fight her again? All right. Fair enough. Let's um go heal and I guess we're going to the top of the tower to fight her for like the third time. Real quick, none of my Pokemon evolved, right? No, they didn't. Okay, I'm like, I don't remember them evolving. I really, I don't like this part of the game because everyone is a fighter here. Like the the gym is fighters, the towers to be filled with fighters. Corinna is a fighter, and it's just not a very good matchup for Greninja. So I don't, I don't particularly uh, like these this part of the game as far as matchups are concerned. But um, let's go ahead and go to the tower. Um, but guys, I will actually be ending off the episode here, and we'll go up the rest of the tower after this dialogue. Oh, I mean the Mega Evolution successor is waiting for you at the top of the tower. Okay. Well, then we have to go through a bunch of fights, which we will do next episode. I'll see you guys then. Hey everybody, we're playing some Pokemon. We gotta make it to the top of the tower to fight Corinna for like the third time. Only those who have been approved may climb the tower. Oh, you may pass. Okay. Um, do we not have to fight people here? I was under the assumption that we fight people. So do you know the Mega Evolution Guru's real name? It's Gherkin. <laughs> Long ago, a trainer came to this land occupied by Lucario. They found two strange stones. This is said to have led to the world's first Mega Evolution. Yeah, I don't know why I assumed this would be like a battle tower. This is not a battle tower. It doesn't seem like it. Um, okay. Something about Mega Evolution. It's apparently Descender of the first trainer to evolve Lucario to its Mega Evolution. Okay. When he was younger, Professor Sycamore trained here to learn about Mega Evolution, but he decided he didn't, he didn't have what it takes and left fairly quickly. Since you were kind enough to come clear up here, I want to you to have this. Low sleep. Sleep. Low sleep. Low sweep. I just this thought, maybe the fact that people think up all of these ways to bring out the power of Pokemon is a message to us to look for all the possibilities everywhere. I... All right, big door. I really love this place. When I'm here with my Pokemon, looking at the wide open sky above, all my worries disappear. And I feel like I can do anything. Thanks for coming all the way up here. 
It was decided that this must be the place where the Mega Ring is handed over. Something about making sure we never forget to set our sights as high as the sky. And here it is, your very own Mega Ring. It's in the shape of a bracelet, so it's super easy to wear. Left wrist? Why on the left? I'm right handed. So I, I mean, I guess it'd be easier then because I could go like Ben 10 this and wait, you know. Give your Pokemon the right Mega Stone and try battling with it. Your Pokemon will surely answer the call of the Mega Ring. Lucario, what's wrong? Oh, yikes, dude. Lucario, are you sure? You want to battle alongside that trainer? Don't know what to say. I'm a bit shocked that some traveling trainer seems to have a stronger bond with you than I do. Well, he must be something special. So what do you say, trainer? Will you and Lucario battle against me and my Lucario? Lucario and Lucario battle will be nothing short of riveting. They both have Lucario night in hand. How about we get this show on the road? I can feel Lucario's passion. Perhaps it's just that it doesn't want to lose to the other Lucario, but it may be that it's just on the same wavelength as you. Dude, that's kind of gnarly, though. Lucario versus Lucario. Ready, Lucario? Let's give it all we got. Alright, let's do it. You are challenged by successor, Karina. Not gym leader, but successor. Let's go ahead and do our first mega evolution here. Our own Lucario. We already have a Riolu, funny enough. So, this is just kind of like, um, extra. But real quick, let me check something. Okay, we're good. Um, how do I do the thing? Oh, there it is. Oh, okay, Mega. And let's use, uh, oh, power up punch. Why not? Lucario's Lucario Knight is reacting. Here we go. Very cool, he now has dreadlocks. Alright. They are also mega evolving. Mega Lucario versus Mega Lucario. Are we both level 32? <laughs> oh. Lucario's attack rose. Yeah, we both are level 32. So am I just slightly faster? So I just win because I'm just slightly faster. What happens if I lose? You defeated Corinna. What an incredible bond you have. What an amazing power. What an explosive battle. I could tell that both Mega Lucario didn't hold back anything. With strong bonds like that, you shouldn't have any problem triggering your Pokemon's Mega Evolution. I think it would be best if you took that Lucario along with you on your journey. It's quite apparent that you two make a truly incredible team. Lucario is staring intently at David. Will you take Lucario with you? Of course I will. What do you mean? Okay, um... Side duck can screw off just for a minute. Alright, we will receive Lucario. Again, I have a Riolu, but hey, this saves me from having to evolve it, so... Give a nickname? Nope. As long as Pokemon and Trainer have the kindness to care for each other and give each other courage, the world will be full of smiles. Alright, well, this tower was much easier than I thought it was. Um, yeah, I thought I was gonna have to battle like seven people to get up here. Um, also, real quick, let me make sure this isn't a door over here. Okay, I thought that might have- it looked like a door, but it's just a window. Okay, well, now... Are we technically done with Shalor City? I think we're actually done with here. So, I think we can move on to Route 12, because we got the gym, we got the Mega stuff. So, I'm pretty sure we're good to go. Um... Let's see... Okay, so we gotta search for the stones. Okay. Alright, well then, let's go ahead and get out of here. Um... 
we're kind of chilling. Now, actually, I really do want to keep that Lucario with me. But, once again, our, our goal here is to get the Pokedex. So, I'm actually going to put it back. Um, because, once again, I need that slot open. Um, so, Lucario, I thank you. But, let's put him in the battle box. How about that? So, we kind of signify him as a special Pokemon. But, right now... I need Pokemon that I can evolve, so we're gonna go ahead and grab Psyduck back. And maybe we'll use Lucario when we get to the Elite Four or whatever. Um, but I think that's kind of it. So if we go back to Shaler City. Um, let me double check that I didn't miss anything. So with an old rod, we can get a Love Disc, which we already have. Okay. Um, it's time to go to Route 12, and then after Route 12, we go to the city that I've been waiting for to get that stupid good rod. Hey neighbor, you should use this. That's where we get Surf. I was wondering where we get that from. If you use Surf, you can travel over the water. When I think about it, it's kind of amazing how a person like you came to Kalos and ended up traveling with me. It's like destiny. Okay, well that is instantly going on Greninja because Surf is 90 power. So, yes, so that is instantly going on Greninja. And we are going to be forgetting round is 60 deck is 40 Well, we're never going to use uh, Water Pulse above Surf, so we can just get rid of that. It has five less PP, but that's fine. All right, cool. Very, very cool. Keep moving on here. I think we already talked to most of these people, so we're kind of we're kind of chilling here. Ooh. Okay, dude, just talk to me. This kind Lapras here once saved me from drowning. I feel bad though. I cannot afford to travel around it and show it the uh, wide world. Hey, I've got an idea. You've got a Rumble badge. You must be a strong and seasoned traveler. Would you mind taking Lapras with you on your journey? Dude, we really have to. Alrighty. Let's go back. Put Psyduck away. Grab the Lapras, run back, put the Lapras away, but I do want to grab this Lapras, though. Service from you? Cool. Thank you for your Lapras. Um, sadly, I, um, have a Greninja, so... Yeah. So, I will not be traveling with you all over the world. I'm going to be sticking you in the box, which I'm actually... I've never felt sorry for a digital creature before, but in this case, I do kind of feel bad. Because I just told the guy, yeah, I'll take a Lapras around the world with me, and then I'm just like, uh, psych. Um, I'm just gonna stick it in my box. Um, what are you gonna do? You know, what are you gonna do? Let's go back to Route 12 and actually start doing what we were doing here. A few Pokemon to catch. We got Slowpoke, Chatot, Execute, Tauros, Miltank, Pinsir, and Pachurisu. Um, is there anything back here? Do I have a Pokemon with Cut? Currently, I do not have a Pokemon with Cut. Who can learn Cut? Esper can learn Cut. Alright, Esper. Maybe you are useful for something. Yes. Let's go ahead and get rid of... Light screen, yeah. You're not going to need light screen right now, Esper, so... Let's go ahead and give it cut here. Yes, Esper, go ahead and cut it with your tiny little claws. Yeah. Alright, berry. An Asper berry. Very cool. Worth the cut? Probably not. Um, I don't know if we should just... Oh, the rest of this is water, isn't it? Okay, so that's all water. What over here? Yeah, that's all water. Well, 
Ooh. No, what, what do you gotta say? Everything... Okay. Well, then let's stay here and catch some Pokemon that we need. Um, so we have quite a few... Wingle is surprisingly not one that we need. Um, so, the one that we need from Hordes is actually Mareep. Um, ooh, and from Surfing, we can actually find Lapras, which is a 1%. So I guess if we didn't want to do one from the guy, we could find one there. And then, just another Love Disc from the... From the old rod, but we again we are getting the Why did you crit, you big dummy? Don't do that. Why would you crit? Luckily Chata isn't one of the rare ones, it's a 30%. But still, bro, come on, man. Alright, slowpoke, another one of the um not rare ones here. Alright, Greninja, please do not crit this time. Okay, disable. Oh. What am I gonna hit you with now? Alright, that's fine. Let's throw a great ball at you. Hopefully it does what it needs to do here. Kinda wasted that quick attack, but I think we'll be fine. Let's go, dude. Slowpoke was caught. Didn't even need to do anything nuts with it. It always vacant. It's always vacantly lost in thought, but no one knows what it's thinking about. It's good at fishing with its tail. And Sprenzy, its tail is not that long, so I don't know how it's a good fisher with it, but, um... Fair enough, I guess. Alright, give me a chat tot. No? <laughs> Just another Slowpoke? Yeah, so far... And I'm sure you guys saw it kind of in the last one. Sometimes I just get new Pokemon after new Pokemon, getting caught first ball. You know, I can catch like six in like a minute. Sometimes it gives me a chat tot, I kill it, slow poke, I grab it, another slow poke. It's like a another slow poke. Come on, man. I I'm trying to catch these Pokemon fast. Giving me a bunch of slow pokes and killing things is not particularly my speed here. Yo, is Heracross an exclusive? Bro, you gotta be kidding me, right? Um, yeah. Apparently, Heracross is an exclusive to Pokemon Y. What? Really? And apparently, Pinsir is an exclusive to Pokemon X. The really weird part... Dude, you gotta be kidding me. The weird part is Heracross is much, much better than Pinsir. So I don't understand why Pokemon Y gets like the really, really good bug Pokemon and we get the eh bug Pokemon. Um, please give me something that's not, okay, good. Actually, this is the one of the rare spawns in this area, so that makes me happy that it gave me five slow pokes and then the rare. Don't kill. Okay, good, good. Don't blast me with some stars. Throw some great balls. Just because it's the rare, we might as well. One. Oh, crit. Okay, there we go. Ba -ba 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 -bum. What's the odd Pokemon of the bunch here? I think that's the same Pokemon. It makes fur balls, electricity, something, something. I totally accidentally clicked yes before I was done reading that. Alright, so we got the first and last Pokemon. So now we need the five in the middle. Pinsir, Miltank, Tauros, Execute, Chatot. Miltank. That is another one of the rarer ones at a 10%. So, pretty cool. Also, one of the Pokemon is going to have a little bit of higher HP and defense. So, I'm pretty cool with hitting it with a round. Yeah, Milk Drink. Okay. Is this, like, perfect to get it in the red here? What did it just do? Yes, it is perfectly in the red. Um, so that milk drink actually helped quite a bit there. Alright, so now... Ooh, no 
no shot. Um, I'm actually gonna throw a Premier Ball at it. I don't know why. I just really want a Mel Tank and a Premier Ball. Oh, you butt cheek. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That hurt a lot. Um. All right, come on, Mel Tank. Don't don't be that one Mel Tank from I think Gen Two. Milk drink? No, don't drink your milk. Why would you do that? Because now you're in the. Gr All right. Well, we just gotta keep throwing balls. If I hit it with another pound, I'm gonna kill it. I could hit it with a quick attack, but. What are you... This mill tank, man, on another level. It's escaped so many balls, it's insane. Well, and we will have to go back and, uh... Heal. And also, I'm probably gonna have to go buy more great balls. One. Two. Three. No! Why? Don't do that. Oh, I'm wasting so much money on a single mill tank. I hate mill tank so much. I'm not gonna even count. Let's go, dude. After like six great balls, we got it. Yeah, Esper got a big old level there, though. Bum, 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 bum. Um, when does Esper, 25, okay, if it is around babies, the milk it produces contains much more nutrition than usual. Very cool. What do you guys think? Should I take a, um, should I take a mill tank into the Elite Four? Maybe? Alright, chat tot. Um... Here's the thing, I don't want to run back before I evolve Esper very quickly, so let's go ahead and try to catch a few more, evolve Chata, and then we'll go back to heal. Because uh, I don't want to run back twice. Okay. Thank you, Chata. See, that wasn't that bad. So now we just need Execute, Tauros, and Pinsir. And, um, Pinsir's that 5%, so that one's going to be a little rough. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll get it. It mimics the cries of other Pokemon to trick them into thinking it's one of them. This way they won't attack it. Very cool. Bought a lot of chat on, on uh, Go Fest. So we have both of the Pokemon from Rock Smash. And then from Hordes, we just need the Mareep. And that's it. I think... Okay, we can get a Tauros. It's another one that I think we need. Did we get the Tauros? No, we didn't get the Tauros. We can get that out of Hordes, too. I don't think I want that one out of a Horde. And then we'll have some Surfing... Okay. Hopefully we can get lucky. We can kind of get a Marie Horde while we're doing this. Or unlucky because I don't have Greninja live, but then at that point, just revive it and call it a day. Man, what's with all these slowpoke? Can y'all get out of here, man? I don't, I don't need you guys. There's, it's supposed to be a 30%. There's way too many of you. I've gotten them at least like 60% of the time. Your odds are too high. Go away. But I'm bump. No, not another mill tank, dude. I was looking for uh, someone else. I don't need your milk right now. Is there yellow flowers around here? Because in yellow flowers, it's much easier to find Tauros. Never mind, I found it here, so. Never mind, I guess that don't need to do that. Tauros is intimidate. Alright, let's go ahead and start chucking great balls. Again, I know it's really not the best strategy here. I should probably weaken it, but um I doubt Esper's gonna be able to do a lot of damage to this tor to this Toro. 
Oh, that blows quite a bit, actually. All right, well, looks like we're going back. Um. All right, <laughs> cool. Sure, Tauros. Just, uh, smash my Esper. Fine. I'm just gonna... Oh, no. Alright, look. Let's keep throwing him. I'm not gonna weaken it right now. I don't have Greninja on me. This is gonna be a hard catch, isn't it? Why do you use... Why do you use... Payback. That move hurts. Don't do that one. That move hurts. Okay. Too nervous to eat berries. Well, that's wonderful. He's shivering in his boots. He can't eat berries or sleep. He's crying. Hello? Let's go, dude. Alright. He was quaking in his boots, so he stayed in the ball. Alright, so Litleo to 20. I needed Esper to 24, but that's okay, I guess. Okay. After heightening its will to fight by whipping itself with its three tails, it charges at full speed. Alright. That's a little weird, bud, but hey. Am I too- am I really gonna use a revive here? No, I'm not. No, I'm gonna go back. I'm- I gotta not be lazy here. My- you know, that revive money can get me a couple of Pokeballs, so... I will not be lazy. Let's just go and heal. Oh, hey! <laughs> There's an nice cute. Cool. That is the one that I was looking- one of- one of the ones that I was looking for. I'm going to hit it with a quick attack. Right in the eggs. No, don't do that. You don't you don't need to do that. Why would you poison me? That wasn't very nice of you. Um I was like almost about to throw a luxury ball and I'm like, no. You don't deserve luxury. You poisoned me. You disgusting pile of eggs. Why would you do something so heinous? Especially you in the back. With your yolk sticking out, that's indecent. Don't do that, that's gross. Least you could do is stay in the ball. I'll make scrambled eggs later. I love scrambled eggs. Some salt on it. Maybe a little paprika. No, not paprika. A uh, black pepper. Get some tomatoes, some onions. A little bread. A little, you know. Hey, yeah. It's six eggs. It's six eggs converse using telepathy. They can quickly gather if they become separated. Gross. All right, we're just looking for Pincer now. Last one. So we got Patrisu, Meltank, Tauros, Execute, Chat Out, Slowpoke. Hey, Patrisu. Rare spawn, but I don't need you. I already got you. And then after we get the Pincer. We just need the Mareep out of Hordes and we're all set, basically. Oh, hey, okay, there is the pincer that we were looking for. Very nice. Go ahead and give the disgusting bug a little quick attack. Bop. Alright, break, break. That's gonna hurt. Um, okay. Now, Greninja, do not crit for love of... And it I'm actually like I'm pretty like angry about that one. I specifically asked to not crit. I specifically asked. What is a crit percentage? Crit percentage in Pokemon. Six six percent. Six percent. I ask it not to crit. And it crits. Sh sure enough, it crits. Wonderful. Wonderful. It grips its prey with its pincers until the prey is torn in half. What it can't tear, it tosses far. Ugh. 
Okay. Well, that is technically... Oh, we still need... We still need, uh, Mareep, right? Wait, why did I just do that? I need Mareep and Hordes. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and do a few Horde battles and hopefully we can grab ourselves a Mareep here. We still got... We don't got Vileplume with us. Do we still have the honey? Maybe we can just kind of get lucky? Do we have one honey with us? Do we have one honey? Do we really not have it? Oh, no. Do we have sweet scent as a... A thingy. Okay. I gotta go grab Vile Plume. I'll be right back. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go ahead and evolve Esper first. So let's go ahead and surf, and we can catch a few Pokemon while we're surfing. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and catch a few Pokemon while we're surfing. That way, we can evolve Esper, then grab Vile Plume. Alright, Tentacool. So there's only two Pokemon here, Tentacool and Mantyke. Now, um, the Mantyke is going to be 15%, so it's going to take a few surfs to find it. Well, we're going to need another Tentacool anyway, so that's fine. Because we killed the absolute poo, poo out of this one. Nope. Alright, come on. Kinda cool, just, uh, I've actually got friends that want to play games with me right now. So if you just want to stay in the ball, that would be kind of wonderful in the moment, to be honest. We got a new comment. Oh, hey, we got it. I'm like, sorry, I got a text, an email, a YouTube comment, and an invite to play games. Its body is virtually composed of water. It shoots streams beams from its crystal eyes. I got a, I've got a bunch of things just thrown at me all of a sudden. I got to read this email. <laughs> all right. Um... Alright, um, here is Mantyke. I was literally in a Discord call with my friends because they want to play games like now. So I'm gonna quickly catch this. And then we might, um, call it a day here. Just gotta quickly catch this. Alright, come on. Alright, Mantyke, please. Come on, I, I got places to be. Mantag is gonna make me have an aneurysm. Dude, just stay in the stupid ball, dude. Alright, I'm gonna quick attack. If I kill it, I'm just gonna have a meltdown. Okay, don't recoil yourself to death, please. Oh lord, it's gonna end up killing itself. Alright, please, Mantag, for the love of the lord. 
stay in the ball. No! Is it gonna kill itself? Okay, it didn't. Dude, this Mantike is definitely gonna be like the end of me. Like, this is the one moment where I need the Pokemon to be fast. Come on, man. Like, I got places to be. And this... Oh, this Mantike is... Making me... So angry. Dude, please. Just stay in the ball. I got somewhere to be. Dude, come on. Please. Mantike. Thank you, holy. I now have a pretty strong hatred for Mantike, by the way. That was definitely one of the harder Pokemon to catch so far in the game, and this was just not the right moment for it. So I definitely, I had now have a vendetta against Mantike. The pattern on its back varies by region, often swims in a school of Remoraid. Alright, I want, I'm gonna, I really want to nickname you as Butthole, but we'll leave you alone. Okay, so right now, all we need left, because we got the Tentacle of Mantike, we got the Lapras, we just need that more report, but we're going to go ahead and do that next episode, because right now I need to go, because people are waiting for me. So I'll see you guys next episode. Hey everybody, we're playing some more Pokemon very, very quickly. Last episode we left off on Route 12, and the only Pokemon that we had to catch was just this Marie. So, um, I went ahead, I found the Horde. I defeated all four of the Marie, just so you guys don't have to sit through it, and we're gonna catch it. Once we go catch it, we can go ahead and surf across and go get the good rod and just start finally looking for that star you that I've been wanting so bad. But first, I have to catch this Marie, and actually, now that we're well, the Greninja's paralyzed, so I should probably actually I just use a paralyzed antidote or whatever the thing is called. <laughs> Its fluffy coat swells to double what static electricity to double what static electricity builds up. Touching it can be shocking. How are you supposed to shear the thing? I feel like that's like poor design. How are you gonna shear it? Okay, but um, paralyzed heal. An unparalyzed Greninja, and that is it for Route 12. As far as we're concerned, um, we have caught all of the Pokemon here. Um, let's fight this dude. Someone alone, someone alone. Oh, yeah. I don't know if... Uh, challenged by Alessandro? Swimmer Alessandro. Quillfish. Okay. Fighting in the dark in the ocean. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, do a little smackdown. I don't know if, I don't think that's effective, actually. It might have been a mistake. Yeah. That's alright, though. Stockpile. Cool. Stockpile the one, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pound it. No, not pound it, round it. I'm gonna round it by singing at it. Alright. Level 46. Almost halfway. And then, of course, we have our uh, Pokemon we're trying to evolve behind us here. And the Binacle. We got one of those too. Um, let's go ahead and just round it right off the bat here. I don't want to use Surf on it, but I don't want to use the Rock Smash either. Ooh, okay, we might have to use Surf, because I feel like it's not going to be effective, but it's probably going to end up killing it. It's a little easier to do here. What kind of trainers we got? Trainers, ooh, we actually got a couple trainers here. And... We even get to fight the classic guy with like the five Magikarps. All right, real quick, let me make sure. Okay, I didn't miss anything there. Let me make sure I don't miss anything over here. Anything? Okay, maybe we'll get another Lapras. Maybe we we'll... won't. Nah. Does it mean we get that one percent? Maybe. But nope. That's all right. Not a very big problem here. Okay, cool. There is like nothing over here, so we can just kind of go. First, we got. I grew tired of the city life and decided to wander the world. I'm not aiming for anywhere in particular. All right, uh, backpacker Jorin. What you got there, bud? Lenore. All right, 
let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna surf upon you with my ninja frog. Level 26, Slit Leo level 22, Spoink level 29. <clears throat> Everyone's getting a little, a little some some. Okay, I don't need rest. Nope, I don't need snore either. Why, why would I need my psychic pig to know snore? I suppose I won't find victory in battle either unless I aim for it. Well, what are you aiming for then, bud? Ooh, okay. ooh. Wait, I don't need a rock smasher. There's nothing in there that I need. Where are we? We're still on Route 12, right? Oh, these are the yellow flowers that I was talking about earlier. I think... Do I... Oh, I think I put the Pokemon away that had cut. Do I have a cut? Nobody's able to learn it! Um, hold on. What is... what does this do? Okay, I'll cu I'll come back. Um, remind me to come back and get that though. I, th I think I I think I do want that item. You're about to find out just how strong my family is. You're challenged by Pokemon breeder Amala. How strong is your family, Amala? You got a spooky snake. All right, I will surf upon your spooky snake. Oh, alrighty, what do we got here? Good rod. Okay. Yeah, I actually can't wait for that good rod. And I can't wait for the super rod. Now, that's going to be very, very epic. But first things first. And again, honestly, the good rod is really what I need to get that star you. That's the important part, at least for me. Litleo to 23. Fire Fang. Yeah, I want Fire Fang. Let's give her a workup. You don't need no workup. There we go. Combi to 20. Wow, we lost. It looks like your family was even stronger. You know it. You know who I is. Question. I'm gonna make sure I didn't skip anything over here first, because I think I can do something with that ranch. Alright, slow poke. It's not the time. I'm busy. I'm busy doing stuff. Okay, also, can you guys hear my fan? Ooh, okay, wait. Hello? You can't pick up items from the ground while on the back of a Skiddo. Okay. I love Skiddo so much. Take this TM. Alright, TM attract. Okay. Very cool. Um the sleeping skiddo. Is there anything I can like grab over here? Oh, I need to grab whatever that is. But how? Do I need to grab the alive skiddo? Okay. Um. Oh. Okay, I'm just going fast. Okay, I want that Pokeball. Oh, I can just like straight up drop it. Okay. No. There you go. I want to get this Pokeball. Whipped Dream. Okay. I know there should be a shiny stone around here somewhere. Where's that shiny stone? Maybe it's... Oh, is it over here? Pretty sure it's over here. Let's get on. I need you to move for one hot moment. There we go. And that is what we need to get ourselves a Roserade, which we will definitely... 100% be doing. Okay. Well, that's what I needed as far as the Skiddo is concerned. 
So, thank you, Skiddo. I appreciate everything you have done for me. Um, I don't appreciate this encounter, but it's alright. He'll take it out of here, dude. Dude, I got... I got heated last episode of this mill tank. Well, actually, I would say mill tank was more of the annoying ones, but I think man type definitely took the cake on, like, as far as how annoying it was. But I do have all of the Pokemon on Route 12, so I don't really need any of them. Okay, he is a little bug boy. Alright, Aiden, what you got? What do you got there, bud? Um... Yanma, go and smack down the Yanma. I think that'll work. Okay. Alright, Whirlipede. We're gonna go ahead and probably surf on the Whirlipede. We already got. Oh, did not mean to do that. Oh, he protected. That's perfect. Well, um, I misclicked on that, so actually. Um, I would have wasted a PP on Surf, which actually helped, so thank you for, uh, messing up me. Thank, thanks, past David. Alright, Motham, now we can go ahead and, uh, throw a rock. We can throw a rock at the Butterfly here. Isn't that just, like, a clone of Butterfree? I feel like it is. Alright. Ducklet to 27. Air Slash. Sure, why don't we forget, um... Why don't we get rid of Water Sport? No reason to have Water Sport. That's not gonna help. Cool. Psyduck to 21. Splink to 30. Alright, Youngster Aiden. Nah, you really gonna start up the hive. Man, this kid's got $1,200 just lying around. I like to bury my face in the fur around Toro's neck and take a big whiff of its scent. It's a jinx for- oh. Bro, those things probably smell, bro. Alright, Zangoose. It's a pretty cool one. I think we got our own Zangoose. I'm gonna go ahead and surf you up. I'm gonna surf all these people up. Oh yeah. Alright, level 47. Litleo to 24. Wanna send out Tauros. Okay. And do another surf. Let's go. Bonk. Side of crew to 22. Fury swipes? No. Alright. Oh, that's right. A jinx is something that brings you bad luck. Oops. Maybe you shouldn't be sniffing on your Tauros, but it's a little weird. Not gonna lie. Fishing is all about catching and releasing. Ah, yes. He's Fisherman Murray. Cool. His five. Wait, no, six magic Bro, why do you have so many magic That's weird. Alright, well, we're gonna round every single one of them, I guess, with the terrible, terrible noise that this move makes. And we gotta do it six times. Oh, no, okay, sorry, I'm like looking down at the phone. Just keep attacking. Yep, I'm gonna keep rounding him up. What do a Pokemon is gonna have next? Round him up. This is gonna make voice getting tired. Honestly, man, <clears throat> I need to get to that good rod. And then once I get that good rod, do that. Back to Route 8 we go. Although, yeah, it's gonna take a little while to get back to Route 8, probably. It's gonna be a little bit of a trip, but I think we'll be fine. Alright, how 
many more you got there, bud? Uh, was it two more? Two. Okay. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Alright. One more. One more roundhouse kick to the face. Alright. Oh, dang. You defeated Murray. I wouldn't have lost so badly if I just released sooner. I don't know about that one, bud. Can I have a good rod? Okay, apparently I don't get it from you. That's fine. What, what's... Oh, okay, this is the city that we need to be in, so I should probably... Hey, I challenge you to a battle in front of the gym. Prepare yourself. Okay, so we got... We have to battle her. Fair enough. Well, let me go back and let me... Yeah, let's go to the town. I think I want to go here first. I was a child that saw Pokemon trainer at the Great Ampharos in Azure Bay. Okay. Well, if it wasn't blah, 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 I don't care. Um, your youth is simply too much for an older... Okay, we got a silk scarf. I used to buy silk scarves all the time for my wife, but I think they would do more good for... Dude, that doesn't sound like a happy marriage. I'm just gonna put that out there. Can I buy some for me? Like collecting many different types of incense. Buy. Hmm. Okay. Mm, don't need any of that. Yeah. I'll take a chest, though, Barry. Thanks, bud. Yeah, let's... Um, 100. Okay. I'm, wa I'm a, a wandering young trainer, are you? Let me guess, you wish to fish for Pokemon in the water, right? Here, shall I lend you a rod? Oh, yes. That's what I need. Yeah. Good rod, that's what I'm talking about. Now we can go back to Route 8. What's going on in the Cowers Park? I heard the electricity for Limitwee City is getting lower than usual. Hmm. Okay, where does... No, we don't need another repel now. Okay, so we gotta take the monorail over to the gym. My Magikarp is so cute watching it. I mean, I'm going my diet again. Alright, what is all of this? Totally random TM quiz. If you give me the answer, I'll give you a TM. Do you want to try? Sure. Just go, what's the movement I'm describing? It prevents the target from using its held item. Oh, that's embargo. Correct. I'll give you the TM. Oh. Oh, I get embargo. Okay. Yeah, I was like, if you, if you know simple English, you probably can get that. Okay, so it just gives me one TM every day. Okay. Yeah, if you took, like, Economics 101, you'd probably be able to get that. Okay, another hotel. Can I get any? I'll probably go get an old power really quick. Can I get anything from you? <gasps> Lucky egg? What does that do? What does the... Lucky egg Pokemon... What does that do again? Oh, it's just extra happiness. Okay. Oh. Well, I will definitely need to use that lucky egg on Starmie when I get it, for sure. Okay, he's got an old rod. I just got a good rod. Um, okay, there's another ribbon. Thank you. Hello, I'm the game director. If you're, uh, you're working on your Pokedex, come show me when you fill it up. Okay, so when we finish the Pokedex, that's who we come to. I don't particularly know what the prize is, but I'll try my best, I guess. Okay, so here's the thing now. We could go over to the gym. Or we could go get it. Maybe we'll actually go take on this gym first, because I kind of want to end off the episode, and I want to do it in between episodes. 
Why, hello, David. Oh, okay. Sycamore. Congratulations, I see you finally obtained everything you need for Mega Evolution. A Mega Stone for the Pokemon, a Mega Ring for the Trainer. And a strong bond with your Pokemon. Strong bond? It's only a hypothesis, but I think the bond between Pokemon and Trainer is the key to this new evolution. But what is this bond exactly, and why are there examples of Mega Evolution only in the Kalos? There's still so much we don't know. Does this mean you think of something like Kalos' legendary Pokemon? Found only here in the Kalos region, right? Nowhere else? Maybe that's not a coincidence. Ah, what an excellent point indeed. The more you know, the more there is to research. Excitement never ends, does it? Oh, that's right, I came here to give you this. Hey, that is actually very useful. Use the TM Fly to pop right over the Pokemon Center as the place you've already visited. Well then, David. Diantha, I hope to see you again soon. I don't think I can use Fly though yet. I don't think I have like the permission. Bonds, they really are important to us all, aren't they? When, but when I'm acting, I think I'm trying to forge a bond between myself and the character that I'm playing. If all I think about is how I'm nothing like a character, then I just hate playing it. But I, if I focus on what it, what I have in common with the character and put myself in her shoes, I might be able to understand her. It's the same for people or Pokemon. Oh, never mind. I'm just bad. You, you sure are. That was very boring. Let's have a battle next time we meet, shall we? I'm still looking forward to it. Okay. Teehee. Even the movie star Dante rides the monorail. Visitors always have a one-track mind about it. How's that for... Hey, these dialogues are terrible. Alright, um... Okay, fly. Ooh, ducklet's able. Ducklet can fly me? Okay, let's see. I don't think we're able to use it until we beat the gym. But we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. Let's get rid of wing attack here. Okay. Now. Can we... Oh, well, first probably need to get out of the building, right? Can we use it? Yeah, so we need, we need the next one to do it. Now, honestly, then we might as well go and beat the gym, and then we can fly over there. Yes, sure. I will be riding that monorail. Cool. Ooh, okay, we got metronome... Pokemon or monorails? Uh, probably Pokemon. Okay, well, looks like they're both doing their own little thing there. Where am I? Okay, so there's the Pokemon Center. I met my Heliocept how close to the power plant around 13. If it bathes in the sun, it gets full of energy. Do you know the... Do you know Dr. Fennel from Unova? Okay... Okay, hey, little kid, you wanna give me something? Okay. That's fine. Um, no, I don't wanna do a winter trade. We should probably heal our Pokemon very, very quickly. We'll go ahead and do this. Just while we're, I think, I don't think Greninja is hurt, I, but I do need probably some more Surf PP. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that back here. Keep exploring the town here. Mm, up or down do we go? Is house by house? I'm having fights. Okay. Something about leftovers. Well, that's an item we can use, but. Okay, triple battles. Sure. Um, yeah, sure, we'll give him a tip. 100? Okay. Please listen, okay? <laughs> Wait, oh, I didn't know I could scroll further down. Okay, well, let's try it one more time. a little harder. Probably Combi. What? Okay. 
Okay, that's gotta be Psyduck. Yeah. Poketoy. Okay, I don't know what to do with that, but sure. I'll take the Poketoy. Alright, where else we got? What, what's down here? Uh... So, can I not get through over here, I'm guessing? Oh, um, well, this is Route 13. Okay, well, I don't want to come here just yet. Oh, too fast. Black Sludge. Okay. Everyone's giving me items. Um, okay. Dude, no, I want to talk to the guy sitting. Can I talk to you, bud? Nothing important here. And I don't want to go down Route 13 just yet. I also need to talk to this man. Hmm. Where, is the Pokemon Daycare up here? Um, okay. Oh, that. I can, like, see. Oh, that's the city that we were just at. We took the monorail up here. That's actually pretty cool. Sorry, I'm late, so could you show me Mega Evolution? Of course. Whether you use Mega Evolution Battle or entirely, it's up to you. But I'd like to know what the potential of Pokemon really is. Okay, well, I don't have any Pokemon that I can Mega Evolve with me. So I don't think I'm going to get to do that, um, sadly. But, um, let's go and surf it up here. Ducklet to 28. Litleo to 25. Boink to 31. Combi to 23. Anyone else? Last call for level ups. Alright, um, I know it's not gonna be effective. Let's just use that. Didn't die, but that's okay. We'll just use another surf and call it. Call it a day here. Not a big problem. Alright, what's your last Pokemon? Psyduck? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think it's the same Pokemon still. I don't know I keep forgetting. Long day. Alright, surf up one more time. And again, man, once. I just need to I just need to beat this gym so I can have fly. And once I have fly, a lot of things get much easier very, very quickly here. So I won't have to run all the way back to Route 8. I'll just kind of be able to fly there. As a Pokemon trainer, I find you really interesting. Thanks. Even though we set off from Bentonyville at the same time, you somehow became stronger than I am. What could be so different about us? Well, good luck with your gym battle. Do your best, okay? Oh, uh, yeah, I will. I said kind of get it done because I want to fly up in here. Okay, so this is another gym that is not really my typing. Bought a little sprout. Um, simply right. You see a vine hanging, grab it. Okay. So what? what is it? What is, okay, those are just decorations. I'm like, do I have to? Okay. Um, okay, well, I do, I should probably be fighting everyone in here. Okay, by Pokemon Ranger Chase. Um, let's take a look. Here's some good stuff. Alright, Simi Sage. Again. It's gonna be really. I'm probably gonna run out of surf PP here, um, but it's not that big of a problem. Lick. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So uh, there's ten more Pokemon I have to beat. So 
As long as I kind of just um, ration off my serves for a little while, I'll be fine. Okay. Wonder if I can get Greninja to level 50 by the time um, we get the Starmie. Alright, Chase, from where'd you get your power? These guys are gonna give me a, uh, a lot of shmice, so this is, this is real good. Okay. Let's jump over here. Did I miss a battler down there? Hopefully I didn't miss a trainer down there. Um, doesn't actually look like I missed a trainer, so I think we're gonna keep going here. Make sure I don't miss anyone, because they give a good amount of money here. Okay, let's go to this guy. Here's to here's to challenge the gym, are you? Let's see your Pokemon then. Okay, Maurice. It's got a Ferroseed, Lombre, and Carnivine. That's pretty cool. I like it. Well, let's go ahead and I think Surf will actually be pretty good on Ferroseed, because I think it's right? Wow, okay, uh, no, opposite. I, it's not effective at all. Alright, well, that's loaded. I'm gonna use a round. I know its defense is high, but if I don't kill, like, I can't kill it with this, then I'd be very surprised. Okay. Side at 24. He's about to send us Carnivine. So he's saving his Lone Bray for last. It's Water Grass Pokemon. Let's go hit Carnivine with a round. If, let me see if I can do more than half. If I can... Okay, then I'll probably end up just... Um... Oh, don't do that. That's gross. Wait, was that my attack or defense? Because if it was my attack, it's going to be a mistake here. Okay, it wasn't. I totally like, just didn't read that. I just skipped over it. Alright, Spoink to level 32. Okay. Uh, let's do the same thing. Let's go ahead and hit it with a round. Ah! Don't do that. Bonk. Go ahead and hit it with another one of these. And move on here. Ducklet grew to level 29. What, ex what excellent Pokemon you have. Hey yo, we're getting Splunk to evolve. Don't bump, 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 bump. Okay. Very nice. We got ourselves a Grumpig. Actually, I'm actually a pretty big fan of Grumpig. He was one of my favorites back in the day. Um, yeah, I like Grumpig. Let me make sure I don't miss any trainers here. Okay, I think we're good to keep moving on this way. Oh, did I get bamboozled? I think I've been bamboozled. I, I don't actually. I don't think that's the correct way to go. I think what I have to do is actually go. Oop, I didn't mean to click that. We actually have to go down here and then go over here. Yep, there we go. Also, I got a sneeze. My Pokemon and I will share the joy of defeating you. All right. Uh. All right, Brooke. You got for me, bud. Oh, Zelia. Hey, I like one of those. Go to Roundhouse keep in the face, and by that I mean Saint. I, dude, I don't understand this the move. Why would you name it Round? Oh, those are poison spikes. Yeah, I don't understand why it's called Round. Now, why you? 
why my frog is singing. Um, but who, who, who am I to question anything? Or my damn. Okay. And let's we'll keep throwing a couple of rounds at it. Throw throw some bad notes. Hit a power. Oh boy. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, only a little bit though. Let's go ahead up a surf on this. Once again, not gonna be very effective, but it should hurt a little more than the round to go ahead and just slice off a little bit of that um HP. Side up to 25. Nope, you don't. You do not need Screech. That is not a very good move. Ah, uh, now comes the flood of tears of regret. Alright, up we go. Zoink. Zoink. It's actually a pretty cool gym. I like this gym. A little, little annoying having to climb these things, but I like the gym. I guess let's check over here first. Okay, dead end. Very cool. This way. I think we have one more trainer to beat before we get to the gym leader. To realize your true potential, my Pokemon I have become connected on an emotional level. Alright, Twiggy. What you got for me, Twiggy? Let's go ahead and do a round here. Alright, just got my work schedule. Let me just take a look here. Hit him with another round. Oh, I'm poisoned. Is that what I just missed? Oh, what are you doing? Don't do that. Whatever you just did, don't do not do that. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, what else you got? Twiggy. Zeki Tor. Let's hit it with a round, why not? Ouch. That was not very nice. Let me hit you with a surf then. Is he gonna actually like maybe kill the Greninja? No. Okay, well at least Greninja got the surf off. Now the problem is I'm gonna need to get a second one off. Because that wasn't super effective. Don't flinch me. Dude, why do you always flinch? That's not gonna kill me, that's fine. Seriously, dude. Alright, that's fine. I'm gonna use a hyper potion. Greninja just couldn't stop getting flinched and paralyzed and come on man. Stomp. Let me guess, he's gonna make me flinch again. Although I guess it didn't matter that time, because I used a different move. Dude, if you flinch again. Bro. How am I supposed to win if he keeps if he paralyzes me and then keeps stomping on me? And I literally can't do anything about it. Dude, use a different move. Of course, I didn't get par I didn't get uh, flinched, but then I was paralyzed instead. Wonderful, thank you, game. Holy, all right, here we go. Only um, the hundredth time we've tried it. I need to get myself on paralyzed like stat. Alright, Combi to 26. Thanks, Twiggy. It looks like you and your Pokemon are even more in tune with one another than I am. Well, oh, don't don't take it that far. Alright, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a little um oh, I'm like totally in the wrong. I only got one paralyzed heal, so actually I should probably grab another one. We can go ahead and use, I think we can just go ahead and use two super potions, just because it, it is a grass type gym leader, it's probably better we don't screw around with this right now. <laughs> skirt. Alright, one more skirt. Here we go, gym leader time. Let's 
So yeah, you made it up here. I'm the gym leader, Ramos is the name. So what'd you think, Whip Whipper Snapper? Do you enjoy the garden playground I made with all these sturdy plants of mine? Their strength is a sign of my strength as a gardener and a gym leader. You sure up for facing all that? Why not? Alright, Ramos. What you got there, bud? Jump bluff? Alright, not not too, not too hot of a start. You know, there's a lot of cool grass Pokemon out there and you're throwing out a jump bluff. The only thing that is jump bluff is pretty annoying is a lot of status moves. Okay. Honestly, as long as you don't poison or paralyze me or put me to sleep, you can do all the acrobatics you want jump bluff. I just don't want to be put to sleep, basically. Alright. Greninja 49. Wait, um, extra sensory? What the heck does that do? 80? Hmm. Let's go ahead and get rid of round. I think the psychic would actually be better than the and if I need to attack normal, I'll just do a quick attack. Like, it honestly doesn't really matter. Alright. Duck like 30. Nah, we don't need boost. Let Leo to 28. Nope, don't need Endeavor here. Grumpig to 33. Weeping Bell. Um, let's use our, let's use the new Psychic move, might as well. Oh, it's a Poison type though, so it's not going to be effective. It is super effective. Why is it super effective? I don't know actually why that's super effective. I mean, I'll take it, sure, man. I didn't realize Psychic was good against Poison, or was it the Grass part? Alright, we got Go-Go here. Okay. I think it was effective against the poison. I don't. I really thought poison was effective against psychic for some reason, though. Also, I probably should just use surf there in the first place. But maybe not. Maybe that's not effective either. Okay, well, this go go is actually fairly strong. Um, but we got it. Ooh, okay. Bringing out the potion. Right, that's not gonna help for too long here, but. Just a couple more extra cents. And it's really nice because this extra sensory has 20 PP on it. Just quite a bit. Just pretty nice. Bulldoze. Alright. A little bit more damage on me, but that's alright. My speed's falling pretty quickly. Oh. Another one. Why? Don't don't do that. Why do you have to do that? Okay, here we go. Another one. Another one. Another one. Alright, well it got me all the way down to 53, but now what I'm scared of, is it faster than me? Yeah, it's faster than me now. Alright, but we're fine. Yeah, we won. A little close, a little close. This Go Goat was actually like a pretty decent challenge with its um, the lowering speed and stuff like that. Pretty decent challenge, but we got it. You can't take things too quickly when it comes to forming a friendship with your Pokemon. You believe in your Pokemon and they believe in you too. Mighty Oaks from the Acorns grow. Go on then, you've earned it. Here's your uh, Sprout Badge. Cool. I can go fly now. Alright, you got yourself a Plant Badge. You can use Fly and level 60. Very cool. Grass Knot, okay. That TM there is for Grass Knot. You can use it to trip your opponent up in the grass. The heavier the opponent, the harder they'll fall. Alright, cool. Well, I really just did all that because I really wanted that fly. Um, the fly makes it so much easier to go back to Route 8. Um, So now, I think we can head back, we can go to Route 13, or we can go to, 
Azure Bay. I don't know which one we go to first. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and save, and guys, um, yeah, I'm gonna end the episode off here. We did actually, I let it run a little over time just because I wanted to start off the next episode of getting started. So I'll see you guys next episode. Hey, how's it going, everyone? We're playing Pokemon. Um, today's gonna be a little bit of a weird episode. If you guys watched last episode, um, we finally got the good rod. Meaning, we can go to Route 8 and get our dream Pokemon, our Staryu, and I do want to get a shiny Staryu, so it's going to be a very weird episode because I'm going to start it tonight and it's like 12 in the morning and I'm going to go to sleep, but finding the shiny Staryu is going to take a little while anyway, so, but I just wanted to start off the episode and um, for a little while now, I'm going to go ahead and use the chain fishing and try to get myself a Staryu, um, but we need to go... Oh, this city is literally on Route 8, isn't it? Okay, so here, on Route 8, we can actually find Staryu. Now, I'm pretty sure the game said the best place to find things is when it's usually enclosed by land. So I think probably somewhere, like, right over here is the best. I think, like, where is it? Yes, right here. So I'm going to sit here, and I'm going to start chain fishing. Um, and once again, our target is Shiny Staryu. And like I said, this might actually take a couple days. So really, this episode might be over a couple days. Unlike usually how, you know, it's 30, 40 minutes and I go, I'm going to be here for a little while. So um, I'm going to try to just keep it recording, but I'm just going to start chain fishing. Also, I guess very, very quickly, before... I go full on shiny hunting. There are a couple Pokemon that we need to find. Just because now we have Surf and the Super Rod. Um, so I need to find a Whalmer. And then I'm going to get Claw. Not Clauncher, is it? Um, what's, what's your name? Yeah, it is Clauncher, actually. Um, so we're going to quickly catch those before I go full on sh uh, shiny hunting here for the Staryu. Um, and since. Well, <laughs> really. I would backtrack to all the routes and get all the water Pokemon, but there's really no reason to do that until I get the uh, the the best rod, the super rod. Once I get the super rod, I'm going to basically backtrack from route one all the way throughout the game, collecting all the Pokemon that I missed. But right now, there's no use. Well, okay. I'm literally just watching the office on my second monitor. Finally, the Whalmer. 30%. Probably shouldn't have taken this long, but it did. Um, either way, let's go ahead and just give it a quick little quick attack. I hope I don't kill it. Very close to killing it, but I didn't, so that's good. Okay. Let's start chucking balls. And the cool part is, um, I didn't realize, so I, we can now, because we just defeated, um, and we got the plant badge, we can now buy Ultra Balls, which is really cool because obviously that's like the most late game catching ball you know aside from you know your specialty balls um so we got it i didn't even realize that we get it after this gym so um i'm gonna go ahead and basically use my stockpile of pokeballs and gray balls and we'll just be out buying ultra balls from here on out um as long as we have the money now when i went into the shop i had a hundred thousand dollars so um we We've done a pretty good job of like saving our money and not like spending on like random stuff. So we have plenty of it. Um, but here we go. We got the Whalmer bounces playfully like a ball. The more seawater swallows, the higher it bounces. Okay, so now that is the only Pokemon that we actually need from the surf itself. I'll, I'll have to Google the rules of chain fishing because if not finding a Pokemon breaks the chain, we're screwed because we're getting that a lot. All right, there's the clauncher that we need, though. Also, I totally forgot that I turned down my volume, I think. I'll have to turn that back up. But let's go ahead and... Oh, I got a dry little throat now. Let's throw an Ultra Ball here. Go ahead and get that in the ball. All right, clauncher. Sick. Okay, we didn't even have to, like, work super hard for that one, either. Okay, let's see. Chain fishing Pokemon X. Let's take a look at the rules here. Um, okay. The knockdown flying prey by firing compressed water from their massive claws, like shooting a pistol. 
He's got the blicky on him. So, moving. So, we can't move. So, if we get no bite, the chain is broken? Okay, so we should also very quickly grab a Pokemon that has... Um, suction cups or sticky hold is a move. So let's go ahead and do that also. Okay, so I need to go find an Inke with suction cups. So that's like the first thing I need to do here. Um, okay, where? Oh, I can actually find Inke on this route. Okay, well that makes things easy. They're right here okay well then let me go find an inke and hopefully i can get one with suction cup here hey, okay oh okay we got pretty lucky um i went i so we're back at route 8 still and i went and grabbed a pokemon with suction cups so when we fish we always get a pokemon um and we need it to be first in our party um so first inke that i got managed to be that so that's pretty good well now we've got the uh good rod we're in a good spot and now we even have a pokemon with suction cups which is good um so i think we're all good to go and i think now after all of that i can finally actually start uh the shiny checking because we got the pokemon when we yeah so they are with that all right everybody so i've officially started the chain so i'm gonna sit here for as long as humanly possible potentially for days or eh, maybe it probably wouldn't take days it'll see but i can't do that because that breaks the chain so i'm gonna have to practice my focus because if i'm like super far in my chain and I break it, I'm gonna be very mad at myself. So, um, I'm gonna get to it. Okay, um, I'm just running around and <sighs> I got this. Professor Sycamore told me you now wield Mega Evolution. This is truly wonderful. With that power, you can steer your future in a better direction. We can't just cover up the old filth with new filth. I implore you to consider what we need to do to change the world into a beautiful world. Okay. Yeah, I came back over here to this town and, um, yeah, how dare you keep us waiting? I'm uh, just kidding, Chenner, we weren't really waiting for you. We're on our way to the power plant at Professor Sigma's request, but the gate connecting Limui City to Route 13 has been shut down. We have to investigate. So, there's Central Kalos and Coastal Kalos. Can you tell me what comes next? I'm going to give you the answer. It's Mountain Kalos. I'm going to take this opportunity to upgrade your Pokedex again. Mount Callus has been added. Just tap, okay? Uh, if it, I'll be taking my leave now. Bon voyage. The only reason I came here was I need a good place to train. So I just realized um, we still have one little problem. No, I didn't mean to do that. Um, so our Inke is not a very high level, and it's having a hard time running away from things, which is pretty detrimental to... Um, the thing so i'm gonna stay here and i'm gonna train for a little while i'm not gonna actually catch anything but i'm gonna sit here and train for a little while so i can get that inke up and then once that inke is at a decent level then we can do it oh okay here we go um so my inke was actually being outspeeded by starmie so i went ahead and got a i got a few more levels and then I also might as well evolve in cake because that'll also improve its stats. So we got ourselves a Malamar. Congratulations, your Inke evolved into a Malamar. So now, hopefully, um, hopefully I won't get outsped by the Starmie. Pluck, what is this? 60. What about Aerial Ace? Um. What is Reflect? Let's just get rid of Reflect. That's fine. I don't particularly need it. So let's just go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, now hopefully um, I'll be a little faster. So I'm going to see if I can outspeed the Starmie now. Hey, 
what's up everyone? I was just kind of sitting in class watching a lecture. This shiny hunting. We finally got a shiny, but not the one that I needed. Um, so we're gonna catch it um, because it is a shiny. Um, a little sad that it's not my star use, but that's alright. We did get ourselves a nice launcher, and of course I will keep looking because I don't need this. I need a star use. So but we did get our technically first shiny in the game. Not that I'm not surprised it's Clauncher. There's only two Pokemon in the water. It's 30 you and Clauncher. And Clauncher is a 70%. So um, the fact that this is our first shiny is not that big of a surprise. But um, Okay, everyone. Um, we're back. Another shiny launcher, man. So I'm definitely, I think I'm above that 40 fishing and launcher, dude. Alright. Oh, well, let's go ahead and catch it. It is a shiny. We'll get it eventually. Now, I guess especially if I get that third, what am I gonna do? Do I just like, take them away? What do, what do I do? But first, let's just catch it. Alright, two shiny launcher. I'm probably gonna get very, very sick of um, shiny launcher. And I'm mostly just a little sad that uh, my chain is broken by it. Alright, here we go. Right, everyone, we got another shiny, but it's a third <laughs> Well, it is a shiny. We'll catch it. I will definitely be sending one of these. Something. I don't need three shiny launchers, dude. There's only two evolutions. Alright. Cool. Um back to the grind. There's another one. I think that's one, two, three. I think I caught two during class. I think this is my sixth. This is my sixth shiny launcher. Absolutely insane. Six shiny launchers. Now a single shiny start. There we go. There's another one. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be giving these shinies away like hotcakes because I don't need six shiny launcher, dude. I need a single shiny star you please. Um like usual Always the launcher, never the star you. Man, I really didn't think I'd be able to get like seven seven or six shiny clonchers before getting Staryu. Staryu's 30%. I really, theoretically, I should have gotten a shiny Staryu after three of shiny clonchers, but I've gotten at least double of that. So I, I can't tell. I'm either extremely lucky at finding clonchers or I'm extremely unlucky finding Staryus, and I can't tell, but either way, it doesn't matter. Let's keep hunting, I guess. How's it going, everyone? We got another shiny clauncher. Once again, let, let me do a little bit of that. Bro. I've had enough shiny clauncher bro i don't need any more shiny clauncher dude 
Why? I don't even like Red Lobster, dude. I don't... Uh, dude, there's two Pokemon. There's two Pokemon in the sea. And for some reason, only one of them wants to be shiny, dude. Oh, my God. Okay, real quick. Um, let's go check. Let me confirm the amount of shiny clauncher we have gotten. I really didn't think it'd be this much trouble, man. Like, seriously? Why can I not get a single shiny star, you? Um... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's even more than I thought. We have eight. Eight shiny clauncher's. Eight of them. Count them. Oh, and I also caught a few Eevees while I was uh, doing some leveling up. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I have seven, because I have another Eevee chilling over here. Probably, or I'll go get another one. Alright. Anyways. That is eight. Wait. Eight. Shiny clunchers, dude. Hmm. Let me... Can I calculate the odds of that? So... 0 0.7 wait calculator <clears throat> 0 0.7 times 0 0.7 times 0. Point... Oh, okay okay that does work okay so i just got to do 0 0.7 eight times one two three that's six seven eight I have hit a 5% chance. 5%. 5. Let's see. So that is a 1 in 20. Only 1 in 20 people that attempt what I do will get this unlucky. 1 in 20. Everybody else, 1 out of 20. All 19 other people will have gotten a star you by now. And this is just so far. I, let's see how many more I get, because likely I will get a few more Clauncher too, and then we'll go from there. Um, I can't leave without a shiny star, you. I can't leave, so we're going to be here a while. Guys, guys, why? Why? All right. There's another one. Another shiny lobster. I'm never gonna eat lobster again in my life. Only crab. Only crab. No more lobster. Ugh. Why, dude? What? How am I so unlucky? I say that in a sense of, oh, you got you got nine shinies, bro. Statistically, at least three of those should have been star use. Oh. Alright. Back to grinding. Oh! Guys! Holy crap! Oh, my hair! Dude! Oh! Wow, okay, it's right in front of us. I don't even care, dude. What is going Dude, I'm out here bumming. I'm... Alright, hold on. I got it. Bruh. Alright, you know what? Let's just get this done. I'll go fix my hair later. Oh, it's right in front of us. Okay. Gotta, like, watch the buttons that I'm hitting. I do not want to run away or kill it. Alright. We're gonna throw a net ball at it. Um, wait, actually, no. Dive ball. You gotta do... Dive ball first. And then... Then we'll throw some net balls. If I can get in a dive ball... Oh, oh we critted it! 
We're sick. Look, it's right there. All right. Whew. Oh. Oh, it's. Oh, okay. For... oh, my heart almost dropped. I thought I wasn't recording for a second. I'm like. Oh. Okay. We got a. Hey, we got the Pokedex <laughs> entry too. Even if its body is torn, it can regenerate as long as the glowing central core remains intact. Holy. All right. Um, enough fishing. To be honest, I'm... Okay. You guys probably saw the time lapse. And of course, we already talked about how we got... We ended up getting nine. Shiny Clauncher first. Nine. Each Clauncher came in about 15 to 30 minutes of each other. This one actually took almost an hour and a half. I haven't had a Shiny for about an hour and a half. And I was getting like a little like... You know, I think I went through at least two or three chains of, like, 50-plus. And then nothing get... I was a little worried. I'm like, man, I got nine Clauncher very quickly, and now I can't even get anything. Finally got one after, like, another hour and a half. And it's the one that we needed. Okay, so I saved. I'm even... I'm gonna stop my recording, too, because I do not need this file to corrupt. Alright, uh, I stopped my recording and restarted it again. I, I cannot lose this footage. We do not have to see Route 8 again for probably a long time. I got what I came for. I got the shiny star me. Star you. I think it's, it's about to be a shiny star me in about five seconds, but um we got what we needed. I So as as far as the shiny goes, I kinda wish Star Me kept that white that Star You has. Um, but obviously we're gonna have to evolve it here. Let's go ahead and deposit. Oh, and there's those three extra Eevees that I got. So, yes, I have more than enough Eevees now. Um, I don't actually need to egg breed them, so that's cool. Um, oh, and I've also probably made the decision... <sighs> I really like Malamar. After using him for so long, he's kind of grown on me. And I'm very tempted to probably use him as, like, you know, on my team. Um, but, anyway, we're going to put him away... Ooh. We're gonna put him away for now because we just we don't need him anymore as of this moment. Let's go ahead and stick him in that last box over here. All right, we still need Ducklet actually because we still need to um, obviously evolve him. And we st let's we still have to evolve stuff. Okay, real quick though, let me grab. There's a normal launcher, and then there's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever, blah blah blah. And once again, we're probably going to end up wonder trading these clauncher's. Um, it's obviously going to be wonder trading with other people on Citra, which is the emulator that I'm using. But um, I'll definitely give away a couple of these because there's I don't, what the heck am I supposed to do with all these shiny clauncher's? I'm sure someone else would like it. Um, but we're definitely grabbing Star You because we have to level that up a little while. Grab Lit Leo back and probably tend to cool. And we need one more Pokemon to evolve here. So I think right before we started, we actually evolved a couple. Um, oh, I guess we could evolve one of the Clauncher's, right? Um, Clauncher Evolution Level. Might as well do that one, too. Um, not Clauncher Multi-Level. Evolution Level. 37. Okay. Well, we can grab one of these clunchers. Um, which one of these? 25, 25, 25. Oh, we only have one at 20. Oh, no. All of them are at 25. Okay, and all of them are... Are... Okay, the this is the only one that's different. So you know what? I'm grabbing you, clauncher. Okay, so now it is time. Um, let's see. Pokemon... Star you, what item do you have on you? Oh, Star you had a Stardust on it. Okay. Um, very cool. Also, real quick, I do have to organize items. I think on the Malamar. There's an item on the Malamar, the lucky egg. No, move. Bag. Okay, yeah, send it to my bag. Okay, then hold on. What are these milk tank? What do you got? Okay, she's got a moo moo milk, poison barb. You know, 
Um, yes, I'll take that poison barb. Everstone bag. I'll take that. I didn't realize some of these people had items. The pesum berry. Um, I'll put that in the bag. Any star you needs anyway. Um, okay. Now, here's actually something else that now we have to do. Um, you guys know that we just defeated that grass gym. But we kind of uh, skirted around Azure... The Azure Islands. So we actually need to go back. So yeah, the spirit... Yeah. So we need to go back to Quamarine. And we need to go back to the Azure place. And then once we get that done, we can move back down to Route 13. So, are I in the right... Okay, so no, I still need to take the monorail down here. Okay, let's go and take the monorail... right and again man my heart is so happy um so you guys know that this game is really the first time i've ever like shiny hunted anything i again i tried for a little while in leaf green and i just noticed that it just did not work very well um so it's my first time really shiny hunting and of course you guys know star star you and star me has been my favorite pokemon for a very 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 long time um so finally being able to get a shiny version of it um actually is like really really cool uh, no i don't want to say like it means a lot but it actually kind of does mean a lot um i finally got it he's also why the reason i'm saving over because i'm like i can't not, like i can't imagine losing it now that i have it you know and i'm sure you know now that we're playing pokemon x we're gonna be doing a lot of shiny hunting um but this is the what the one that means a lot to me so um also it has illuminate likelihood of meeting wild pokemon that's very interesting that it's funny because again i told you guys my main point of playing this is to fill the pokedex and that ability exactly translates to we need to find this okay i love this star you already um Let's get Azure done, and again, I'm probably going to try to get Staryu up to 40, and then we could probably start battling with it, and I still get need that Water Stone, but we'll do that um, probably after Azure, so um, let's go ahead and go. Now, I'm actually going to go somewhere else, but in about three seconds, future David will be going to Azure or whatever. Hey everybody, we're playing some Pokemon, um, it's actually been a a little while i caught that shiny star you and then i had to take like a couple weeks to like do school and i literally just didn't have any time but we're back um and i did level star you a little bit in between so uh star you is level like 40 something now still haven't evolved because i don't have a water stone um that's kind of how the pokemon are looking right now i'm just gonna have star you up front there's a couple of things that i'm still trying to evolve um, so we went a little forward here so we can get to that star you and get the good rod, but we still haven't done, ooh, excuse me, Azure Bay. So this is what we're doing right, right now, but, um, there is a couple Pokemon that I need to catch here. By couple, I mean Remoraid and Chinchu. I think those are the two that I don't, or Clam Pearl? Wait, do I have Clam Pearl? How do I not have Clam Pearl? Did I not go back to catch things? Is it, oh, did I just get the good rod? Okay, well, I guess it doesn't matter anyway, either way. Um, let's go ahead and throw... I totally didn't realize this was going to be here, so that's a surprise. I'll take a Clam Pearl. What, what I was looking for was a Remoraid and a Chinchu. Um, but, I mean, I'll, I'll, t I'll take a Clam Pearl here. Um, okay, let's throw an Ultra Ball. If this Ultra Ball doesn't catch it, I'll probably hurt it a little bit, try to make it a little easier, but I'm hoping it can just behave. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I was hoping it could just behave. That makes everything much, much easier. Okay. Well, real quick, um, what can I find here? Oh, Clam Pearl and Remoraid, and then... 
where we're going next, I can find Remoraid and Chinchou. So, this is actually the only Pokemon I need from Route 8, so that's good. When it evolves, it makes a mysterious pearl that amplifies psychic powers when it's held. Okay. Um. I know Clam Pearl evolves into two different things, doesn't it? Um. But you know what? It's alright. When we get have to get that second evolution, I'll probably just end up coming back. And grabbing another clam pearl because, um, yeah, I, I don't know what how it evolves. Yes, yeah, so that's fine. <clears throat> I'll come and grab another one later, or just breed one. I'll probably just end up doing that actually. But so we came over here, um, on axe. I swam all the way here from the oceans of Hoenn, and I'm still not too tired for battle. I don't know what we did and didn't do over here. I don't think we did much. Again, we kind of just like swam over and then swam back because I realized that this is not the place I wanted to be as of right now. And this is actually our first time fighting with Staryu here. So let's go see how Staryu does. Let's go to use Power Jam. I don't... Is that going to be strong? Okay, good. And obviously, I do want to be using Staryu for um, a while as like my main Pokemon. Obviously, there's a, a reason I hunted it religiously for um, a solid like 10, 15 hours. I, oh, no man, so close. Yeah, like I hunted the Starmie down. If you guys didn't watch last episode, I think I got um, eight or nine shiny clunchers looking for this one. So definitely a little unlucky, but in, honestly, none of it matters. We got it, and that's the important part. Um, but that shows you how hard I looked for it, that I ended up getting, like, nine other shinies just looking for this one. So, I feel like we're going to be using Power Gem a lot here. Um, let's see, can Pokemon X Water Stone... Can I, like, find one now so I can don't... Um, oh... Hold on, it can be found on Route 12. I'm on Route 12. What do you mean? Oh, Lord, I literally just passed one. Okay, never mind. We don't need to wait much longer. Ugh, okay, I'm about to use a repel for real. I don't know. Does a repel stop me from fishing? But... Yeah, I like Staryu, and actually, in a sense, I prefer Staryu's color palette to shiny Starmies. But I need myself a strong Pokemon. So, uh, Mantike. We caught a Mantike already. I'm like 99% sure of it. Right? Yeah, we did catch a Mantike. Okay. I remember. Actually, no, I remember now because Mantike was the one that I got really, really angry at for a little while there. Hey! That's exactly... So, we're literally right in the right place to get it, which is absolutely wonderful. Let's go ahead and grab that Water Stone. And let's go ahead and get our uh, our purple, uh, Pokemon here. The one that we wanted. Ooh, I forgot I need to press the A button. So, I will miss the white Star U with the blue center. Um, again, I don't prefer Star Me's pal color palette, but... um. A shiny either way and honestly it is cool it's more of like a blue you know it's still blue and it's got the little red outline so let me say it this way nowhere near the worst shiny like actually it's probably in the top tier of shit like it's one of the better shinies um but star use is like or star yeah star use is like on a different level oh, okay but Cool, now we got ourselves a Starmie. Um, let's see how it looks in battle. Also, I'm definitely going to use a Repeller because I don't need to see any more tentacle. That's pretty sick. Yeah, no complaints. Very, very, very cool. Again, if the Starmie was white or black, now that would be like... We wouldn't ever need another shiny in the game, to be real. Okay, now the other question is, where are my repels? Are they here? Super repel. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Yes, because I do. I don't need any more um, pentacle. Let's just go ahead and get up on this azure bay. 
I think I fought this guy, right? Yeah. That's the one that we accidentally had to fight. Okay, and there's a couple of trainers. What we could do, though, is quickly grab the Pokemon that we need. So now that we're... Oh, I still... Man, that's part of the reason why I took... Sorry you was finding so long, is I actually kind of suck at reeling these in. I actually do suck at reeling these in. I tend to miss them quite a... Like, you need to go... You need to do it pretty fast. Like, surprisingly fast. Um, so yeah, I, it's actually kind of difficult. But there we go. That is what we actually needed, and that's the 30%, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and um, we'll do the same thing. I don't really feel like hurting these things. Let's just throw a ball. Hopefully it behaves. We can, you know, call it a day here. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Very good. Thank you, Chinchou. Chinchou, Chinchou, Chinchou. Chinchou. Very good. On the dark ocean floor, it's only means of communication is it's constant flashing. Alright, so now we need the actual non-rare Pokemon, which is the Remoraid. Also, I'm like totally gonna sneeze. Hopefully I can sneeze. Okay, there we go. Whew. Remoraid? Okay. Bless me. Okay. We already got you, Chinchou. Go away. I'm looking for your uh, lame buddy. The Remoraid. Let me get let me get that Remoraid, por favor. Hopefully a shiny Remoraid. Ah, there we go. Alright, well, considering it was a 70%. Yeah, I was hoping it wouldn't take too long here. Alright, we'll do the classic. Um, no, I'll just throw a normal Pokeball. We need to get rid of these anyway. Let's go ahead and get rid of them. Okay, maybe not. I wonder if I should, like, almost put false swipe on somebody. Maybe I can put false swipe on Greninja. You star, star me as my battler, Greninja is like my, uh, false swiper. That could be a thing we do. Maybe I'll do it right after this. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and switch it up to, uh, what's my other... Netball. Let's go ahead and throw a netball at it. It'll increase the chance at least a little bit. Don't be a butthead, please. Alright, there we go. Alright, cool. Remember, Raid was caught. Alright, so that, those are really the only, like, uh, thingies that I needed here. Um. Okay, so this. It's superb accuracy. The water can shoot can strike prey from over 300 feet away. The place we're going is actually nothing we need. It's like the Zubat cave in the other game. Um, no matter how much we fish, the ocean stays blue. So does the ground never change no matter how much we battle? We're just heading over to a cave where we can meet legendary Pokemon, but <clears throat> the, they're not going to be there. So I'm going to get there for the sake of completion of the game, but we really are heading towards nowhere right now. Um, which is funny because it's like such a different, you know, last episode was super exciting, we got the shiny, this episode we're heading to a place that we know doesn't matter. Very, uh, big change in tone as far as the excitement of the videos here, but, um, ooh, a Carvana. I haven't seen one of those just yet, that's pretty cool. Maybe I can hopefully get my hands on one of those eventually. Nice. Do feet. Oh, I just need your money, bud. Give me your monies. Do you have the Mega Ring? Is that what the stone is reacting to? I see. Then you should take this with you. <clears throat> okay, we can Mega Ampharos. If current on the Mega, I'm sure you can. Yes, thank you. Okay, real quickly, let me go ahead and um. Is there like a big map? Also, let me take a look at the items. Okay, I don't care. I'll find the items. Okay, I was trying to find, like, a bigger map of what this whole thing looks like. Is it just, like, because I don't want to use my, waste my repel. And I do want to, like, fight everyone here. Now that I'm grown, I'm finally, finally be able to swim. There's nothing out here that frightens me. Bro. 
Swimmer Isla. Uh, There's still a lot of scary things, dude. I mean, you could just straight up just be chilling and then like a Gyarados pops up. Like, I don't. Yeah, I wouldn't just like not be scared. Water's a scary place, bud. All right, let's see. Who we got though? What? Oh, I didn't kill it. Okay, I wasn't. I was looking away for. I'm like, what in the world did it just do? All right, Corsola. Regional Pokemon Go. Pretty cool. And turn. Oh, we just got a Chinchu, Chinchou. All right, we'll power gem you. Yeah. Okay, I could probably kill it with Surf, but it's fine. I'd rather maybe just use the Rock Gem uh, move first. Actually, you kind of frighten me. Oh, you only have four. I should frighten you. You only have four hundred dollars on you. What'd you do with all your money? Oh, see, what we want to do is head down. And I don't have any more repels, so it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle here. Um, a little bit of a struggle, bus, but that's I. Right. We need to go down because we need to get to like a little island below us. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle bus because, you know, at least with, like, routes, there's grass and you just avoid the grass. But when you're traveling across water, every single pixel is space to get caught. So, a um, little, little frustrating, but it's okay. And I also don't think there's any new Pokemon here either that are, like, super fun to catch. So, um, I think we're going to head up head up into, into some grass in a minute there's actually nothing I'm there's grass here but I don't really like actually need anything from the grass um like a chat tot I'm pretty sure I, ever, I already have a chat tot again it's a little weird because it's been a little while since I played last so I'm like trying to rack my brain around what we did and didn't catch already and I have a pretty good idea considering I played the game I'm not like dumb but um Definitely, like, you know, I'm, like, trying to, like, deep, smooth, like, wrinkle brain this. Trying to remember. I also really should have bought some repels. I feel like this is gonna, um, cause me some trouble. I'm gonna, like, go to the side here. Alright, there's another item. Oh, uh, why you gotta... Why you do this? So, also... I'm pretty sure- does Starmie have an ability that we encounter more things? <clears throat> let me- Okay, let me check Star Starmie. Raises the likelihood of meeting wild Pokemon, so we're actually kind of being screwed by Starmie here a little bit. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna... We need, we need to evolve some things anyway. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and switch in. Just so maybe we can meet a couple of less things, because this is going to get real annoying very quickly here. Um, so... I think there's a third item here. Yeah. Alright, we found Exazor. Okay. And if we need to meet anything, we'll put Starmie back on. But right now, we do not need... I, and I, th I thought Star Starmie had a, that ability. I'm like, eh, I'm meeting things a little too much here. What's going on here, bud? Okay, so if I go up... I don't... Why? I'm very confused, but it's okay. Oh, I think it's just... No. Okay, well, we'll see. I'm on a little map. Just kind of tell me what's where. I'm a little confused on what some of the... Wait, can I, like, walk? Hey, yo, I can walk. I thought I would be able to. Alright, we got ourselves a dive ball. So, now, the question is... Yeah, I was wondering what is that number. I think it's a trainer battle, actually. Is that a sky battle or water battle? 
Can I talk to you, bud? Hello? Yeah, I don't know what to do with you. You're creeping me out. You're kind of just standing there, but fair enough, I guess. Alright, well, let's keep moving around. <laughs> um... Yeah, so there's a middle island, which is probably where we should be going right now. Let's go ahead and go towards the middle island. What I'm going for. Kinda cool. Also, I should definitely uh, test out that uh, wonder trading feature um, to see if I can maybe give away my shining clauntures, but we'll probably end up doing that later. Wait, did I miss it? Yes, okay, the island's in here. So on the back here should be an item. Splash plate. I don't know. Wait, what item does Army have? Item, take. Okay, the lucky egg, yes. Uh, Starmie does not need the lucky egg. What Starmie does need... Mm, that could be good. You know what? Maybe I will just leave the lucky egg on it, just so, you know, we can get Starmie up levels quicker. I was thinking, I was looking at all the items, and I'm like, yeah, there's actually, um... Not anything much better, so. And then this is the spirit, uh, spirit den cave thingy. Is there any Pokemon in here? Nope, it's literally, there's not even any wild encounters. There is nothing in here. And I don't know when stuff will spawn, but it'll spawn there eventually. So, um, I guess we'll be back, um, whenever I actually have to do something there. Probably. Um, but there is one more item we could have to go get, and I think we also have, um, another battle, maybe? Oh, okay. Um, so it should be, should be another little island over here. Oh, nope, okay, there's actually a little bit more, um, for you guys, it's like, that way. That was a little bit of a struggle there, but we got it. Big Pearl. Okay, we can sell that for some sh money. I'll take money any day of the week. We need to fund our Pokeball addiction. I just love them so much. Okay. How do I fight you? I want to fight you. Why? Do I need to be flying? I probably need to come back and, like, fly or something, don't I? Okay. Well, then, as far as this, that's really all that's here? So... I guess... We're kind of done here, right? We go to, uh, Comor City. Then we go to Route 13. Yeah. Okay, then let's head back and let's go to Route 13. Now let's go ahead and uh, buy some max repels here. Um, whew, I ran down to do laundry. I'm out of breath. Um, okay, he sells cool balls, but I don't have any money left. So, um, do I need to switch out anything? I don't think so. I think we're good. So, with me completely out of breath. We can go ahead and move on to Route 13, but real quick. Sit. Do you know... I think that... I already talked to these guys, didn't I? So I think we're good. Alright, so we're looking for a few... Actually, ooh, we get some new Rock Smash Pokemon. So we have, we have Doug Geo, Trap Pinch, Gibble, Graveler, Slugma, and that's actually it. All right, then let's go ahead and do this. See, so yeah, if we find these little rock piles, that's where we're able to find Pokemon. And I have came here and trained actually quite a bit, but we haven't actually caught any of them because, of course, I wanted to do it on camera. Okay, I very much killed that trap inch, so um, that's not... 
particularly cool. Okay, let's go ahead and also switch Stormy back into the main spot here. Just because I don't get wild encounters here. They're actually like rock encounters, so um, it don't particularly matter. Let's see if we can maybe get a Pokemon here. Alright, Doug Drio. I don't... Do I even have... I don't know... Okay. Will a Swift kill it? That's my question. Swift is pretty weak. And a crit. Okay. Um. Starmie <laughs> to 44. I didn't particularly want you to just destroy that Dugdrio, but that's okay. Alright, there's a lot of thingies. Alright, a PP up. That might be good to put on Surf for Starmie. Also, hold up. Might wanna go down there. Whoa, okay, well, I'm now down here. There's a lot of things. Okay, we can go ahead and try this again. Um, all right, let's go ahead and throw one Ultra Ball just to see. Just to maybe see if it'll just be good, well behaved. Okay, that is not the case. Um, let's try swifting it again and maybe we won't kill it this time. That is a possibility. Okay, perfect. That's actually exactly where I needed it. Um, now we can... Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, I want to use a normal Pokeball here. Just so we don't waste the good things. Alright, there we go. Bonk. Alright, we got ourselves the Dugdrio. Again, I don't know if I have the smaller one. In battle, it digs through the ground and strikes the unsuspecting throws. Reading is... Um... Not a skill I clearly possess. Um... Man, I should've got that. On the way up. Oh, hello? Alright, I was totally trying to hit that scientist, but... I'll take a rock instead. Actually, I will not take a rock instead. Because... I already have you, Doug Geo. Just caught you. Oh, okay, fine. Then we... You shall be brined. Not my choice, it was your choice. Those Team Flare people in those red suits, nobody who's worth anything hangs out with a group wearing garnish outfits like that. Okay. Let's see, what do we got? Another Doug Drill. Let's see, now, will this one let me escape? Or do all of them have that arena trap? Ah, you butt cheek. Alright, well then I'll just have to kill every single one of you that I come across. Not what I want to do, but hey. It is what it is, I guess, right? Okay. What are you doing here? I'm a member of the stylish Team Flare and I'm gonna win in style. Alright. Alright. Houndoom. Those are pretty cool. I like Shiny Houndoom. Shiny Houndoom is a uh, cool looking Pokemon for sure. Alright, we could. We'll definitely kill it with a Brine, so we can just go ahead and do that. A Surf would be a little overkill for Houndoom here. Golbat. Ah, uh, Golbat. Flying Poison. Let's just use a Surf. I could probably use a Rock Gem, but it wouldn't be super effective, and I just need to hit it with something strong, so that works. You may have beaten me again and again, but like I always say, when I lose, I go out in style. Just give me more money next time. And now I'll stylishly run away. Huh? Where's my power plant pass? Oh no, did I drop my power plant pass somewhere? 
I know what to do. I'll make a stylish deduction. I must have dropped it when I was feeling around that boulder nine steps east of here where I'm standing. If only I had a dowsing machine that I could that I could find it with style. Okay. Interesting. Um Where is it? Wait, okay, let me get on my... Come on, dude, just let me... Is it here? Where actually is it? Oh, it was probably... Hold on, he said east. East is this way. I could also use the dowsing machine, or I could just feel around like a funny guy. Alright, we'll use the stupid dowsing machine. Where is it at? Oh, okay. But now, before we go to the power plant... I do want to check out the rest of this area, so we will not go there just yet. Alright, can I put the machine away? I, I no longer want it out, please. Thank you. Okay, so... Um... Can I, like, jump on this? Skirt! Does this take me to an item? Indeed it does. What are you? Ooh, a sunstone. Definitely gonna need one of those. For something eventually, so not not mad about that at all. Okay, and there's a few more places we have to check out before we actually go to the um power plant. Gimbal, hey, that's one of the that's the rare, technically the rare spawn here. So that is definitely something that we need. And just to make it cool, let's go and throw it in a Premier Ball. I really do like Garchomp quite a bit. Um, okay, that did not work in the slightest, okay. Alright, my accuracy has also dropped. Oh, you're Gibble, you're gonna make this real annoying, aren't you, bud? Okay, well then hopefully we can just catch it quickly in an Ultra Ball. Or I might have to switch into a weaker Pokemon because Gibble is gonna be a hassle. Oh, Gibble, you. You piece of poop. I'm gonna buff it with the stupid Standstorm, whatever. Really, a level 1 Gibble could take me out right now because I'm just gonna keep throwing balls at it. I also don't have many more money, so I should probably not be throwing these so carelessly. All right, yeah, we got, we got, we got a. This is so annoying. Okay. Can I even switch out? Is that a thing I can do? What is it? Twenty six. I could probably bring out Ducklet. I can't be switched out. Okay. Well then, let's keep throwing the Ultra Bulb and just, I guess, holding our breath here. Come on. Don't... Don't make me... Sit up with Hill Star me. Just trying to catch you. Thank the Lord. Alright, I'm still... I'm still hurt by that sand... That sand... Sand tomb. Come on, man. I, it, these are... This is a lot of money! Bro. Am I still hurt by Sans? Alright, I was freed. Now can I switch out? Alright, there we go. Hopefully Ducklet can do a little bit of damage here. And hopefully just doesn't get killed instantly. Alright, um, let's hit it with a Water Pulse here. 
Okay, it's in the yellow. Good. Alright, well, Ducklet also now cannot leave. Alright, please stay in an Ultra Ball now. I've already wasted, like, over, like, just like $6,000 on this Gibble, but... Oh, lordy, why? Dude, just... Just stay in the ball. Come on. Let's give, let's give a This is causing me some trouble. Alright. Thank you. Thank you so much. The It was getting a little old there, you know? Gibble was added to the data. It nests in horizontal holes warmed by geothermal heat. Foes who get too close can expect to be pounced and bitten. I would love to be pounced and bitten. All right, we need we need ourselves a little bit of that good stuff. I need a potion. Oh, I'm like in, totally in the wrong place. All right, hyper potion, Starmy. Get healed. Okay. What am I even looking for? Okay, I gotta head like over here. Okay, and I need to kind of go back around because I missed a few items there. All right, Trap Inch, I think is one of the last ones we need to catch. So we do need to do some rock smashing in a minute. All right, I'm hoping once again, we'll do the same thing. Let's do an Ultra Ball, see what happens, and um, maybe it'll be nice. Look at that, Trap Inch well-behaved, you know. We throw a ball, it stays in the ball, we call it a day. It lives in arid deserts. It makes a sloping pit trap in sand where it awaits prey. Very cool, Trap Inch. Very cool. Let's go and do some skirt. And then we want to do a little skirt. And then we want to smash this rock. Oh, we don't have any old rock smash. Please tell me I can have some. Alright, cool. Litleo was able to learn it. Thank you. I was about to get scared that I didn't have any old that would be able to do it. Which move? Lear can be forgotten. That's fine. Alright, there we go. Thank you, Litleo, for your um, generosity. Alright, now I'm going to have my lion break a whole rock. For fun. And I got ourselves a hard scale. Very epic. Alright, we should be able to run all the way up. Surprise there wasn't an item in that one. Got ourselves charge beam. I don't know if that's any good. That might actually be something we can maybe put on Star Me. Let's see. Um I'm just looking at other things while I'm at it. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm surprised Starmie can't learn that. It's an electric move. I was able to teach, like, thunder or uh, lightning to Starmie earlier in the other game. Okay, so, hold on. We got that item. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're all good here, actually. Wait, no, psych. Ooh, there's one more item we can get down over here. As long as we don't prematurely jump yeah I need to actually I need to get a few Pokemon from the smashes too so if you could give me a Pokemon that would also be pretty wonderful actually no nope. okay well, then we will definitely have to find some rocks that we have to smash here now that we can kind of just script that and I'm gonna be hitting these rocks, although I don't really need them. I mean, hey, if I can get like a shiny gibble, I'll take a shiny gibble. Um, to be fair though, if I did get a shiny gibble, it would be no different from a normal gibble. So, would it be really that cool? Probably not. There's a lot of these rocks. Do do the rock spawns increase if I have Starmie on? I know. Again, the normal wild encounters increase in like grass and water. 
I wonder if that applies to the rocks. Oh, I can't escape you, butt cheek. All right, well, you're gonna get brined. So, there's actually not much to do. I just need to get a couple of things on the right side, and we're gonna be kind of good to go here. All right, level 45 on Starmie. Okay, so if we... Oh, these things are everywhere. All right, another little Doug Rio. Little heads popping out. I don't really need you. You can go away. Oh, you guys all have arena traps. Well, hey, I guess I really shouldn't be complaining about just like some free XP. You know, like, yeah, sure, you make me get some XP. Not the worst thing on the planet. Okay, a little metal bridge. Okay, so I can't get in from there. But I can get this flame plate, which is kind of cool. So I wonder what was the point of having this here, if I can't get... It's probably an exit. Yeah, that's probably it. Okay, well then, I need... To go up here, is this another exit? Yeah, so it's probably another exit. This is probably the same story here, right? Yep. But just double checking. Okay. Oh. Alright, well. Had no choice but to encounter this one. Shiny Flygon's kinda cool. I don't know if I have a Shiny Flygon in Pokemon Go. I know I've seen it before. I ain't about to get brined. Another one that won't let me leave. You get what you deserve. I've right, gotta run all the way around town here. I'm gonna juke you out, bud. Alright, and that should be actually all the items for this area. Yeah. Now, I do need to do a few rock smashes to get some of the Pokemon that I missed. Oh, no. Alright, right here. Gimme. I need a Slugma and a Graveler. Tend to Pearl. No Pokemon. Why no Pokemon? I need a Pokemon. Here we go. Alright, we got ourselves a Slugma. Do I already have a Geodude? That's my question. I forgot if I already caught a Geodude. Either way, it's still an Ultra Ball. Have we encountered a Geodude in the game thus far? Oh, critical catch. Here we go. The common sight in volcanic areas slowly slithers around in constant search for warm places. Alright, so now we just need to do that again and find ourselves a little graveler. And is there any, like, rocks over here that I can smash? Get juked. Go! Graveler, finally! Alright, last Pokemon we need to get before we can enter the power plant. Clauncher. Let's go ahead and switch you out. I don't particularly feel like having Clauncher die now because... I do need to get an XP and stuff, so if it dies now, that would be pretty mega sad, for real. Okay, magnitude 8. That's a pretty big magnitude there, Graveler. I don't appreciate that. But I'm gonna forgive you because I'm about to enslave you, so that's alright. I forgive you. One. Two. Is he tapping? Three. He's tapping. Alright. Cool. I'm gonna stay down there, by the way. Alright, cool. Graveler was added to the Pokedex. 
that the free and uncaring nature doesn't mind if pieces break off of it while it rolls around in the mountains. That's pretty weird, Gobbler. You should probably care if things are falling off of your body. Seems like that's not a very good habit to have, though, Gobbler. Anyways, next episode, we're gonna go ahead and answer the power plant. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and save and I'm gonna do something else because I got really tired in 50 minutes. That was kind of nuts.